And if you're watching this feed, then this is a live record sale. If you're re-watching it from an older point of time, then you can still watch. But this is being broadcast live right here, right now on YouTube, Facebook, and X. When you're on and watching, be sure to let us know. It is Friday, March 22nd at 7.05. I was trying to find my backup microphone right quick. We are here. I'm going to bring some stuff a little bit closer to me, get everything set up. I got to get my charger going. So for about the next two minutes, you're just going to hear me. So just bear with me, and then we're going to start showing records. But we'll wait for the chat to get rolling, and you can take a look at some very pretty nice, pretty and nice goodies we have here that we're going to be auctioning. Friday night, hope everybody's locked in and ready to go. Got new vintage stuff. Going to go be going through some old stuff, some new stuff, some auctions. A loaded show. It was extremely busy last night. I hope for the same result tonight. I've got enough discount bins and whatnots to kind of keep us going for a while tonight. Randomness. Somebody asked for Funkos last night. We're going to get into a little bit of everything tonight. So, hallelujah. And uh, welcome. Get my laptop plugged up over here. One of the last things I always forget to do because I used to never use it during the sales, but I found out it's a lot easier to block spammers and bots if I can just do it over here on my laptop. Plus, I got some posters and stuff and auctions and other things over here I've got topped up for informational purposes. So, welcome. As you can see, there's been a new shipment of uh, Japanese stuff. Uh... Let's go over here, and what was I just saying? New Japanese stuff. Let's open up my Facebook. Let's start getting this thing shared and rolling. Let's hit Chad. Let's go over here to Coletco, and let's go ahead and like. Make sure you like the post. Please do that right now. I'm going to hit share and copy link. Then I'm going to hit share and go to group, and I'm going to share it to several different groups. So welcome, everybody. Boom, boom, boom. And... Uh, Let's first go over to the group, our group, whole lot of records. Make sure you're part of that. And I'm going to share the link in a few places there. Here's for the posters, the poster post. And live now, we got, um, there's the Friday night post, boom. And this is live now. All right, and we have the, there's a pre-order for the Slash album. I think I made one more post. Nope, that's it. Okay, now let's go over here. I guess I just posted that video. I must not share the flip video to the group that I posted earlier today. That's okay. Hope everybody saw that. Please hit the like button on Facebook. I dropped a gallery of posters about an hour ago that we're going to be auctioning tonight. Me and Tanner's been looking up. Tanner had to step out for a second. Now I'm here, and I'm checking these things out and uh, Paul's in Houston right now I think trying to do a deal on a collection uh, yeah I hadn't heard from him. he's been there for a couple hours he must be doing some serious negotiating and um, let's see here there's the flip video for that all right and then live now I think I've got it shared almost everywhere on Facebook that counts yep all right, now we're also streaming to YouTube. Let's go over there and do our due diligence on YouTube. Here's our live video. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button over there. Uh, we've had over 800 new subscribers just this week to our YouTube channel, so welcome. I'm going to hit the copy link and then I always share it to Instagram to our story. So I'm doing that right now. I'm clicking on this. And this right here, poster collection, looks wild. Oh, for sure. And I... I started going through some stuff last night. I told Tanner, I said, well, how many more of these do we have? And he said, well, there's a whole uh, a whole binder over here we hadn't went through. And I was like, do what? And so some of these I pulled out for tonight, but we're, we plan on doing like a massive, incredible sale uh, tomorrow night of posters. I mean, we got some incredible posters. Probably going to like run a promotion on them. Um, so... All right, so we got that shared. I got to do just a couple comments right here. 
live now. Uh, let me do this, this live now. The link in our story. All right, make sure that there. I got another post here. Here, almost done, folks. Sorry, it takes me about five minutes to get all this rolling. So, welcome. Thanks for hopping on in the chat. Just waiting for the show to start. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, let me open up my chat now. I think the last thing I have to do. Look at these great Japanese records we're gonna be having tonight. Queens Rock, Boston, Wasp, Star Wars. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I got a crate and a half full of auctions. Usually, it takes us all night to do a crate. I got a crate and a half plus. Obviously, as always, is what I'm trying to say, we're going to have possibly, you never know, possibly, could be, as always, some autographs. And I think there is a gigantic pile of mail on top of the tub of autographs. That's okay. I come over here to grab one empty crate because that's the only empty crate up here. Nope, there's this empty crate. Actually, what I'm going to do is I made... Is this new stuff from last night? Yeah, that's new stuff from last night. I'm going to put this stuff in here. I had a few reminders of some things to show y'all, so I'm going to do that. Now I have two empty crates. That's what I need. I need at least two empty crates to get this show going. Hopefully we can fill them up pretty quick of sold albums. We've done about 20 crates in the last couple nights. That's like incredible. We've had a great week. Great week. Let's put those right there. And did I get a restock? No, Casey Musgraves is sold out. I went to order more and they're gone. So uh, I have a feeling they'll press more. That album is really uh, popular right now. So I've got a strong feeling they're going to press more. But yeah, we're waiting for that to happen. Uh, we're waiting for those to come in. All right, first auction is Kiss. This is Kiss off the soundboard. It is sealed. It is on the bone colored vinyl. This is a 3LP Kiss off the soundboard. It is a $35 star. Kiss off the soundboard. $35 start off the soundboard Tokyo 2021. That is sealed. It's a $35 start. And that is a 3LP live kiss. Next auction is going to be sealed Lightning Hopkins. This is Lightning Hopkins, the Blues Giant. This is actually sealed. It's a $25 start. Lightning Hopkins, the Blues Giant. This is a $25 start. Lightning Hopkins, the Blues Giant. Sealed. $25 start. That has never been opened. That's also up for bid. That's auctions number one, number two tonight. If you haven't already, please make sure you've hit the like button. Please make sure you've hit the share button. We've got records all night. we got auctions all night. First thing, who needs a Black Sabbath dehumanizer? This is not an easy record to come by. The original. This is $49.99. This is Black Sabbath dehumanizer. This is $49.99. It's a 2LP expanded deluxe edition. 180 gram, Tony Iommi and Ronnie James Dio, Geezer Butler and Vinny Apiece. That's $49.99. $49.99. And we have Kiss, Hotter Than Hell. Kiss is a 2014 remaster. This is $33.99. Kiss, Hotter Than Hell. I've got two copies of Kiss, Hotter Than Hell. And Rush, Hold Your Fire, $36.99. $36.99. This is Rush, Hold Your Fire, $36.99. Remaster. That sounds great. If you don't have that already, I've got three of those. Right off the bat, both Black Sabbath so Black Sabbath and Black Sabbath. I have more of these if anybody else wants them. That's why I brought them out. I hadn't shown them in a while. This is Black Sabbath the Humanizer, $49.99 and $49.99. If anybody wants a copy, let me know. These are $49.99. I've got two copies if anybody wants one. So up at the top, we put up Kiss, and that was $40. Can I see all your Taylor Swift albums? Yes, if you give me one second, ask here in a second in between crates, I will go grab them. Kiss is at $40 with Sean Druin. Lightning Hopkins, the sealed copy, is now $25, now $30. Danny Thomason got a Black Sabbath. Lillian Curry got a Black Sabbath. David Graves bid $31 on Lightning Hopkins. Kiss has a bid for $45. Lightning Hopkins, $35. And we have Rush sold and Rush sold. 42 Foxes and Ron Fuller. Those are sold and sold. Next is Wham! Make it big. First time this has been released this week. Uh, this is a new release for this week. First time it's been reissued in years. Wham! Last copy, $33.99. Alice Coltrane at Carnegie Hall, that's $54.99. And we still got one copy of the Fritz the Cat soundtrack. I actually think I have another one around here somewhere. But Fritz the Cat is $33.99. 
We have Gary Clark Jr. That's his new album. Comes out today. That's JPEG Raw on Bone Colored Vinyl, $49.99. Hayden Ernest first on Wham! Make It Big. That is sold to Hayden Ernest. The Lightning Hopkins is now at 40 with Henry Paredes. And this is Sealed Kiss, by the way. It's Tokyo 2001 on Colored Vinyl. That's Paul, Gene, Ace, and Eric Singer. And that has a high bid of 45 of Michael McCarter. 45 of Michael McCarter. Still have a high, or still have one copy of Stereo Lab, Dots and Loops. That's the expanded edition. Stereo Lab is $39.99, last copy. And Promise, Tales from the T Punch Bowl. Promise Tales from the Punch Bowl is $39.99. That's a 2LP. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton is $34.99, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I still got three copies, two copies of Pussifer. C is four. That's on opaque gold vinyl, $29.99. Sean Druin is back in on Kiss at $46. If anybody else wants in on Lightning Hopkins, Henry Paredes has that for $40. Going once, going twice. Also, the Pixies, Bossa Nova. The Pixies is $29.99. Matt Shepard wants Primus. Tales from the Punch Bowl, that is sold to Matt Shepard. Also, The Essential, Elvis Presley, 2LP, 28 tracks. The Essential, Elvis Presley, $33.99. NWA's Greatest Hits, 2LP, NWA's Greatest Hits, Ice Cube, MC Ren, Easy e Dr. Dre, that is $39.99. And Creed, Human Clay, with arms wide open. This is $39.99. 2LP, Creed, Human Clay, $39.99. Kiss has a high bid of $46. Michael McCarter's out. Sean Drew, and that may be going to you. It is sealed. It is sealed. It's on Bone Color Vinyl, 3LP. That's a final call. And now we're also moving this to a final call. Sealed Lightning Hopkins. We have a high bid on Lightning Hopkins with Henry Paredes at $40. This is Pearl Jam Unplugged, 2LP, red vinyl, unofficial, Pearl Jam Unplugged, $39.99. Paul Brothers wants the essential Elvis Presley. That's so to Paul Brothers. Queens Rock, this is um, Promised Land on clear vinyl. Queens Rock is $38.99. And yes, Boston Gardens, $44.99. Now, let me go ahead and step behind the counter. Uh, we had a, like a half of a crate of new vinyl coming today, and I don't really have it ready. I'm going to get it ready for tomorrow, but I am going to go ahead and show these. That way we can go ahead and sell these as a set, because guess what? It got delivered today. Volume 1. Volume 1 got delivered today. So we sold, uh, we had some people trying to match those up last night, so let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. So I got Volumes 1 and Volumes 2. There's Volumes 2. Let me pull up that waiting list, because there's some people here on the volume one. I'm gonna match those up together right quick. And then I'm also about to end some auctions. So if you're not the high bid on the uh, Kiss or the um, Lightning Hopkins, you better get in. Let's go ahead and open up my pre-order and let me look up Yes Boston and see who was on a waiting list for volume one. The waiting list for volume one was John Cassidy and George Sher. George reminded me last night to make sure he was on there. So jo John Cassidy. John Cassidy and George Sharon. That's for volume one. Make sure that says volume one. Volume one and volume one. Okay, and these aren't stickered yet, but they're $44.99. $44.99. $44.99. All right, back up to the top. Lightning Hopkins. Uh, we had a $42 bid. Uh, that just came in. Yeah, Sean Hibbler bid $42 on Lightning Hopkins. Jason Waldron wants Queens Rock. That's sold to Jason Waldron. Lightning Hopkins is at $45. Danny Thomason wants to put back Black Sabbath. This is being put back. Danny, are you sure? Putting back a Black Sabbath album, Dehumanizer. There's one copy in there if anybody wants it. It's $49.99. We have Lightning Hopkins out, and we have... Here we go. So let me officially show Yes, Boston Garden. This is Yes, Boston Garden, Volume 1 and Volume 2. They're $48.99, or excuse me, $44.99, Volume 1 and Volume 2. So essentially, you're getting a 4LP Complete concert, forty-four and forty-four ninety-nine. Great sounding live, unofficial. That's forty-four ninety-nine. So I've got volume one and volume two. Anybody that's on a waiting list. So I've got essentially two sets. I've got essentially two sets on that. All right, let me see what else I see. I have about thirty-four un, uh, questions to reply to. Let me figure out which ones I can and can't. Sean Hibbler's at forty-two on Lightning Hopkins. We pulled Queens Rock. There is a Stereo Lab in here. Stereo Lab is thirty-nine ninety-nine. Dots and Loops, $39.99 for Stereo Lab. Lightning Hopkins is at $45. David Graves was out. No Blackberry Smoke. No Jake E. Lee. No Highway Man. Chris Kirkley on Black Sabbath. That's sold to Chris Kirkley. Hopkins is at $47 with Sean Hibbler. We have not sold Firehouse. Lightning Hopkins is at $50. That's not Black Sabbath. That's not Aussie Black Sabbath. That's Ronnie James Dio Black Sabbath. Kiss Soundboard is sold. 
It is sealed and now sold to Sean Druin for $46. Lightning Hopkins is at 50 with Henry Paredes. 50 with Henry Paredes. Santana Supernatural, $33.99. Also, we have Def Leppard High and Dry. This is $33.99. These are unofficial pressings of that, yes. Also, a perfect circle emotive, $33.99 for a perfect circle emotive. De La Soul, this is actually from one of those putback bins. It's $24.99 if anybody wants it. Last copy of Yellow. And we have a magenta as well. Yeah, this Black Sabbath album is incredible. First time I listened to it, it's what they say, knocked your socks off. It's a great, fantastic album. Ronnie James D on vocals. He did those two albums with Black Sabbath, and he came back in 1994 and did that one. You 2 How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb. That's on red vinyl. That is $36.99. $36.99, and Chris Stapleton Hire is $44.99. That's on 180 gram. That's also on bone colored vinyl. Man, they're making a lot of stuff on bone colored vinyl nowadays. $44.99 on that. All right, back up the top, Joe Barrios wants Stereo Lab. That's so to Joe Barrios. We have an out on Lightning Hopkins, and that's with Sean Hibbler, and that means Henry bumped it to 50, and that's the final bid with Henry, and that's a final call. Henry Paredes is at 50 on Lightning Hopkins. Next is uh, Thomas Baumhart wants yes. That is here, and that is the set. That's volume one and volume two. So did Thomas Baumhart. One yes concert left, and Paul actually still got them in stock. I just pulled two off the racks. I'm, I'm about to pull some stuff off the racks tonight because we go through the new vinyl all the time on the crates, but we keep some of our best sellers over here on our racks. And so the first little part of this crate tonight, I pulled some stuff off those racks, and I have a bunch of Black Sabbath, so I'll go ahead and give you one now if that's okay. And if anybody else wants one, they're $49.99. These were out of print forever, and they were selling for like $100, uh, these reissues. And, of course, OGs are very difficult to find, especially for sale in the United States. So, Paul, if that's okay, I'll go ahead and sell you one now. And I'll put two more back in here just like we started with. All righty, and uh, let me go ahead and show a few more records. Greta Van Fleet, that's Starcatcher, that's $34.99. That's on clear vinyl, $34.99. Haunted House is $33.99. That's available on first time. Uh, it says available on vinyl for the first time since 1979, $33.99. And that's Dark Side of the Moon, Redo with Roger Waters, $46.99. That is on blue vinyl. And we have Yes Singles. Yes is $29.99. Yes Singles is $29.99. Do you have any toolbox sets? Actually, I don't, but I kind of wish I did. My love-hate relationship with Tool is becoming more like a love relationship. So um, I wish I kind of still had some of those. They're all gone, though. I'm afraid to order any more because if I do order any more of them, I'll, I'll be stuck with them. But uh, that is an amazing box set. I actually finally opened mine up. I opened mine up, I listened to it, it's amazing, it's made very well, it's got art, beautiful art inside the book, it's an amazing, the Fear Inoculum box is incredible, so this is so to Henry, I can't say anything else bad, even though uh, Amazon screwed all of us independent record sellers, as usual, um, uh, we, uh, it's okay, because uh, I end up selling them all, I took a major loss on it, but I was selling them sometimes $50 less than what I paid for them. That's, that's bad when you're just literally burning $50 bills. I don't know if I actually said it, but Henry Paredes gets Lightning Hopkins for 50 and Eli Tomlinson wants a Sabbath. That was a great recap, Ben. Let's go through that one more time. I've actually added stuff to it, so there's probably less in there sold than what it actually is. Eli Tomlinson gets a Black Sabbath. Let's go ahead and put up two new auctions. The next two auctions I'm going to put up are some records that I pulled out of the back and I posted in a video that I had John Mark some pretty cool looking stuff here. No, we have not sold Firehouse. That will be a little closer to 8 o'clock, okay? Firehouse is going to go up a little closer to 8 o'clock. There will be a lot of activity. It's going up for a $1 starting bid. It's going up for a $1 starting bid. If it brings less than 100 I will be severely surprised. I'll just put it that way. All right, this is the Almond Brothers, Isle Wide South. This is an original pressing. It's going to be a $15 start. It's in VG condition. Also about a VG or VG Plus cover. It's a 1841 Broadway CTH pressing, the original album with Midnight Rider on it, and this is a $15 start. Idle Wide South, the Almond Brothers. That is a $15 start. And we have Miles and Monk. This is Miles Davis and Thelonious Monk, a beautiful uh, pressing, a Terre Haute 1970s Columbia pressing, $25 start. Very, very nice. $25 start on that. $25 start on that. All right, next comment. Sit yes is actually on the splatter vinyl, Javi. It's on the really cool splatter vinyl. I own one myself. 
Very excited to see a new Yes album come in of classic music. The Black Sabbath I'm showing right now. I'm showing the Black Sabbath right now. Unplugged is $39.99. Unplugged is $39.99. This is Black Sabbath Dehumanizer, the 2LP Expanded Edition, $49.99. Bonus LP with rare live versions of Children of the Sea, Die Young, and Neon Knights. So it's got the full album, then it's expanded with three bonus tracks. It's a remaster, $49.99. I've got this one, and I've got about 10 more on the racks over here. $49.99. We also have KISS, Hotter Than Hell. KISS is $33.99. That's the 2014 remaster. $33.99. KISS, Hotter Than Hell. Parasite, Hotter Than Hell. Uh, got to Choose, I like that song. Coming Home is on there. Watching You's on there. $33.99. KISS, Hotter Than Hell. Candice Lindbear takes Black Sabbath. I'm going to go over here and pull two more off the rack. Maybe we can sell out of them tonight. We've emptied one bin of them. How many do I have left? Uh, it's going to be a stretch, but I have... Two, four, six, seven. That's a good number. Seven. I got seven Black Sabbaths. That's Dehumanizer. Let me put these right there. I'm going to put them back in the bin. If anybody decides you want one, I've got two more. Black Sabbath is $49.99. There's Kiss Hotter Than Hell. I figured I'd sell those. They're still available. And then I brought over some Rush. I got Rush Hold Your Fire. This is $36.99. It is a remaster. All these Rush remasters sound incredible. This has Time Stand Still on it. Great album from beginning to end. Alice Coltrane, this is a new release for today, the Carnegie Hall Concert. That's $54.99. Matthew Copas wants a Black Sabbath. Do we have a bid on the Almond Brothers? I really hadn't even looked. Yes, we do. Lots of bids. Josh Raglan bid 17. Then we had bids for 18, and then 19, and then 20. And that was with 20 with Drew Smith. And over here, the Miles and Monk. Very nice copy. Scott Dresba was at 30 on that one. We have an out on the Almond Brothers. Matthew Copas wants a Black Sabbath. Did I already pull that for Matthew? I may have. I think I've already pulled one for Matthew. I hope so, yeah, because there's only one left in there. All right, so there's another one. Fritz the Cat soundtrack. Also, the new Gary Clark Jr., JPEG Raw. That's the indie exclusive on colored vinyl. Also, we have uh, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. That is $36.99. Pussifer, C is four. That's $29.99. Gold vinyl, Pixies, Bossa Nova, NWA's Greatest Hits. We still have Creed, Human Clay, and then Pearl Jam Unplugged, 2LP, one of our best-selling new LPs. It's an unofficial. It's on red vinyl. That's $39.99. So let's do some final calls. The OG pressing of the Almond Brothers' second album, Idle Wide South. Amazing music on here. Drew Smith has it for $20. It is in VG condition. Revival, Midnight Rider, Leave My Blues at Home. That is at uh, $20, and that's a final call. And also, Miles Davis is a final call with Monk. Nice copy. Scott Dresba has that for $30. Larry Drish does want a Pearl Jam. That's so to Larry Drish. If you haven't already, make sure you've liked the page. Make sure you've liked the post and the page and the YouTube video. And then I'm down to one set. Volume 1 did come back in. Yes, live unofficial from Boston Gardens, 1974. Classic Yes music, $44.99. We also have Santana Supernatural. Of course, OGs of this are very difficult to come by. It came out in 1999. Def Leppard High and Dry, $33.99. A Perfect Circle, last copy left of Emotive, $33.99. U2's on Red Vinyl, How to Dismantle Atomic Bomb. Two copies of Chris Stapleton's newest album, Higher, $44.99. Bone Colored Vinyl, Greta Van Fleet Starcatcher, The Haunted House, Roger Waters, and we have Yes Singles, $29.99. And Larry, I pulled his Pearl Jam. When I swap out crates, I'm going to go ahead and sell these. And uh, let's start the night with how I usually start new stuff. Check condition. And Javi Soto, yes, is on splatter vinyl if you decide you want that. So that was our first crate, kind of a warm-up crate there of new, new stuff. I'm going to go over here and grab some check condition stuff. An amazing night for auctions for sure. Let me find the first crate of check condition stuff if I can. John said there should be two crates of check condition stuff. I think I've took a peek. I think I took a peek at one of them. Yeah, here's one of them. And then I marked a few things right before the sale started, which is newer records that were pre-owned. And I'm going to go ahead and put this. So this crate's actually going to have about five or six pre-owned records in it, new 180-gram stuff, and then some check condition stuff. And then some check condition stuff. I actually don't have a copy of Opiate in stock, I don't think. No Opiate. And we have a Greta Van Fleet so and a Yes So. Warm-up, we're on fire. I know, that bin, we, I've already filled up a half a crate out of the warm-up bin. That's a great start to tonight's show. And we just sold a Greta Van Fleet, and we just sold a Yes. I'll go over here. I'm going to grab some other stuff off the racks in just a second. But first, there's Greta Van Fleet, and there's Yes. Now, it's time to sell the auctions, but one of them just got a new bid. 
First, this doesn't have another bid. This is now sold for $20 to Drew Smith, and that's the Almond Brothers, Idle Wide South. That is sold to Drew Smith for $20. But yes, or excuse me, Miles Davis just got a new bid, 31 And then the other bidder, Scott Dresba, is right back in at 35 So they're still bidding on that. It's a very clean pressing. And my next trick will be a Japanese pressing. Lots of Japanese stuff tonight. This first one is a Japanese pressing of the Urban Cowboy soundtrack. I think I've had this before on Japanese Obi, but honestly, I don't recall it too many times. It's going to be a $35 start. It's the Urban Cowboy soundtrack, Japanese pressing with Obi, 2LP. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It comes with both the Rich Winter sleeves that have uh, liner notes, also this Japanese insert, and that Japanese insert, which has the lyrics, and that's a $35 start. That's the Urban Cowboy soundtrack. Final call, Miles Davis, also for $35. And Urban Cowboy is $35. So, first couple records here, new pre-owned stuff. Government Mule. This is Sco Mule, $29.99. Government Mule, 2LP. It is the treasured Mule Schofield collaboration, newly remixed and remastered. Government Mule is $29.99. How about David Gilmore on an island? David Gilmore, $29.99. Beautiful condition. Has one of those soft touch top covers. David Gilmore is $29.99. Larry Smith, first on Government Mule. George Jones was second. David Gilmore is $29.99, and we have Buddy Guy, Skin Deep, with guest artists Eric Clapton, Derek Trucks, and Susan Tedeschi plays on here. Also a 2LP, that's $29.99, and Jeff Malwitz wants David Gilmore. That's so to Jeff Malwitz. So, final call on the Miles at Monk, Newport, extremely nice condition. It's a 70s pressing, a Terre Haute, very nice vinyl. Scott Dresba has that for $35, definitely about to sell it. No bid on Urban Cowboy, looking for a $35 start. Jeff Maul was first to David Gilmore. Clay Moore was second. Jason Waldron first on Buddy Guy. And Drew Smith was second. Drew Smith was second. Next is Tame Paula Currents, 2LP. It is black vinyl, has the original on her sleeves. $29.99, Tame Paula Currents. That is $29.99. And we have Steve Miller Band, number five. This is a 180 gram. And this is $16.99. It's in shrink wrap. Steve Miller Band, number five. 180 gram, new reissue of that, $16.99. Miles and Monk is officially sold for $35. That's sold to $35. For $35 to Scott Dresba. Scott, that's sold to you for $35. And Urban Cowboy is a Japanese pressing. Yes, near mint minus and pristine. About a VG Plus cover. Does have a little bit of a ding down there on the corner. But the vinyl is what you'd expect. $35. Josh Raglan first on Tame and Paula and Jeff Carter on Steve Miller Band. Those are all sold. So what did I just say? Sold. Those are all sold. All right, next auction. How about we go ahead? Eight o'clock is when I'm going to run Firehouse. I'll be saying that a lot so we can cut down on uh, curiosity. I'm sure there's lots of curiosity, but that's going to, I'll sell that right at eight o'clock. Don't let me forget. It's going to be a $1 start. Good luck bidding to everybody that's Waiting for Firehouse. Hopefully that thing gets a proper reissue one day. We have a 1974 Terre Haute pressing. A 1974 OG pressing of Rush's debut album. 1974 Terre Haute. Mercury. VG Plus condition. $45 start. The vinyl is a solid VG Plus. It has the original Mercury Company inner sleeve. The cover does have a sink split. It does have a sink split on the cover. That is a $45 start. That's OG Rush. Urban Cowboy has one bid for $35 of Pam Murray. Final call. Chicago, born for this moment on gold vinyl. Then it has a custom etched Chicago logo on side D, $29.99. So the third side is music, and the fourth side, I think, has a Chicago etching on it. It's really cool looking. Yep, this one right here. Check this out. $29.99 on Chicago. Look at that. Really, really cool. That's frameable. All right, Rush has a bid for 50. John, Mark C, if you want to bid, just put Rush and then your number and what you want to bid. Drew Smith first to Chicago. That's so to Drew Smith. And Sturgill Simpson, Meta Modern Sounds and Country Music. That's $19.99 for Sturgill Simpson. And we have Government Mule, Dub Sai the Mule. Another Government Mule. Get ready for lots of claims. $29.99. $29.99 on Government Mule. Most of those are out of stock. I don't think they're out of print. They're just, a lot of them are out of stock. Sturgill Simpson sold to Derek Zarzaro, then Jeff Carter, then Candace, then Leslie, and Government Mule is sold to David Tate. That is sold. Well, that was my that was my third of a Chad crate. That's all stuff I marked about 20 minutes ago, and it's all sold. I find stuff like that laying around in the back, and I'm like, what in the world? What's this? There's like five Government Mule albums in a row. I only pulled a couple of them out, so... 
I have no idea where the others went. I pulled them out. I'm sure John has recreated them because he usually gives all the new stuff like that to me and Paul because uh, he prices a lot of just the vintage classic rock, pop, soul, stuff like that. So uh, Urban Cowboy, $37. It must have got a new bid. Jerry Wallace bid $36. 37 and Rush is now $55. We're talking OG Rush. John Marksy has this for $55. And Bruce Guthrie, you've been outbid. Just FYI. Now, new check condition stuff. First is Jethro Tull, a passion play. VG Plus condition, $14.99. VG Plus, $14.99. Jethro Tull, a passion play. And Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. It's in VG condition, $24.99. But it does have the Billion Dollar Bill. It's in VG condition with the unpunched bag. It has the billion dollar bill. That is $24.99. Alice Cooper, VG condition, $24.99. $24.99. That's Alice Cooper, billion dollar baby. Uh, Van Morrison, Tupelo Honey, VG minus condition. It is on the original label. VG minus condition, though, $14.99 on Van Morrison. And we have Johnny Cash. This is a VG minus condition as well. This is an early Sun album by Johnny Cash, though. 1950s era, $9.99. VG minus condition, $9.99 on Johnny Cash. All right, so back up at the top, we have Pam Murray at 37 on Urban Cowboy. Jerry Wallace is out. That's a final call for 37. We have Rush is at 60. Christopher Brusha first to Alice Cooper. Christopher Brusha first to Alice Cooper. David Tate first on Johnny Cash. We have Rain Baird first on Van Morrison. And Jethro Tull is still available still available why doesn't more bands put out stuff on vinyl it's very complicated legal issues rights to the music production there's all kinds there's a lot of albums that aren't in print some people uh when i visited when i visited the metal blade museum when i visited the metal blade museum in las vegas and i got to talk to brian slagle we were talking about mother love bone and he told me nobody really even knows it's a it's actually a legal dispute or nobody really knows, nor has anybody even tried to get the rights to love, Mother Love Bone. They don't know where the masters are at. So there's a lot of complicated, like that Firehouse album, it may be nobody, who knows who actually owns the rights. They may not know where the masters are at, where the contract is. It's very complicated to get stuff pressed and reissued. Uh, you just think they would just print it, but that's why these uh, uh, releases sometimes take years. Rush is a, we're talking in terms of U.S. pressing. We're not talking in terms of Canadian OG. I wish. If this was a Canadian OG, it would have been about a $1,200 start. This is a U.S. OG. This is a U.S. OG. So that is the high bid right now of $70. VG plus condition. All right, back up to the top. Can I in, interest in somebody in a Jethro Tull uh, record? Uh, we pulled Alice Cooper already for Mick. Uh, no, Alice Cooper went to... Uh, Alice Cooper went to Christopher Brusha. Mick Mass and you were second. Rush is at 80. The Turtles, Happy Together, the original album with So Happy Together on it. VG Condition, $9.99 for The Turtles. And Dexter Gordon, Great Encounters. Dexter Gordon is in shrink wrap. VG Condition, $9.99. Also, Otis Redding, The Dock of the Bay. VG Condition, $16.99. Sitting on the dock of the bay. I found another one. We had one last night as well. And The Animals, their debut album with House of the Rising Sun on it. VG Condition, 1999. The Animals, House of the Rising Sun. VG Condition, 1999. All right, we're done on, we're done on Urban Cowboy. Uh, Pam Murray got that for 37 Let me put that in a new sleeve. That's officially sold to Pam Murray for $37. We have a whole slew of Japanese records tonight. Knock that one out, and there's like 50 more to go through. I have almost two full crates of auctions, and usually it takes us all night to go through a whole crate. So I'm about to start getting two at a time going, and I'm going to bring the autographs over here, here in a minute, hopefully, and start knocking out some more of those. So back up the top, lots of new bids. Rush was at 80. Rush was at 90. Rachel Cross, the first on T for Turtles. Then Debbie Winston, then Tony Lewis. Derek Inc. put Dex, and that was for Dexter Gordon. That's so to Jared Inc. Rush is at 100. Christopher Brusha on Otis Redding. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Then Slicker Van Slyke, then Josh Raglan, then Catherine Lutz, and Brian Frenfrock first on the Animals. Rain Bard, you were six on Otis Redding, it looks like. And then we have Billion Dollar Babies is already sold. Rush is at $100 with Mark Quarum. Mark Quarum bid over on YouTube $100. Poor Jethro Tull. Only thing left in here. We have the Rolling Stones. This is in VG minus condition, but take a look at this. The original mono pressing of Out of Our Heads. 
It is a mono red label. It is in VG minus condition. They're almost all in VG minus condition. Tough to find those in high grade. 1999, Ella Fitzgerald. Ella swings lightly. Ella Fitzgerald is in VG condition, $12.99. And we have the best of Rod Stewart, VG plus $17.99. Maggie May, the best of Rod Stewart. Let's get a new auction going. This is a very desirable Japanese pressing. It's a very desirable album. Here's our nightly copy of Boston's debut album, and this is a great one to have. It is one of the best sounding versions I think you probably can get of this. It's a $45 start. It's a Japanese pressing. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. More than a feeling. There is the Japanese insert. Awesome artwork. Just the colors and the inking on these, so much bolder and better. And of course, it has a really cool OB on it. Boston is up for bid, and we already see a bid on that. All right, so let's go back to the top. I said Rush was at 100, then we had bids for 105, 105, and then 110. Catherine Lutz, first on the Rolling Stones. Carol Puckett, you were second. Rush, 125. Derek Zarzaro, first on the Ella Fitzgerald. That is so to Derek Zarzaro. Rush is at 125. Lucas is second on Ella Fitzgerald. David Everly, third on the Stones. Or that might be for Rod Stewart. I think David Everly wants Rod Stewart. Catherine Lutz was at second. Rain Bard, fourth on Ella Fitzgerald. Boston has a bid for 45, 55, and now 60. And where are we on Rush? So one more time, Rush is a VG Plus condition. A pretty strong looking VG Plus. Pretty strong looking VG Plus. It's a 1974 pressing. 1974 pressing of Rush. And that's on the Mercury Skyline label. The cover... The cover is um, got a split at the top. The bottom's not split. VG Plus, pink lettering, Rush. John Marksy had that for 130. And Boston is uh, now at 65, and Rush is at 130. Uh, Rush is at 130. Rush is at 135. Okay. Uh, okay, back up the top. Uh, make sure they're missing anything else. Animals already sold. Okay. Uh, was Carol Puck in front of me? Carol was going after the Rolling Stones. Carol Puckett was going after the Rolling Stones. He's a Rolling Stones collector. One of the biggest I know. Probably the biggest I know. He's got a lot of Stones records. Kansas, left overture. VG condition, $9.99. Carry on, my wayward son. VG condition, $9.99. Another Jethro Tull. Now, this one may be a little bit more desirable. Songs from the Wood. We don't get this one as often as Passion Play. It's probably a little bit better album, too. It is a better album. VG Condition, $9.99. And Deep Purple, Made in Japan. VG Condition, $14.99. Deep Purple, Made in Japan. And this is a UK copy. That's a UK copy on the uh, purple labels. $14.99 on that. $14.99. And this is Little Richard, The Second Coming. Little Richard's in VG Plus Condition, $12.99. Little Richard, The Second Coming. That's VG Plus, $12.99. All right, where did we get to on Rush? Mark Quarum says he's out. John Marksy has this for 140. I think Bruce Guthrie is also out. So John Marksy has this for 140, going twice, going three times. And the high bid on Boston, this is a Japanese pressing of Boston's debut album. Pristine has the Japanese insert with it. And the last bid that came in was Tim Kingsley at $65. Jerry Wallace, you're out. Tim Kingsley has that for $65. Also, we have Matthew Copas on Deep Purple. Matthew Kobus gets Deep Purple, and we have Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young so far. This is like a greatest hits comp, which didn't really make sense when they put it out because they had only put out one album, and then they put out a greatest hits. VG Condition, $12.99, and Johnny Cash at San Quentin, VG Condition, $14.99. Johnny Cash at San Quentin, VG Condition, $14.99 on that. Also, Cosmos Factory, Credence Clearwater Revival, VG Plus Condition, $22.99. Blue Fantasy Label, that's Credence, VG Plus, $22.99. Matthew got Deep Purple. We got a new bit on Boston for $66. I am about to go ahead and sell Rush. John Marksy has it for $140 when I get to the bottom. But first, we have Leslie Sively on CSN. That's the Crosby, Stills, and Nash. We have Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Then we got Cash, so did David Tate. That's so to David Tate. Terry Gearhart, second. Catherine, third. CCR, lots of C's there. CCR, so to Jeff Carter, then Rain Baird. All right. So we had a new bid, and Tim Kingsley, let me know if you want backing on Boston. The last record I'm going to put in this crate is this Rush album, and it is now officially sold to John Marksy for 40, 140. John Marksy for 140. And I'm going to put this very nicely in this jacket. 
and that is now sold for $140. I have filled up crate number one, so let me go ahead and set this off to the side and grab another one over here. And we got new vintage arrivals tonight, including uh, more check condition like I'm showing right now. Then we're gonna have uh, lots of auctions, and that's what we need right now. I need some more auctions. I've got a very interesting item here. It is something I've never had before, and when I found it in the back, I was like, yep, that's an auction item for sure, and that is, I can't find it. By the way, if you're here for Firehouse, we're gonna put it up at exactly eight o'clock, even if I already have two auctions going, I'll put it up at eight o'clock. Here it is. This is a 1982 Richard Pryor picture disc. A 1982 Richard Pryor pic picture disc. I had never seen this before. It is from 1982. It's a Richard Pryor picture disc. Of course, comedy music. It's called Richard Pryor Live. Richard Pryor Live, and there it is. I've never had seen that before. A Richard Pryor picture disc. That is a $20 start by Audio Fidelity. Richard Pryor picture disc. That's now going up for bid. $20 start on that. $20 start on that. So we had Jeff Carter. We pulled that. We pulled that. And uh, we done Tim. I was waiting for Tim Kingsley. Tim Kingsley, are you still with me? You're out on Boston. I am about to sell it. You was at 65. Jerry Wallace bid 66. I don't see an out, but I'm about to sell it very quickly. Next is Superman the Movie. EX Condition, $17.99. Superman, the movie. EX Condition, $17.99 on Superman, the movie. We have Taj Mahal recycling the blues and other related stuff. Taj Mahal's in VG Plus Condition, $14.99 for Taj Mahal. Rod Stewart, a classic studio album of his. Every picture tells a story. This is in VG Condition, $12.99. I can't get to the record because it comes out of the top. There's Rod Stewart, and we have Grand Funk Survival, VG Condition, $9.99. Richard Pryor's at 30 with Paul Brothers, going once, going twice. We have Christopher Brusha, first on Taj Mahal, and I have lost Tim Kingsley somewhere, so this is sold to Jerry Wallace for $66. That's sold to Jerry Wallace for $66. Jerry Wallace, you get Boston. More than a feeling, long time, foreplay. Amazing stuff. All right, next is Kara Bauer, first on RS, and that's Rod Stewart. Jeff Carter, first on Grand Funk. Nick Bargeron, second on Taj Mahal. And we have a new bid on Richard Pryor with Shane Devers for $35. You know what I haven't done yet? Can anybody guess what I haven't done yet? I have not put up the first poster, and it is already 747. I almost forgot about them. I have almost forgot about all these amazing posters we have ready to sell tonight. Let's go ahead and do this one right here. It's Metallica. And you know what reminded me? I saw Shane Deaver's name, and I was like, wait a minute. We got some Metallica posters. Shane Deaver's may be one of the bigger Metallica fans I know of. I just got a lot of these tagged, and this first one right here is pretty incredible. Uh, just the way it looks, but it's... When you see it in person with the foil, an amazing poster. This is Metallica. It is uh, by Brandon Hart. It's signed and it's numbered and it's in the rainbow foil. I did a Google search of the image and I found out that they made a series of these. I think the original one he did was in orange and then they reprinted these in this limited edition purple uh, with the bat wings or like in purple. And the purple looks a lot better in my opinion than the orange variant. They only made 40 of these and it's signed down there at the bottom. It's a $275 start. $275 start. Now let me give you an update on the posters. This collection with posters like this, we're just getting into some of the best ones, I think. We went through the binder last night, and there were probably another 50 posters like that. There's probably, we've still got another 50 like this, just amazing prints, posters. They're signed and foil. I, I, some, I, and like I told you, I hadn't even went through all these yet, and I kind of went through them last night. I was like, all right, I've got to go through these and see what's left so I can tell everybody what's coming up. Tomorrow, Tanner's planning on having like 50 ready for auction. Something we're going to post them and then, uh, you know, advertise, and we're going to have a big poster auction tomorrow. Tonight, we got about 20 or 25. This is the first one, $275 start. It's incredible. That's a $275 start. So let me figure out where we left off. We have Richard Pryor at 35 and 40. I uh, had a monster. I have not had a monster. Yes, I have. I've had a monster and two V8s. I have had a lot of caffeine. We have Mott the Hoople, VG Plus $14.99. Does have a little bit of writing on the cover. And we have Cream, Fresh Cream. This is Cream's debut album. This is VG Plus Condition, $24.99. Looks like it has the original Atco inner sleeve. This is Cream, their debut album, VG Plus $24.99. $24.99. All right. 
Let's see here. Richard Pryor, high bid, is with Paul Brothers at $40. The Richard Pryor picture disc is at $40 on that. $40 on that. All right, back up at the top. First record I have, uh, next auction I have, is Sticks. Kilroy was here. Mr. Wabato, a Japanese pressing. Super nice of Obi. This is also going to be a $35 start. This is a $35 start. This is Sticks. Kilroy was here. Near Mint Minus and Pristine Japanese vinyl. It's a gatefold with Obi. Very nice. It has the Japanese booklet with it. And that is a $35 start. That is Sticks. Kilroy was here. Sticks, Cure World is here. That's now going up for a $35 start. Tony Freeman is already in. We got two bids as well on that. All right, so uh, Shane Devers is waiting to see if you're wanting back in on the Richard Pryor. If not, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. High bid is $40 to Paul Brothers. Never had had that before. 82 picture disc. Here's what's left in the first bin of check condition. We have Jethro Tull, a passion play. Derek Zarzaro, the... Uh, the uh, 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 the, that Jethro Tull's already sold. Jethro Tull, a passion play still available though, $14.99. Jethro Tull, a passion play. This is VG Plus $14.99. VG Plus $14.99. Also, uh, Kansas, leftovers are still available. VG condition, $9.99. Carry on my wayward son. Their song from the wood, never mind. It actually is. I thought somebody claimed it earlier. Did I not pull this? Let me go back up to the top. I may be crazy. And I thought somebody uh, claimed this earlier. Uh, huh. If not, I guess Derek Zarzaro is getting it right now. I could have swore that, um, well, I've, we've had a lot of comments already. And I, I may have lost it, though. But, yeah, because uh, that's about where the crate started. So, yeah, I guess this is sold. Let's give it to Derek Zarzaro. And we have VG Condition 999. And that's somewhere. I may have said it and just didn't pull it out. I might have been in between auctions or something. And, uh, and I... I Re recap and I see questions on here I didn't even see the first time. I I'm really good at just seeing claims and if there's like more than one or two lines of text, sometimes I don't even see those questions because I'm just kind of looking for claims when I'm watching my the chat down here. So, all right, so yeah, this is so to Derek and I must have completely overlooked that. So Derek, that's so to you. Still got Kansas. Little Richard, the second coming. That's VG plus $12.99. High bid on Richard Pryor is $45. Paul Brothers out. And the high bid on Sticks is at $55. Final call to get a bid in on this Metallica poster before I make it a buy it now. It's a $275 start. Number, Derek Hart, $35 of $40. Final call, $275. Also, Superman soundtrack still available. EX Condition, $17.99. About a VG cover, cool gatefold. That's the Superman movie. That's EX Condition, $17.99. And it does have a hop sticker on the back with a track listing, and it's pretty much loose. When I picked it up uh, last night, it came out of the gatefold. I think John put it back on the back cover, but it is pretty loose. So the hop sticker with the track listing is kind of there. You just got to reattach it to the cover. VG Plus $14.99 and Cream is VG Plus $24.99. All right, when I come back, I'm selling sticks for $55 to Matthew Copas. Unless there's a new bid, he's the high bidder. And then Richard Pryor's at $45. Final call on that. Final call on those. Final call on those. How about we go into, what do I have over here? I was thinking we should just go right ahead into some other new vintage stuff. Uh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go right into some other new vintage stuff. Most of the new new stuff from last night, we've already recapped and sold a big chunk of it. So let me see what I've got in here and we'll go ahead and go through some of these right here. Let's just see what we got. Tonight, we're gonna be going through new new vinyl and um, what else? Uh, we got, I'm probably gonna do some recaps of new new vinyl. Five crates of new vintage stuff. We just knocked out one, then discount bins. I am gonna go through some Funkos tonight. Somebody asked if we could do that tonight. Obviously, posters, lots of great auctions. That's what we're going to go through. That's what we're going to go through. All right, Paul is in Houston right now. Paul, it'd be hard for him to price records today. We have five John crates. Paul is in Houston. Paul bought a collection yesterday in New Orleans. If you missed that post, he bought 13,000 albums in New Orleans yesterday. And then he's in Houston right now negotiating a deal on another collection, I think. I haven't heard from him. He's either still negotiating or maybe they didn't do a deal. Who knows? But they were in Houston. They were in Houston. So um, he's been gone the last two days. And um, let's see here. Uh, when he left on Wednesday, he priced five crates and we sold literally everything. I think there was five records left 
from uh, all the stuff he priced Wednesday uh, before he left. So Richard Pryor is officially sold. We, uh, Richard Pryor is officially sold, and this is sold to Shane Devers for $45. This is sold to Shane Devers for $45. Richard Pryor, if I get that back in the sleeve after I get the tag in there, that is sold. And Sticks is also sold to Matthew Copas for $55. Sold to Matthew Copas. If you haven't already, make sure you've liked our page. Make sure you have liked our video post, which is this right here. I think I just got all that wrong. Make sure you've liked this post, which is this feed. Very easily, we need to get to 200 likes. I have a feeling we can do it. And let's go ahead and make sure on YouTube you've hit the like video as well. This is sold to Matthew Copas for $55. Before we start going through these, let me go ahead and put up some new, new stuff. And let's go ahead and run. Uh, it's, it's almost 8 o'clock. Give it... Uh, it's almost there. It's almost time for Firehouse. But let's put up something else that's really cool that I found in the back. And I'll go ahead and put up another Japanese pressing. Let's pull something from random here in the Japanese bin. We had one of these, I think, in the last batch. And I was very surprised I only got one bid, but I'll try another one. And this is Jimi Hendrix. Check this out. This is an original 1967. We're talking about OG Hendrix here. 1967. OG 1967. Tri-color steamboat label, solid VG Plus condition. Usually they're beat the heck, but this is the OG year release here in the United States. The U.S. pressing of Jimi Hendrix, RU Experience, 1967. A solid VG Plus. The uh, starting bid is going to be $55. The cover is not bad, actually. Not a bad cover whatsoever. There's one name written on the back, Padden, right there on the back. Other than that, very solid. Iconic. A very important album in rock history. $55 star, Jimi Hendrix. 1967 Santa Maria. Next is a Japanese pressing of Ryan Adams. Brian Adams, that's with a B. This is a $35 start. This is Brian Adams. This is a $35 start. Near Mint Minus and Pristine Japanese Vinyl. Summer of 69, Run to You, Heaven. That's with Obi, $35 start on that. Do we have Jar Flies? Yes, let me go ahead and officially show those. Uh, I didn't put. I meant to put it, some in that first bin. Jar of Flies is $28.99. $28.99. We've got them. I've got plenty of them. There's three of them. If anybody wants one, if you haven't got one already, this is the first week technically that claims are being billed. If you pre-ordered it, everybody already got a bill. And look right over here. They're already been sent out. See, this is why we went ahead and billed everybody today or billed everybody on Monday. See most of those boxes? Most of those boxes, including this stack right there, those are all people who just ordered Alice in Chains. So they're actually actually they're actually being shipped out on release date, which is fantastic. Usually it wouldn't be shipping out to a week after release date. So that's why we went ahead and build those on Monday. So there they are. They're being sent out already. People's getting track of numbers. There was five people here today packing up boxes. Five people here today packing up boxes. I think. John. Let's see, Tanner, Ed, Brian, Doug, and I don't know if Jake was or not. Jake might have been, so that might have been five people for sure. Okay, so back up at the top. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything out. We're about to start this crate. Hendrix got a bid for $55. Jimi Hendrix got a bid for $56. Hector Morin wants a copy of Alice in Chains. Hector, please make sure you message our page if you're a first-time buyer. I need your email address and your mailing address. If you can do that right now, please send our Facebook page an email a message with your email address and your mailing address, okay? $7 in limited shipping. And then we have Scott Dresba wants Jar of Flies. That's so does Scott Dresba. Jimi Hendrix has a bid for $75. Jimi Hendrix has a bid for $60. Brian Adams has $35. Ivan, these are for sale in the store. We have a whole rack full of them. You'll be able to buy them here in the store. All right, let's go through this first crate here. These are non-check condition new arrivals. Roger Hodgkins in the eye of the storm with the inner sleeve. Roger Hodgkins, Hodgins, that's a tough name to say, $14.99. Aqualung, probably the most popular Jethro Tull album. 1999 Gatefold, that's the original label. Jethro Tull's 1999. KC and the Sunshine Band, 1999. Gatefold, everything in here is very nice. EX Plus are better. Jimi Hendrix is now at $95, and Brian Adams is at 35 of Matt Shepard, final call. Hayden Ernest, first on JT, that's for Jethro Tull. Jonathan Berg is second. 
Melanie at Carnegie Hall. I don't know if I've had that one before. Melanie is $19.99. Melanie's Greatest Performance Live, $19.99. I don't think I've ever had that. I had a lot of Melanie records. Also, Porgy and Bess. What do we have here? It is a 1959 mono, $64.99. A 59 mono, Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. No conditionals on that gatefold. 1959 mono, $64.99. George is out on Jimi Hendrix. That means Derek Zazaro has that for $95. Nobody else been on Brian Adams. That sold to Matt Shepard for $35. That's what we sold, I think, one not last night, but the night before for. That sold for $35. And we're about to sell Jimi Hendrix. We're about to sell Jimi Hendrix. Derek Zarzaro wants uh, Derek Zarzaro wants Porgy. Right on the dot. We already have somebody right on the dot. Firehouse time, right at 8 o'clock. All right. As promised, $1 start. This album has uh, never been officially reissued, and I don't think it was ever pressed in the United States. Firehouse, this is a bootleg. This is an unofficial. This is an unauthorized copy. This is not authorized by the official record label. That's why we call it a bootleg or an unofficial. It is a $1 start. It is a $1 start. It is a $1 star firehouse. That's now up for bid. It is now up for bid. All right, back up at the top. Jimi Hendrix, like I said, final call for $95 with pull toe. Derek Zarzaro wants Porgy and Bess. Jimi Hendrix has a new bid for $96. Jimi Hendrix has a bid for $100. Firehouse is at $25. We have Art Garfunkel, Fate for Breakfast. Art Garfunkel is $9.99. $9.99 for Art Garfunkel and James Taylor before this world. James Taylor is $19.99, a 2015 pressing. Now, when I was looking this up, I clicked on the Netherlands pressing. They were only pressed in like the Netherlands, Brazil, Argentina, and the Netherlands pressing. I think there was only one for sale for $212 or something like that. So um, even the bootlegs are pricey because it's really no other way to get it. This is uh, James Taylor, $19.99. Firehouse is at $75. We have Johnny Taylor's Tailored in Silk, $24.99 for Johnny Taylor, Tailored in Silk. On Stax Record, 1973, Johnny Taylor, $24.99. And John Clemmer, Eddie Harris, Two-Tone. John Clemmer and Eddie Harris, Two-Tone, $19.99 from 1982. Now, the newest high bid on Jimi Hendrix in between all that, Ryan Anderson was at 102. Derek Zarzaro, you've been outbid. Uh, Ryan's at 102 on the OG Hendrix. OG Hendrix. Firehouse is at 90 with Matthew Copas. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss any other claims in there. I have not missed any of the claims until Porgy and Bess. We have John Clemmer, Mosaic, Volume 1. John Clemmer is $24.99. A couple of jazz albums in here, Prog, Jazz, Fusion. Statler Brothers, Short Stories. The Statler Brothers is $9.99. And Walter Egan, Wild Exhibitions. Walter Egan is $9.99. Wild Exhibitions. Walter Egan, $9.99. Marvin Gaye, I Want You. It is in shrink wrap, $49.99 for Marvin Gaye. I want you. It's a 1976 Terre Haute pressing. It is in shrink wrap. It has a saw mark. Very clean. Very nice. That's Marvin Gaye. And we have Switch 5 by Switch. That's on Motown Gordy. $14.99 on that. $14.99 on that. Firehouse is at $110 with Jason Conklin. Derek Zarzaro is out on Jimi Hendrix. That means the high bit on this is the Ryan Anderson. This is a 1967 a 1967 Santa Maria pressing. The vinyl is a strong VG+. Plus. That is the original Steamboat label, Santa Maria, 67, $102, final call to Ryan Anderson. And Firehouse is at 115 We have Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks, $14.99. Oh, man, I forgot about Metallica. Buy it now for $275. It is a buy it now for $275. That's already been up for bid. I have forgot all about it. Who wants it? Metallica is a $275 buy now. I've got like 30 other poster auctions to go through. I forgot all about them. We're so focused on the other two auctions back here. Metallica, $275, signed by Derek Hart, number 35 of 40. It is a $275 buy now. That has actually been up for bid in the background. So uh, let's go back to the top, make sure I didn't miss anything. Firehouse out, Firehouse 110, Firehouse 115. And we have Kathy Webb first on BN. BN was for, BN was for, BN was for, Kathy, what was for BN? And then we had uh, details on auctions. This is a 1967 Santa Maria pressing of Jimi Hendrix Are You Experienced? It is a strong VG Plus, a VG Plus jacket. Jimi Hendrix Are You Experienced? 
and the high bid on this right now is a hundred and two dollars and that was with Ryan that was with Ryan Anderson and that's a final call then we have an unofficial bootleg pressing a firehouse on red vinyl that had new bids for 110 121 it's on red vinyl it's on red vinyl 125 with Tony Wade 125 on that with Tony Wade and now 126 with Javi Soto that's where we're at Okay, we have Gary Wright, The Light of Smiles. Gary Wright is $14.99 for The Light of Smiles. Gary Wright is $14.99. And we have Charlie Daniels Band, Night Rider. $22.99 for Charlie Daniels Band, Night Rider. Okay, the next poster. So let's look at this one one more time. That is a bot now for $275. Sorry, I kind of forgot about that one. Metallica is a bot now for $275. And the next one is going to be the Pink Floyd Division Bell poster. This is signed by the artist. It's Bob Massey. It's uh, a little bit smaller than uh, the other posters we've been selling. I think it's like an 18 by 24, and it is going up for bid for a $45 start. Pink Floyd Division Bell, 25th anniversary poster, signed by the artist there. Uh, Bob, Rob, his name is Bob Massey. That's like M-A-S-S-E-E. -S -S -E. That's a $45 start on the Pink Floyd poster. That's now up for bid in the background. I'll try not to forget about that one. Jimi Hendrix has a new bid for 105. Jimi Hendrix has a new bid for 110. Firehouse has two people at 130. Next, we have Johnny Duncan in my dreams. Johnny Duncan is $14.99. Also, Nat King Cole, unforgettable. Nat King Cole is $9.99. Pink Floyd has a bid of $50 with Tony Freeman. Johnny Duncan's greatest hits, $14.99. For Johnny Duncan's Greatest Hits, that's a white label promo, $14.99. The Move, Split Ends. The Move is $19.99. That's with Jeff Lynn featuring the original version of Do Ya. Do Ya, Do Ya, Want My Love, like that ELO did, $19.99. That's The Move. We have Janie Freaky, It Ain't Easy, $14.99 on Janie Freaky, It Ain't Easy. Derek Zarzaro wants Nat King Cole. I don't think that was actually stickered. It wasn't, but I said $9.99 on that. Pink Floyd is at $50 with Tony Freeman. Jeff bid $45. Leslie bid $45. Firehouse is at $130 with Tom Byrne. Tom Byrne is at $130. It's at $130. That's where we're at on that. That's at $130 on Firehouse. That's where we're at. Also, we have Ashford and Simpson. This is $9.99 for Ashford and Simpson. And Heat Wave Central Heating. Heat Wave is $12.99. Brooks is at $131 on Firehouse. Jimi Hendrix is at $120 with Ryan Anderson. James Bragg was at $112. Ryan Anderson's at $120. Now, uh, Jeff Carter and Leslie Silvely, if you want to bid on Pink Floyd, Tony Freeman has it for $50. That's now going twice, going three times, going twice, going three times that. Would be nice if Pink Floyd was signed by the band, by the band members. That would be more like a $975 start or like a $1,575 start. That would be quite incredible. That would be extremely expensive. They don't sign stuff like that. Also, the Stylistics You Are Beautiful, 1999. The Stylistics You Are Beautiful, 1999. And Allison Williams, My Love Is So Raw. Allison Williams, Allison Williams. That is a 12-inch single, $9.99. Okay, back up at the top. We had Jimi Hendrix at 120 of Ryan Anderson. We had Firehouse at 131. We had Firehouse at 135. We have Cutting Crew sold last night. Jimi Hendrix is at 122. Pink Floyd's out. And we have Roy Wood, 14.99. Info on the Jeff Lynn record. That is The Move. That's the name of the band. It's called Split End. Split Ends. That's Jeff Lynn, United Artist. No Condition Notes, 19.99 on that. We have Lamont Dozier working on you, 1999 on Lamont Dozier working on you, and Pebbles with Salt and Pepper back, uh, Backyard or Salt and Peppa. That is $9.99 for Pebbles. Also, Jeff Lorber, Private Passion, that is $4.99. Jeff Lorber, Private Passion, $4.99. And Nat King Cole, The Very Thought of You, is $9.99. $9.99. So James Bragg, Ryan Anderson has the Jimi Hendrix at 126, the 67 Santa Maria Press OG Tricolor Steamboat label. And we got the firehouse. Tom Byrne is at 135. Brooks, you're back out. Tom Byrne has it for 135. Next is Jimi Hendrix 126. Ron Fuller says he'll take the move. And he asked for the details, so he had dibs on that. That is so to him. Travis Wade wants pebbles. That's so to Travis Wade. Heat Wave, I believe, was $12.99. It was. Heat Wave was 
This is Thoroughly Modern 20s, Oscar P uh, Peterson. Oscar Peterson on Black Verve label. Very cool. 1999, John Martinez wants Heat Wave. Lillian, new bidder on Firehouse at 145. James Bragg, new bid on Jimi Hendrix, 128. Charlie Daniels Band, Fire on the Mountain. There is some writing on the cover, but that is on the original Kama Sutra label. Charlie Daniels is $22.99. And Marty Wilson Piper, Art Attack. Art Attack. That's on a 1988 pressing on clear vinyl, 1999. New bid on Jimi Hendrix, 133. New bid on Firehouse, 150. David Tate wants Charlie Daniels. That's so did David Tate. The Wyans, Decisions, $9.99. Ain't No Need to Worry, featuring Anita Baker. Original under sleeve, no condition notes, $9.99. Popper is sold to Brad Bullen. That is sold to Brad Bullen. And Johnny Winter, White, Hot, and Blue. No condition notes on Johnny Winter, 1999. Original under sleeve, Johnny Winter is 1999. Gladys Knight and the Pips, Visions. Gladys Knight is $9.99. James Braggs backing on Jimi Hendrix at 135. Ron K. Thompson wants the Winans. Firehouse is now at 160. This is officially sold to Tony Freeman. This is officially sold to Tony Freeman for $50. There was two bids. Tony bid 50, two other people bid 45, and then that's all she wrote. Tony got that for $50. Let me go ahead and move that into the sold pile. And in case you missed it, I'll get back on track with posters now. This one is the only one that has been put up. It's a buy it now for $275. It may be one of the nicest Metallica ones in the whole lot, numbered and signed by the artist. That's $275 if anybody wants it. Let me go ahead and put, let me get a sold pile going. Best thing for me to do is get some of these moved off to the side in a sold pile so I know what hadn't been so, uh, showed and sold. Showed and sold. Also, the, da the Daft Punk, uh, that buyer backed out on us, and then uh, the, the backup bidder just said, run it again another night. So tomorrow night, we're going to have like a premium night really focusing on posters, and we're going to run that Daft Punk. That was one of the neatest ones, the Daft Punk. So if you were bidding on that, we're going to restart it for the same price tomorrow night as I sold it or showed it for uh, the other night, and uh, we're going to run it. And I think I've got another one to resell. And the posters, just like anything I've been selling, or just like with anything we sell, make sure if you're buying a poster or anything from us that you have the money to pay for it. That's all I ask. All right, this is Widespread Panic. This is a mild saying. Widespread Panic. This is from Brandon, Mississippi. Brandon Amphitheater, numbered 64450, an original concert poster, Miles Sang, numbered 64450, awesome artwork with the alligators. This was from May 27th and 28th, 2013, $145 start, or 2023, I think. I think it's 2023. So that is uh, Widespread Panic, really cool poster there with the alligators, $145 start, $145 start on that. Let's go back up to the top. So we pulled the Winans. Firehouse had a bid for 160. Jimi Hendrix, 139. Firehouse, 165. Firehouse, 175. Jimi Hendrix, 141. Firehouse, 180. Jimi Hendrix, 149. Continuing. Cool in the Gang. Light of Worlds. Cool in the Gang is 19. Boy, I don't think I've seen that one too often. 1999. Cool in the Gang. Light of Worlds. 1999 for Cool in the Gang. And everyone's gone to the moon and other trips to T-Bones. $14.99. The T-Bones is on Liberty. $14.99. The T-Bones. Firehouse is at $190. We have Herman's Hermit's Blaze. $9.99. James Bragg's at $161 on Jimi Hendrix. How about I get a third auction started? This next auction, this next auction, having trouble talking tonight, more than I normally do, is a Japanese pressing, an iconic movie, and an iconic soundtrack. And this is a beautiful, pristine, top Japanese pressing and this is the american graffiti soundtrack an amazing collection of music i think it's 41 tracks on two lps japanese vinyl gatefold with ob book and inserts and this is a 35 dollars start american graffiti george lucas there's one insert there's the other insert there's the gatefold with ob and that's a 35 dollars start american graffiti american graffiti that's now going to forbid there's auction number three ryan's out on Jimi hendrix final call to james bragg for 161 firehouse just got to 195 with tom byrne we have the t connection magic we have t connection magic for 12 dollars and 99 cents t connection magic 12 dollars and 99 cents that looks like a jazz fusion type record possibly t connection twelve dollars and 99 cents on that chicago was 1999 that's a 2lp chicago 1999 that is chicago 567 chicago 7 2lp 
And we have Joe Cocker, Mad Dogs and Englishman, $39.99. Joe Cocker, Mad Dogs and Englishman, 2LP, A&M Records, no condition notes on that, $39.99. And this is Johnny Cash, $9.99. Okay, Jimi Hendrix is officially sold to James Bragg for $161. That's sold to James Bragg for $161. James, that is yours. And now Firehouse is over here. Lillian McCurry has that for 210. That's between two people, Lillian and Tom Byrne. Lillian has it for 210. American Graffiti has one bid for $35. Final call, Scott Dresba wants the T connection. That is sold to Scott Dresba. Next is Derek Zarzaro on Joe. Joe Cocker, great live album there. That's sold to Derek Zarzaro. David Tate, First on Johnny Cash, Susie Breedlove second, American Graffiti 36. We have Robert Nighthawk and his Flames of Rhythm, $49.99. Robert Nighthawk and his Flames of Rhythm, that Flames of Rhythm, that's a um, Rounder Records rare Chicago blues recordings from the collection of Norman Drayen. That is $49.99. American Graffiti's at $37. Uh, that's a new bid with Rain, and the Firehouse is at $215 with Tom Byrne. 215 with Tom Byrne. Tubular Bells, Mike Oldfield. That's the soundtrack to The Exorcist. Tubular Bells is $14.99. And we have The Move, The Greatest Hits, Volume 1. So there's The Greatest Hits of The Move featuring Jeff Lynne, $24.99. That's a UK pressing on Pickwick. We have Firehouse at $225 and Crosby, Stills & Nash, Daylight Again, $19.99. Great Crosby, Stills & Nash album. American Graffiti's at $37, so Jonathan Berg is back in at $38. Never mind, and Lillian's at 225 on that. That crate, I'm not going to read everything that's left back in there because there's quite a bit. I'll just go ahead and move on to another one. If anybody wants anything, if you were waiting for me to finish the bin, now's the time. I'm going to go ahead and get a third Japanese auction started, which is the Streets of Fire soundtrack because it looks like we're done on Firehouse unless somebody else decides they want in on it. Firehouse is at 225 American Graffiti 38 Matt Stapleton on CS, and I think that was for Crosby and Nash. Is that right, Matt? If so, that goes to you. Kathy second, Davey Winston third. American Graffiti just got a new bid for 39. This is the soundtrack to Streets of Fire. Music from the original motion picture soundtrack, Streets of Fire. That is a $35 start. There's the Japanese lyric insert. There's the Japanese insert. Nice cover shots from the movie with Obi. $35 start on that. Firehouse is officially sold to Lily McCurry for $200. And $25 that is sold. Firehouse, Lily McCurry, $225. American Graffiti's at $40 with Jonathan Berg. That's at $40 with Jonathan Berg. And American Graffiti is auction number one. Streets of Fire is $35. Statler Brothers from the last crate. I think that's in this crate. Let's see here. That was short stories right here. Statler Brothers short stories. This one right here, David Tate. If so, that's so do you. We'll go back through that bin a little bit later. We have Streets of Fire as a $35 start. And that's going once, going twice. They're still bidding on graffiti. And let me go ahead and do some crate condensing here. I'm going to need some empty crates tonight, it looks like for sure. Nothing wrong with that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and run through some new vinyl that I have over here. Let's see what's in this bin. Actually, is this what I wanted to go through? Might just go ahead and go through the next bin to check condition. Not go for the next bin of check condition. Let me see where I have done those. They're right here. Always great titles in the check condition bin. Let's go ahead and run through those. Streets of Fire. And we have Streets of Fire at $35. Price on the move was $24.99. We have an out on American Graffiti. That is now sold to Jonathan Berg for $40. And Streets of Fire is a final call for $35. So Jonathan Berg gets the uh, American Graffiti soundtrack for $40. And Streets of Fire is the final call to Lillian for $40. I have a gigantic box set over here I've been meaning to put up for auction for a while. So let me go ahead and grab it, and let's send it off to a new home. We've sold more box sets this week than ever before, so why not continue with another one? I actually have to walk around to grab it because I don't want to drop it, but this is incredible when you see it. It's been over here behind the counter forever because I know I have one, but this one is practically brand new. And I'm like, man, I'm pretty sure mine is, I don't think they ever came sealed because I bought one from our distributor and I think it's still in the shipping box. And I was going to bring that one down and just swap it out and just, you know, show this one. But, um because I ordered the other one from the distributor. 
and it was the only one I was ever, ever able to get, and then they went out of print. But take a look at this. This is George Harrison. It's going to be really hard to show, but it is in mint condition. This is from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. It has the Obi still on it. Let me take that off, actually. Oh, boy. This is heavy. This is like 30 pounds. It has this really cool lenticular picture of George Harrison. As you can see, it changes. It has this really cool picture of George Harrison. But this is his complete studio album collection. Wonderwall, electronic music. All Things Must Pass, Living in Material World, Dark Horse, Extra Texture, 33 and a Third, his self-titled album, Somewhere in England, Gondropo, Cloud Nine, his last album, Brainwashed, and then Live in Japan. This is the complete George Harrison studio album collection. And over here on the side, um, over here on the side, it slides out. And it's pretty much brand new. Dave uh, Dale never did really play it. I mean, it still had the OB wrapped around it. It had the plastic. So he just had it displayed on a shelf like that. Whew, boy, that's heavy. Here's the OB that goes with it. And uh, it actually comes with two bonus picture discs. So there's all the albums, 180 gram remastered. That is a $375 start, George Harrison. And I've been literally trying to find more box sets because I was like, well, if this trend continues, we've had every box set sold in the store. But I keep finding a couple stray ones. Here's one of the last ones. And this is now a $375 start, George Harrison. All right. And let's put that right there. There he is. Streets of Fire is at $45. Let's go through this box, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Streets of Fire, $35, $35, $41. We have not sold Rage of Order, Streets of Fire 42 and 45. George Harrison is a $375 start. First record in this new check condition bin is Deep Purple, Machine Head. Deep Purple's on the Green Terra Haute label, VG Plus condition, $24.99, Deep Purple, Machine Head. It does have some writing on the cover, but that is the original label, Smoke on the Water, $24.99. Aerosmith, their debut album, VG condition, $14.99 for Aerosmith. Self-titled, VG Condition 1499. Streets of Fires at $46. George Harrison is a $375 start. Johansson Cruz first on Deep Purple and Jeff Carter first on Aerosmith. Those are sold and sold. Next is Rush 2112. This is in VG minus condition. VG minus, but it is a 1976 Pittman pressing, an original 1999, Rush 2112. Josh Ragland second on Aerosmith. Def Leppard high and dry. VG Condition 2499. VG Condition, $24.99. Lillian's out on Streets of Fire. Fred Carnell has that for $46. Final call to get a bid in on that. Final call to get a bid in on George Harrison. And if anybody wants this poster, it's a $145 buy it now. That is the widespread panic poster. That is a $145 buy it now. You thought I almost forgot about it, didn't I? Ah, it is this right there. Almost forgot about it. $145 buy it now. That is widespread panic. That is a $145 buy it now. That's available. All right, at the end of the week, I plan on getting all the posters together that hadn't sold and like making a post on our page where everybody can see them as buy it nows. That's left over. Jeff Carter first on Def Leppard. Steve Koch first on Rush. Ron, it has already sold. Jeff Carter says out on Def Leppard. I think that means he's passing. So Def Leppard still available, VG $24.99. And we have Gil Fuller and the Monterey Jazz Festival Orchestra. EX Edition featuring Dizzy Gillespie, Pacific Jazz Records, $19.99. EX Condition, $19.99, and we have Woodstock Soundtrack, VG Condition, $24.99, 3LP, the Woodstock Soundtrack, $24.99 for Woodstock, and Johnny Cash sings the ballads of the True West, 2LP Johnny Cash, VG Plus Condition, $19.99, Johnny Cash sings the ballads of the True West. All right, let's go ahead and sell Streets of Fire to Fred Carnell for $46. Fred, that's so to you. If anybody wants the George Harrison box, it's a $375 buy it now. $375 on the George Harrison box. $375 on the George Harrison box. If anybody wants that, right there. It's available for a BIN. You put the Streets of Fire up. This is sold to Fred Carnell. Fred, you get this. Pop this in here. And this is sold to Fred Carnell. Uh, for $46. All right, then Susie Breedlove first on Woodstock. Any Stones posters? Not, uh, yes. Yes, there is. There's a, uh, there's some kind of Bud Light poster from the 80s. Uh, Matt Shepard second on Woodstock. Tony, uh, Heidi and Tony Bowman third. Rob Zimmer first on that. James Bragg would just sold Woodstock. 
and George Harrison. Uh, George Harrison is a $375 buy it now. $375 on that. I'm going to put that right over here because it's extremely a massive box set. His complete studio album collection. George Harrison's a $375 buy it now. Next is Joe Walsh, the smoke you drink, the play you get. VG Plus $14.99 on Joe Walsh. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, the couch album cover. VG Condition $14.99 for CSN, their self-titled debut album. And Spencer Davis Group, Give Me Some Lovin'. This one's in VG Minus Condition $9.99. Jeff Carter first on Joe Walsh. That's so to Jeff Carter. Let's go ahead and put up this album that was asked about, Queens Rock. And let's go ahead and put up the Star Wars soundtrack. Very, very cool. First thing we have here is Queen's Rock Rage of Order, a Japanese pressing. This is going to be a $55 start. Queen's Rock Rage of Order. This is a $55 start. It is, wow, it's a promo copy. It's a white label promo from Japan. Queen's Rock Rage of Order. This is a $55 start. It also has a Japanese inner sleeve and it has a very nice cover of OB Queen's Rock. It's $55. That should get lots of bids. And check out this. Star Wars soundtrack. Oh my goodness. Look how nice this is with a gigantic Obi. This is a piece of art. This is actually the story of Star Wars. This is the story of Star Wars. It has uh, dialogue and music. The vinyl is pristine. There's Anthony Daniels, <laughs> C3PO, and R2D2. Gatefold with Obi. It has a book with it. Amazing. Very nice Japanese pressing of that. Also a $55 start. This folds out like that. $55 start on that as well. Queen's Rock has bids for $55 and $60. And we have a uh, offer on George Harrison for $360 of Lily McCurry. Sold. George Harrison is sold to Lily McCurry for $360. Lillian, that means i got to pick it up again. You're making me work for this one. George Harrison officially sold. Lily McCurry, $360. Very, very nice. The box set trend continues. Box set trend continues. That's sold to Lillian for $360. Thank you for the very fair offer. That is sold to you. Queens Rock is at 55 now 65 Looking for a $55 start on Star Wars. If no one bids on that, that's okay. I'm perfectly okay of keeping Star Wars, but I have a feeling it will sell. All right, let's go back to the top here. Spencer Davis Group, Steve Winwood, give me some lovin'. We have 10 Wheel Drive of Gina Raven. This is in VG condition, Peculiar Friends. It is a white label promo, $14.99 on Gina Raven, 10 Wheel Drive. Three Dog Night, suitable for framing. VG condition, $9.99 for Three Dog Night, suitable for framing. Tony Lewis wants Spencer Davis Group. That is so to Tony Lewis. Queens Rock is at $70 of Jeff Brindley. Final call to get a bid in on Star Wars. And we have Credence Clearwater Revival, VG Plus Condition, $24.99. VG Plus Condition, Bayou Country. That's on the original blue and gold label. Let me go over here and see what poster I have next tagged. And that was this Leon Russell. Now, I'll be surprised if this one doesn't sell. Look how cool this is. Leon Russell. Now going up for bid. This is a 50th anniversary of a song for you. The art, the art is by Dave Cloak, D-A-V-E-K-L-O-C. It's a rainbow foil limited edition. $75 start, Leon Russell. That's also another 18 by 24 Leon Russell, or actually a, uh, no, a, yeah, an 18 by 24, I think. Standard size is a lot of these we've been selling. That is now up for bid. Leon Russell, that's up for bid in the background. $75 start, $75 start. All right, we pulled Spencer Davis Group, Queens Rock, 66 and 70, 75, 55 on Star Wars. That has a bid for $55. Marvin Gaye, super hits. VG condition, $24.99. Marvin Gaye super hits, VG, $24.99. Johnny Paycheck is VG plus $9.99. And Johnny Rivers golden hits, VG plus $9.99. Johnny Rivers golden hits. Also, we have Jefferson Airplane, Long John Silver, in the original humidor. In the original humidor uh, packaging, VG nineteen ninety nine on that. We have Star Wars already has a bid for fifty five dollars. That's with Terry Gearhart. It's now a second warning. So if anybody wants to bid, Skip Knot or Rob Long, you've got to outbid Terry Gearhart. He has it for fifty five dollars. It is a near mint and pristine Japanese pressing. Here comes our next auction. We still got Kiss Originals. We still got Alice Cooper. Here is the next one, which I know people's waiting for as well. It's always being asked about, and that is the 
Buckingham Nicks. Now this was definitely at a radio station at one point. This is a 1953 keel press. It's not a gatefold. It's a 53 keel press, not a gatefold. Always a desirable album. It's Buckingham Nicks. Buckingham Nicks. Let me show this to you right now. This is Buckingham Nicks. So it's got a promo or it's got a radio station. This isn't really a promo sticker, but they put this on a lot of records at radio stations and they wrote when they played it. Like they played this on December 10th, 1983. They played it on May of 86, again in 86, again in 86, and then again in 88. So looks like it wasn't played that many times and you can kind of tell it's in a very nice condition. This is going up for bid. It is a $45 start. It's not really marked as a promo, but actually it was definitely at a radio station. And that is a 45 or whatever I just said, $55 start. I have a feeling we'll get to either one very quickly. Buckingham Nicks, very nice vinyl, 1981 pressing. It's not a gatefold. All right, Star Wars had new bids for 56, 56, 56. Matthew Cope is first on Jefferson Airplane. Star Wars is at 58. Buckingham Nicks. Kathy Webb, make sure you put the numerical when you're bidding. And Queen's Rock is a Japanese pressing of Rage for Order. And the last bid on this was Scott Vanek, Jeff Brindley at $80. Jeff Brindley has it for $80. Jeff Brindley has it for $80, and Star Wars is at $60. And Kathy, if you're bidding on Buckingham Nicks, make sure you put the actual numerical so I know what you're bidding on and how much. Johnny Winter Stories in VG condition. $9.99, VG condition $9.99. Here's the Leon Russell poster. It's up for bid right now. $75 start. I forget about them if they don't get a bid. That's why uh, if they don't get a bid, then I kind of forget that I have them up for auction. If they get a bid, then I see it in the comments and it reminds me. But final call on this to lock in a bid. Foil. This is a foil rainbow. As you can tell, D Dave Cloak, $75 start. Final call before I make it a buy it now. It's a 50th anniversary celebration poster of a song for you. Joe Maynard's in at 75, going twice, going three times. Star Wars has got a new bid for 60. Queens Rock just got a new bid for 82. Buckingham Knicks just got a new bid for 80. Continuing, we have James Gang passing through. VG Plus Condition, $12.99. James Gang passing through. VG Plus, $12.99. Uh, Chad, please double check. Jeff Carter may have been first on... Jefferson Airplane. He was Jefferson Airplane. Jeff Carter, you were first on Jefferson Airplane. Let me change that. That was the last record that I pulled out of here. Jeff Carter, you get this instead of Matthew Copas, if that's okay with you. That's so to Jeff Carter. And then Buckingham Nix is at 105. We have Jethro Tull, Living in the Past. VG Condition, $14.99, Living in the Past. J Dave VH wants James Gang. Jeff Carter says, let him have Jefferson Airplane. Let's change this again. Jefferson Airplane goes to Matthew Copas. Matthew Copas, you get Jefferson Airplane. James Gang is sold to Dave VH and Derek Zarzaro and Jethro Tull. This is an awesome set. That's sold to Derek Zarzaro. Update on Star Wars. Star Wars is at $60 of Rob Long. It's a Japanese pressing of the Star Wars story. Awesome artwork there. Gatefold with Obi. It has the book that expands in the middle. Japanese, obviously, with Obi. That has a high bid with Rob Long at $60. Everybody else is out. Everybody else is out. Buckingham Nicks is at $110 with Robert Phillippe. $110 with Robert Phillippe. And the last bid on Queens Rock was at $82 with Scott Vanek. Everybody else is out. $82 with Scott Vanek. That's a Japanese pressing. The Leon Russell, we got four auctions going. Leon Russell's a final call to Joe Maynard for $75. Holy moly. Sometimes two's a lot. Right now I got four going that all have bids. Final call. Final call, $75. All right. Now, let me show a bunch of records. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. VG condition, $14.99. Original Columbia 2i stereo. Johnny Cash is $14.99. Crosby Stills Nash and Young, Deja Vu, VG Plus Condition, $19.99. VG Plus Condition, $19.99 on Deja Vu. Ted Nugent and the Ambroid Duke Survival of the Fittest Live. Early Ted Nugent here. VG Plus, $19.99. David Tate on Johnny, David Tate on Johnny Cash. Queens Rock is near mint minus and pristine. It's a pristine Japanese pressing. We have Matt Shepard second on Johnny Cash. Star Wars 65, Queens Rock 86. Neil Diamond is EX Condition, $9.99. Tap Root Manuscript, EX Condition, $9.99. Deep Purple in Rock, VG Plus Condition, $12.99. Deep Purple in Rock. Green Warner Brothers Label, VG Plus Condition, $12.99. 
and Eric Clapton's Rainbow Concert, VG Condition $14.99. Leon Russell is sold to Joe Maynard for $75. This poster is officially sold to Joe Maynard for $75. Joe gets that for $75. Back up at the top, we had Queens Rock at 85 and then 86. Star Wars 66. Kevin Labate, first to Neil Diamond. Adrian Villarreal, first to Deep Purple. Queens Rock 87. Kelly Cook next on Deep Purple. Paul Richards next on Deep Purple. Now, one bit I hadn't said in a while was Buckingham's Knicks. Robert Phillippe has this for 120. Kathy Webb, you are outbid. If you're done bidding, let me know. If you want back in, that's okay with me. You just got to bid more than 120. All three, we got two new bidders all of a sudden on Queens Rock. We're not nowhere near done on that one. Doobie Brothers, what were vices are now habits. Doobie Brothers is EX Condition, $12.99. The Doors, other voices. About a VG minus cover, wear, and writing on the cover. No condition notes on that, $29.99. And Rare Earth, get ready, VG Condition, $14.99. Rare Earth, get ready, VG Condition, $14.99. $14.99. Deja Vu, John Franz, the vinyl is in VG Plus condition. It is $19.99, about a VG cover. It is a four-digit label from Atlantic. That's a classic album. I've listened to that one a bunch. We have City to City, another classic with Gary Rafferty, VG condition, $9.99. Gary Rafferty is VG condition, $9.99. John Franz wants Deja Vu. That's so to John Franz. And Tales from Topographic Oceans, yes. VG Condition, $14.99 on Yes, Tales from Topographic Oceans. Jace, John Franz also wants Jerry Rafferty. Buckingham Knicks is at $130. let us go right to left. Buckingham Knicks is at $130. Kathy is still bidding, I think. She hasn't set out. Star Wars. Star Wars is at $100. No, excuse me. Star Wars is at $65 with Chad Waite. Star Wars is at $65 with Chad Waite. If you're not Chad and you're not at 65, if you've already bid more than 65, go ahead and bid it again. Queens Rock is at 110 with Scott Vanek. Pristine Japanese pressing, $110. That's where we're at. Steve Wright wants Ambroy Dukes. This is so to Steve Wright. Ted Nugent, early Nugent there with the Ambroy Dukes. That's so to Steve Wright. New bid on Star Wars. Kathy's out on Buckingham Knicks. We have Emerson Lake and Palmer, Brain Salad Surgery, VG Plus $14.99. And Fleetwood Mac, Heroes Are Hard to Find. That Fleetwood Mac is VG Plus $14.99. The next poster I got for us, this one's really cool too. We sold Leon Russell. Check out this one. Check this one out. Here he is. It's Mr. Willie. Willie Nelson is, uh, it, it's dated like it's from August 12th. Obviously, this poster is not from 1972. It's like a fantasy poster is what I call them. Uh, it's, it's made to look like it's a concert poster from 1972. Uh, limited edition print. Very cool when you sit in person. That's the story of all these. It's number 25 of 35. It's signed by the artist. It's signed by the artist down there at the bottom where it's numbered. It is a $145 start. $145 start on Willie Nelson. It says August 12, 1972, Willie Nelson, the Armadillo World Headquarters, Austin, Texas. Really cool poster. That's an 18 by 24. Willie's $145 start. All right, back to the bin. We have Adam Buckingham Knicks. We're still bidding on Queens Rock. We're still bidding on Star Wars. And we have Humble Pie. Eat it. Humble Pie's EX Condition, $27.99 on Humble Pie. And Roberta Flack, first take. Roberta Flack is in VG Plus Condition, $14.99 for Roberta Flack. First take, VG Plus, $14.99. Jethro Tool War Child, EX Condition, $14.99. Bungle in the Jungle. Bungle in the Jungle. And we have Ritual of the Savage by Les Baxter and his orchestra. From 1955, VG Condition, $14.99. Buckingham Knicks is officially sold to Robert Phillippe for $130. Robert Phillippe, you get the Buckingham Knicks for $130. That is sold to you. Robert Phillippe. Next is Queens Rock. Scott Vanak has it for 115. Thomas Hujar, you're out. And Rob Long is at 67 on Star Wars, but Chad Waite was in first. Chad Waite was in first. Rob, you tied him. And then we have Derek Zarzaro first on Jethro Tull. That is sold to Derek Zarzaro. Uh, Les Baxter is sold to Thomas Hujar. Nick Broger on second. Brad Bowen third. Queens Rock's at 117. And we have the fabulous Nickenbockers live. Signed by Buddy Randale. Signed by Buddy Randale. And that's in VG Plus condition, $49.99.
VG Plus condition, $49.99. Must be one of the original members right here. Buddy Randale, the saxophone player. The saxophone player. VG Plus condition, $49.99. Star Wars got a new bid for $68. Queens Rocks at $120. So, I've sold the Buckingham Knicks since those two auctions have been up for, for bid. I had a feeling. Now, get ready for a lot of activity on this. Holy moly. It's Kiss, the originals. This is in VG condition. It's going to be a $55 start. Kiss, the originals. Now, let's see what all comes with it. Let's see what all comes with it. Over the, overall, it's in VG condition. This was a repackaging. When this came out, it was a repackaging of the first three Kiss albums. Here's the first one, Kiss self-titled. Now, John's graded it VG overall, but like that's an overall grade. For example, the first Kiss album here, the first Kiss album here, it's closer to a VG plus in my opinion. This is going to be a $55 start. So there is the original sleeve. There's the original sleeve for that. Let me just put it right there. And then here is Hotter Than Hell, their second album. Here's Hotter Than Hell. Also, VG, VG+. Plus. This one don't look too bad either. It's closer to VG+, Plus, I think. There's Hotter Than Hell. And they come in like the original paper jackets, replica sleeves. And then here's Dress to Kill, their third album, Dress to Kill. And this one, this one's probably the one that's closer to VG, mostly because it has that one mark right there. But other than that, overall, we'll call it VG slash VG+. Plus. That's Kiss the Originals. It's a repackaging of the first three albums, and that's all that's included. It's just the three sleeves for the jackets, just the three sleeves for the covers. That's all that's included. And that has a high bid of 55 and now 65 So that's our third auction right back here. We're still getting bids on Queens Rock and Star Wars, so I don't think those are done. I'm going to read the titles that's left in here. If anybody wants a price, let me know, or I may go ahead and hit the price, the highlights of the prices on some of them. Just let me know. I still got... Uh, two more crates of new, new vintage stuff, and then we're going to get pretty early tonight into recapping lots of new vinyl that we have in stock and uh, uh, discount bins for sure. David Tate wants to pass on the last Johnny Cash. Matt Shepard, you were back up. Uh, Matt, I just want to confirm that you know you're going to get the Folsom Prison. Was it Folsom Prison or San Quentin? The last Johnny Cash. That was Folsom Prison. The last one was Folsom Prison, and David Tate said he was first, but he wants to pass it to, let me find that, to Matt Shepard. So Matt, this is going to you, Folsom Prison, VG Condition 1499. Matt says he'll take it. So I'm pulling that out, putting it back into the bin at the back to Matt Shepard. KISS is at $70. Let's update all three auctions. KISS is the most recent. It's at 70. Queens Rocks at 123. Thomas Hujar, you're out. And Star Wars is at $69 with Chad Waite. Once again, Chad's at 69, Rob Long, you're out, Davey Winston, you're out. Uh, Chad Wade has it for 69. I have a feeling we're not done on that. No problem, David. Here's what's left in here. Def Leppard. I repeat, Def Leppard. VG condition, $24.99, high and dry. Star Wars is at 70 with a new bidder. Kiss is also at 70. And now another $70 bid on Star Wars. Gil Former and the Monterey Jazz Festival featuring Dizzy Gillespie. EX Condition, 1999. Crosby, Stills, and Ash, one of my favorite albums of all time. I think I've sold most people a copy, but if you don't have one, here's a great beginner. It's in VG Condition. Sweet Judy Blue Eyes is an amazing song. $14.99. That's an OG pressing, it looks like. Dennis Daly, first on Def Leppard. Sean Mankel, second. We have Kisses at 72. Johansson Cruz on Galepsi. I was about to say, I pulled that one out last night and had John Price it. I've been doing some digging in the back. I find really cool jazz albums like this just buried in the back. I pull them out. I was like, John, we got to get some of these uh, sold. And Crosby steals an ass sold to Matt Shepard. Whatever poster I have up for bid is going to be a buy it now. Willie Nelson is a $145 buy it now. Willie Nelson is a $145 buy it now. If anybody wants that, it is available. Willie Nelson is a $145 buy it now. Really cool poster there. 1972. It's like a fantasy poster from 1972. That's now for bid. Derek Zarzaro gets it. So did Derek Zarzaro. Willie Nelson. Thank you. And let's go ahead and get the 311. It's next on my agenda. 311. Boy, and if you're a Grateful Dead fan, I got a, a really cool Dead poster here in a minute to show. But let me go ahead and get the 311 going. This is now what for bid. 311 is from Halloween of 2021. It's The artist is called Dr. Ju Jupana. Juapana or something like that. It's actually numbered to 311. It's number 202 of 311. 
And this is where they played October 29th, 30th, and 31st there in Colorado. 311 is a starting bid of $55. It's a starting bid of $55. It's number 202 of 311. That's now up for bid for a $55 start. $55 start on that. All right, so we sell Crosby, Seals, and Nash to Matt Shepard. Jonathan Feller, you were second. Star Wars is still getting bids. Uh, wow, 70, 71, 70, 75. Uh, Al, uh, Kiss is at 80, but I think we already had somebody at 90 and possibly 100 earlier. No, we just have somebody at 90. That's uh, uh, Christopher Onzo, and they're still bidding on Queens Rock. Thomas Hujar has it for $125, 125 on that. Let me show a few more records. We have 10-wheel drive of Gina Raven, VG condition, $14.99. Three dog night, suitable for framing, VG condition, $14.99. Eli's coming is on here. This is VG condition, $14.99. Three dog night, suitable for framing. Crosby, Stills, and Ash, Bayou Country. VG plus condition, $24.99. VG plus condition, $24.99. Marvin Gaye Super Hits. VG condition, $24.99. Marvin Gaye Super Hits, that's VG condition, $24.99. And we have Johnny Paycheck, She's All I Got. That's VG plus $9.99. Let's take a look at Marvin Gaye again. This is a hits compilation, $24.99. It's on the original Tom La Motown label. Heard it through the grapevine. Ain't that peculiar? Can I get a witness? How sweet it is to be loved by you. Too busy thinking about my baby. I'll be dog gone. That's got some great music on there, FYI. We have our first out of the two main bidders on Queens Rock with Thomas Hujar. This is now a final call to Scott Vanek at $127. By the way, this is a white label promo. Queens Rock, Rage for Order with Obi, Near Mint Minus and Pristine. Scott Vanek has that for $127. Star Wars. We've had a war on Star Wars. I've got the high bidder with David Eberly at $75. David Eberly's at $75. Everybody else is out if you're not David Eberly. He has it for $75. Final call. We have Kiss Originals. Kiss Originals is the 3LP repackaging of the original three first Kiss albums. Overall, VG, VG Plus, just the jackets, just the vinyl, VG sleeve. The vinyl is probably closer to VG Plus. And the last bit on this, and now the final call, is with Christopher Onzo at $90. That's at $90 of Christopher Onzo. David Tate on JP for Johnny Paycheck. And then we also skipped over Credence here. It was an OG pressing, VG plus $24.99, blue and gold label. That is CCR, just FYI. So two records there, I'm kind of surprised, still available. Johnny Rivers Golden Hits was VG plus $9.99. Johnny Winter Story was VG $9.99. New bid on Kiss, new bid on Star Wars, $76, and now $95 on Kiss. We're about to sell Queens Rock. Clapton is VG $14.99. Queens, uh, excuse me, Queens Rock has a high bid. Of uh, 127, I think I saw where somebody asked. 127, Scott Vanak, we're about to sell it. Jeff, everything in here is sticker price for right now. EX Condition, these are new arrivals. Doobie Brothers is EX Condition, $12.99. The Doors is $29.99, other voices. Rare Earth, get ready, VG $14.99. Tales from Topographic Oceans, yes, VG Condition, $14.99. Emerson Lake and Palmer, Brain Salad Surgery, VG Plus $14.99. Fleetwood Mac, Heroes Are Hard to Find, VG Plus $14.99. Humble Pie, Eat It, EX $22.99. The Fabulous Nickenbockers, it was signed on the back by one of the members. It's VG Plus $49.99, and Roberta Flack was VG Plus $14.99. All right, a few more things in here sold. Emerson Lake and Palmer sold to Jeff Carter. We have David Eberly first on Yes. We have Debbie Winston first on Fleetwood Mac, and we can officially sell Queens Rock to Scott Vanek. This is sold to Scott Vanek for $127, Rage for Order, the white label promo Japanese pressing. All right, so now it leaves us with two auctions, and they're still getting bids. And that's Star Wars, which has been up for auction for almost a record amount of time. David Eberly has it for $80. We are now at $80 with David Eberly. Everybody else is out. And Kiss Originals, the newest highest bid, is with Heidi and Tony Bowman at $110. Nathan Mosley, you're out. Heidi has it for 110. That's now auction number one and two. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out crates. If you decide you want anything in there, just let me know. 
think it's time we go through a little bit of new vinyl, if that's okay with everybody. You're going to see what's over here next to me. I still got some new, new stuff, but uh, just going to go through some random bins and see what's over here and what we got. I think I'll slide this one over, see what we have here, tell you a little bit about them. I like going through new vinyl and really kind of showing you what it is and what limited edition it is and the mastering, if I know what it is and that kind of information. So first we have Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. If we do get an original Joan Jett, it is an instant seller. This is $29.99. This is Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. Also, if anybody wants to buy the 311 poster, nobody bid on it. So it's a $55 buy now. If anybody wants to pick up the 311 Halloween poster from 2021, it is a numbered and uh, that's a $55 buy now if anybody wants it. All of our posters will be shipped rolled in a tube for $7 in limited shipping, just FYI. All right, Rain Bard first on Joan Jett. That is so to Rain Bard. Do we have any warrants? I have all three warrant albums in stock. I have Cherry Pie, Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich, and Dog Eat Dog. They're all $39.99. I'll grab two Dog Eat Dogs, I'll grab two Cherry Pies, and I'll grab two Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Riches. And these are on sale. They're always on sale for $39.99. Uh, Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich is on clear vinyl, music on vinyl, limited and numbered. Cherry Pies on cherry red colored vinyl. It's numbered and limited to 3000 and then Dog Eat Dog is on blue and red marble vinyl. If you want a worn album, they're all new and sealed for music on vinyl, brand new copies, $39.99. Do you still have inner sleeves? I do. Give me a second. I'll show those. Rain Bard was first to Joan Jett. Christopher and Thomas, if y'all want on a waiting list, I can still get these. Christopher Morris and Thomas Reed, let me know if you want a waiting list. I will get more of those. Let's update Star Wars. Now a final call. I haven't seen anybody else bid. I hope we're done. David Everly has it for 80. I'm about to sell it. And Kiss Originals, nobody has bid since that last $110 bid. Final call, $110 to Heidi Bowman. We're about to sell both those and put up some new ones. Cherry Pie is sold for $39.99. And I have more. Make sure that goes in for $39.99 because I don't have them stickered. And James Vasquez wants on the Joan Jett waiting list. So James wasn't even on the list. So James on the waiting list. Uh, Christopher and Thomas, unless they say otherwise. We have Queens of Stone Age, Lock Clockwork, $34.99. So a reason we order something on new vinyl is for a few different reasons. One, an original doesn't exist or it's very rare and expensive. If we do, if it does exist as an original, it's very hard to come by because uh, it sells very quickly. Like Joan Jett, that's not a rare record. You can pick up Joan Jett quite often. However, we just sell them so fast there's no way we can have enough for everybody. Everybody's always wanting this album. That's another reason we order new vinyl. And then the third reason is probably because it's new and sealed. A lot of people like brand new, brand new, just brand new. I have some people that's like, Chad, I just want brand new stuff. I don't want anything pre-owned. There's a couple people I have, that's all they get is new vinyl. They have very, very few vintage anything pre-owned in their collection. They want it new and sealed. And it sounds really good. So that's kind of my run out on new vinyl. It's been really popular. Before 2019, new vinyl wasn't really all that popular. And it's, of course, skyrocketed in the last six years. All right, let's go ahead and sell Star Wars. This is now officially sold to David Everly for $80. $80, David Everly, you get the Star Wars. I'm ready for a few new auctions. I'm ready for a few new auctions. That is sold. That is sold. And we have Kiss the Originals. It is now officially sold to Heidi Bowman. Heidi gets that for 110. Heidi gets that for 110. So Queens of the Stone Age, like clockwork, is new and sealed for $34.99. That is uh, new and sealed for $34.99. And let's go ahead and put up two new auctions. I got lots of Japanese stuff. I have our next Japanese record, a classic, The Eagles, Hotel California. And I'm going to go over here to my other pre-owned bin and put up this copy of Alice Cooper. So let's do that. Two classics here from the 70s. No, Billy Joe. I'll check right now, Jeff, but I don't think so. This is the Eagles. This is Hotel California. It is going to be a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's the LP. There's the Japanese insert. And here is the poster. Here is the poster. This is going to be a $35 start. The classic Hotel California. Hotel California, $35 start. The Eagles, beautiful gatefold with OB, OBI. And then next is Alice Cooper, Schools Out. This is an original 1972 Terre Haute pressing. No panties, 
but it is a 72 terahertz pressing. Someone's took really good care of it. No condition notes on it. Extremely nice. Alice Cooper is a $35 star. School desk cover. It opens up like a school desk. It has legs that fold out. $35 start on School's Out. There's the Eagles. There's Alice Cooper. There's our next two auctions. All right, continuing. Let's go through some more stuff in here. We have Alice in Chains, Rainer Fog, 5th Anniversary Edition on small colored vinyl. I'm all of a sudden very low on those. Alice in Chains is $39.99. Rainer Fog, that is on colored vinyl, 5th Anniversary Edition. Cake, featuring their massive hit song, He's Going the Distance. This is Fashion Nugget. Cake is new and sealed, $33.99 for Fashion Nugget. And Nirvana, this is the 30th anniversary of In Utero that has the bonus 10-inch with it. It's remastered, it's a gatefold, and that is $56.99. Nirvana, In Utero, 30th anniversary edition, limited edition gatefold, $56.99. Clay Moore wants Alice in Chains, Rain or Fog, that is sold to Clay. I think I might have more. If anybody else wants one, I'll have to dig for it, but they're around here somewhere. That's sold to Clay Moore. Uh, Alice Cooper has bids for $35 and now $40, and Hotel California is a $35 start, final call. Leonard Skinner collected, two LPs, music on vinyl. If you hear music on vinyl, they do a great job. It's a Leonard Skinner collected, $54.99. It's two LPs, it's a Leonard Skinner greatest hits, essentially. Freebird, Tuesday's Gone, Sweet Home Alabama. Don't ask me no questions, call me the breeze, Saturday Night Special, give me back my bullets, what's your name? That smell, it has some early stuff, it has a little bit of later stuff, it's collected, $54.99. Alice Cooper was at 40, now 50. Christopher Allen put an O. I don't know if that was a claim or not. Eagles has a bid for 35. We have Alice Cooper at 60. David Tate wants Leonard Skinner, and Jonathan Feller gets a Nirvana. Those are sold and sold. I can't believe I hadn't sold some cake yet. I love cake. This has amazing music on it. When this reissue came out, uh, the originals are very rare. Uh, I've only ever had three originals in my hand, and that's one that uh, I got in Kevin Cava Rock's collection. And then I got another from a customer who uh, we did some trading and I sold one from, a, from his collection. And then Seth bought one on eBay and he had to send back three. Uh, Seth has bought a copy of Cake three different times or maybe four on eBay and they come back and they're bootlegs. Uh, people list them as originals and they're bootlegs. So if you have an original, if you think you have an original Cake album in your collection, Think again, because we I've seen Seth buy three or four different ones on eBay, and he's had to send them back because they were bootlegs. Um, very tough. It's Originals are pretty much, I don't know how many they pressed, but they're so rare. That's why this reissue is so popular. Uh, $33.99 for Fashion Nugget by Cake. We have the Velvet Underground. And like I said, even if you think you have an original, you might want to inspect that thing. Check the dead wax. Check the cover. You got to really look at them because there are a lot of, I don't even think they're really bootlegs. A lot of people have counterfeited this record more so than a bootleg. They've like counterfeited them because it's so expensive. I think he, the one he finally got, he paid five or $600 for it. Velvet Underground live at Max's Kansas City. This is a 2LP on Orchid and Magenta colored vinyl. This is $39.99. This is Velvet Underground live at Max's Kansas City. This is $39.99, Max's Kansas City. $39.99. That's a new release for the Start Your Ear Off Right, Rhino 2024, and this is $39.99. That's an orchid and magenta vinyl, $39.99. Also, we have the Steel Woods. The Steel Woods is called On Your Time. It's on Midnight Black Edition, the Steel Woods. Gatefold, 2LP, $38.99 on the Steel Woods. Now, up at the top, we have Alice Cooper, and then we had the Eagles. Alice Cooper was at 60. The Eagles got new bids for 37 and 38, and then we had a new bid for 65, and then a $40 bid on the Eagles. I don't think I have any tonic left. Uh, I don't have any tonic lemon parade, Javi, unless you want on a waiting list. Eagles at 42. Eagles is at 45. And we have Judy Collins now playing. Judy Collins now playing is $26.99. $26.99. And we have Descendants, Everything Sucks, $28.99. I bought, fine, bought mine from you. Well, Tony, I've ever sold two originals. I've only ever had two originals here I've sold, and they brought like well over $500, I'm pretty sure. So that's, that's the only two I've ever sold. If you bought one of those, and those were originals. Songs from the Wood, Jethro Tull. This is the Stephen Wilson remix. Stephen Wilson remix. 40th Anniversary Edition, $33.99. $33.99 from Songs from the Wood. We had the used copies earlier. These Stephen Wilson remixes are amazing. They come with a book. 
They're $33.99, $33.99. So let's do a final call. We have uh, Alice Cooper at $65 with Robert Phillippe. It is an OG pressing on the green label. Uh, does not have the panties. No panties with that one. And now Eagles Hotel California. Scott Dresba has it for $45. Everybody else is out. Are Lemonheads available? I have no idea, but I can check on that for you. Green Day Saviors. Green Day is $33.99 for Green Day Saviors. $33.99. All right. Uh, 311 is a buy now. That's the last poster I showed. Tanner, if we can pull the... Uh, the Leon, the Willie Nelson out of there. The Leon, the pull the Willie Nelson out. I'm going to get a new poster going. That's the only other one that sold is the Pink Floyd and the Willie Nelson. And uh, next is this one right here. Now, this is really cool. Very cool. If you're going to collect posters, this is one of the guys who got it all started out in San Francisco back in the 60s. His name was Stanley Mouse, and he did a lot of the original Grateful Dead and the Fillmore stuff. This is signed by Stanley Mouse. See his signature down there in the bottom right? He also did a little doodle of a mouse. That's very, very, very cool. Very iconic signature, very iconic posters. That's Stanley Mouse. And what this was, was a poster kind of advertising an exhibit of some of his artwork. And then he signed this poster in gold pen down there at the bottom. Very cool signature. Stanley Mouse, poster collectors, Grateful Dead collectors, $175 start. I stopped at uh, Dave Matthews Band. I jumped ahead to that one, but I've only done a few, Tanner. I've done, let me go over here. I'll show you which ones I've done. Uh, I've done, I've done that one. I started at the top, so I've done those three and Leon Russell, Willie, and 311 and that one. So I hadn't done any more after that. So that, those three? Yeah, four. I need those four for sure. And mm -hmm. all those except Dave Matthews Band. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, two. Yes, those two as I well. I already have those. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. That's right. Okay. Back to the bin. Let's figure out where we were here. And we have Nirvana and Euro. Darren Wartman, I will put you on a waiting list if that's okay. This is uh, Darren Wartman. Uh, I'll put you on a wait list for Nirvana and Euro, the 30th anniversary edition. We have uh, Stephen Bender says, I uh, will take a cake. Cake is sold to Stephen Bender. Thank you. If anybody new is watching, thank you and welcome. We're going through some new vinyl here in some detail. Still can't believe we got the Jethro Tulls there. And then there's more copies of Roger Waters' Dark Side of the Moon redo. That is on the blue vinyl. This is the new redone version of Dark Side of the Moon by Roger Waters on blue vinyl, $46.99. Let's go ahead and put up some new auctions. First, we have Alice Cooper sold to Robert Phillippe for $65. Robert Phillippe gets this for $65. This is sold to Robert Phillippe. And the Eagles is sold for $45. And let's get some new auctions sold. Scott Dresba gets the very nice copy of the Eagles for $45 there. That's sold to Scott Dresba. There is a Dave Matthews poster, yes. Stanley Mouse is up for bid for $175, just FYI. Yes, I posted a gallery of pictures before the show about 6 o'clock. Amazing posters tonight. And we also have some other incredible uh uh, posters tomorrow as well. That's sold. Let me get a new crate because I have really filled this one up very quickly. Let me set that right there. Selling a lot of vinyl tonight, both new and pre-owned. I had a feeling we'd sell a lot of new vinyl tonight. I just had a, an instinct for it because there's some stuff over here we hadn't went through. Stacy Brown wants LL Next. What was LL Next? And then we have Jimi Hendrix Electric Ladyland, new and sealed, 2LP, $34.99. That is an all-analog remaster from the original two-track master tapes. Let's go ahead and get a new auction going. That is REO Speedwagon, a Japanese pressing. Actually, nope, let's go ahead and do this uh, Best of Blondie. And I still got an OG over here to auction, which is going to be this copy of Rat. LL Cool J. I don't know. Is that LL Cool J? I don't know if uh, John put that out. I think there may be something wrong with it. I, I, I pulled that. I know I had that in that video, but I don't think he put it out because I think it had some damage to it or something. So I don't have that. Of, that You will not be seeing that tonight. The Best of Blondie is a Japanese pressing. The vinyl is very, very nice. Near Mint Minus and Pristine. The Best of Blondie, which is a title that's surprisingly not in print. There's the cover with Obi. Nice. Everything is very nice. $35 start. And then here's Rat, Invasion of Your Privacy. Rat is a $35 start as well. It has this insert with it, Rat the Video. 
We auctioned off a copy of this last night. There's Rat, Invasion of Your Privacy. Just a generic inner sleeve, no condition notes. Rat is a $35 start, Invasion of Your Privacy. Jimi Hendrix is up for bid. And we have Talking Heads Naked, $33.99 for Talking Heads Naked. $33.99 for Talking Heads. That's on purple vinyl. That's up for bid. Also, Dream Theater. When Dream and Day Unite, that's a music on vinyl pressing. Dream Theater, $39.99. And Creator, live, $19.98. Live at the Dynamo Open Air, $19.98. That is $28.99. Let me make sure there's not one over here in this stack. Let me check one more place, Stacy. Let me check one more place here. Uh, not there. There was, okay, there's David Gilmore. I knew I was missing something. There's David Gilmore, and let me make sure LL's not over here, but I think I left that in his crate. Yeah, he must have. Uh, if, if I leave him a crate and say, John, please clean and mark these, and he doesn't put something out, there has to be something severely wrong with it, kind of like the Almond Brothers album. He says uh, it has a lot warp, which we have a flattening machine we're working on. And, uh, yeah, that's he, we're working on flattening the Almond Brothers, and um, it had a lot warp, and it had some pretty significant damage. So, once again, no Almond Brothers. So, sorry. What I've been doing, I've been digging stuff out posting a flip video and then I leave early in the morning John gets here and if he doesn't clean and price something there must be something like wrong with it more so than VG minus here's our next auction this album is now out of print out of stock at least I haven't been able to get any a long time and this is David Gilmore this is David Gilmore rattle that lock very nice vinyl David Gilmore rattle that lock it's in shrink wrap let's put that up for a one dollar start great album by David Gilmore of Pink Floyd it's in shrink wrap with a hop sticker, original inner sleeve, and it comes with a book. Rattle that lock. David Gilmore is up for a $1 start. I have original master inner sleeves. Somebody asked for these earlier. If anybody wants a pack of MoFi inner sleeves, $26.99. Pack of 50. Pack of 50. This is $26.99 for MoFi inner sleeves. If you want a pack, just say inner for inner sleeves. If you want a pack of inners, just say inners for inner sleeves. Those are MoFi brands. I'm going to keep them right over here in case anybody wants them. Let's go back to the top and figure out what I left off. I had Rat 35, Rat 25, Rat 35. Jason Waldron wants DT for Dream Theater. Rat is at 40. We have David Gilmore at 155, 10, 10, 10, 10, and now 20. And then Derek Zarzaro wants a pack of inner sleeves. So does Jonathan Feller and so does George Ellis. I have plenty of them. I have like 200 of them if anybody else wants any. There's one for Jonathan Felder, there's one for George Ellis, and there's one for Derek Zarzaro. So three packs of inner sold, $26.99. Next two records in here, very important piece of music. Rubber Soul, $36.99. The Beatles, that's a stereo remaster of Rubber Soul. And we have Revolver, another stereo Another stereo remaster, $36.99. Part of our collection of Now Yearbooks. I don't have many left. This is Now Yearbook 78. It's a 3LP pink vinyl collection. Now Yearbook 78, $59.99. $59.99. Amazing track listing of hits from 1978 on pink vinyl, $59.99. Now, the big question is, does Blondie have a bid? I don't think it does. Blondie, we're looking for a $35 start. It's a greatest hits collection. Blondie, Rapture. Atomic, one thing or another. This is a $35 start. Heart of Glass is on here. Dreaming, that is a $35 start. No bid on that. Nice Japanese pressing. That's surprising. And then the last bid on Rat that I had, which is OG Invasion of Your Privacy. It's got about a VG cover. It has the video insert, as you can see there. Rat, the last bid that came in on that. Rat was Jason Thomas at $40. Jason Thomas has that for $40. That's Rat, Invasion of Your Privacy. The inners are $26.99, Jody. $26.99 on the inners. Lots of bids on David Gilmore. Thomas Sujar has it right now for $36. We also have the same kind of collection, which is called Now Millennium. That's from 2000 to 2001. Craig just posted the amazing track listing of 1978. Here's 2000, 2001 Millennium. And here's a classic album from the 70s. And that's Gary Wright, The Dreamweaver. $44.99. That's on colored vinyl. Gary Wright, Dreamweaver, Friday Music Remaster, $44.99. And Smashing Pumpkins, Pisces Iscariot. Once again, I said just a second ago, if we order something on new vinyl, that's because originals are pricey or hard to get or there's some kind of new uh, release or mastering. And here's a prime example.
OG Smashing Pumpkins, any other catalog is difficult to come by. This is Pisces, and it's $34.99, new and sealed gatefold. We also have the very best of Electrolight Orchestra. They just announced their final tour. Jeff Lynn and ELO, 20 tracks, $34.99. Amazing music there. Last copy of Janet by Janet Jackson, 2LP, $39.99 with a hidden bonus track, Whoops Now. And we have Neil Young, one of my favorites by him. Everybody knows this is nowhere. $34.99 for Neil, Neil Young. That's available, $34.99. All right. Now, all three auctions have received a lot of bids except for Rat. I don't think anybody else bid on it. I'm going to go ahead and sell it when I get to the bottom. But right now, the last thing I said on David Gilmore was $36 of Thomas Hujar. And then Blondie had some new bids all of a sudden. Blondie got some opening bids for $35, $35, $35. And then we had $37. And then $37 on David Gilmore. And then $40 on Blondie. And then we had $38 on David Gilmore. So David Gilmore is at $38. Now David Gilmore is at 40, and Blondie's at 40 with James Vasquez. Rat is sold, Invasion of Your Privacy. Rat is officially sold way up here at the top with Jason Thomas for $40. Jason, that, that is sold to you. <coughs> Excuse me. You get Rat, Invasion of Your Privacy. David Gilmore still getting some bids, and that's at 40 and 41. So Michael McCarter is at 41 on David Gilmore. Blondie is at 40 with James Vasquez, final call. Anybody else on anything in here? Took a chunk out of that crate. Pretty good. Anytime I can go through a bin of new vinyl on the table and take a chunk out of it, that works for me. All right, but first, if anybody wants to, whoop, I got the wrong image up here. My bad. Now everybody can see the gallery of posters. That's okay. Let me go to the Stanley Mouse. Where are you, Mouse? Um, well, it's got to be right here in front of me. Uh, let's see here. Well, Tanner's disappeared. I don't see that poster I had up. Or am I crazy? There it is. It's camouflage. Okay. Grateful Dead, signed by Stanley Mouse. His exhibit poster, that's $175. $175 on that if anybody wants it. Signed by Stanley Mouse. Very cool. Orlando Martinez says he'll take it. Tanner, we can officially put that in the sold pile. So to Orlando Martinez. The Grateful Dead, Skull and Roses. The Skull and Roses poster signed by... Stanley Mouse. Nice pick up there. I was looking at his signatures. Uh, Orlando, if you ever pay a little extra to have that signature uh, COA'd by like JSA or PSA, that signature by itself should be at least $100, $200 more than what you just paid for it. Very, very cool. That's so true. Yeah, let's, let's see it live right here. Tanner's got in his hand. Very cool signature there. If you get some uh, JSA authentication with that, very, very cool. So that's a pretty desirable. His signature, I've, I had a bunch of posters at one time signed by him. I wish I had them back because his signature uh, recently just as a collectible has really went up in value. Scott Dresba first on ELO. That's so to Scott Dresba. Orlando got the dead poster. David Gilmore has bids for 42 Blondie is a final call. It's at $40 of James Vasquez. $40 of James Vasquez. We have not sold a tool poster tonight, nor have they been up. But... I am going to put up a new one right now, and that's the last one I have tagged, and Tanner's working on some new stuff. The last one I have tagged is really cool. I went ahead and jumped out of order because I was like, man, I, I can't believe no one's asked about it, as collectible as this band is, and this is a really cool-looking poster. This is Dave Matthews' band from Hershey, Pennsylvania. They played at Hershey Stadium in 2004. Hershey Stadium, Hershey, Pennsylvania, July 10, 2004, rainbow foil cover. And the photograph we took of it, Tanner was like, it looks even better in person. I was like, man, this is a great photograph. You can really see how the fooling, when it's reflective, um, it looks amazing. Looks really, really incredible. And this is a signed emic print. It's an artist proof. Down there at the bottom left, you see AP for artist proof. It's numbered 38 of 45. It's an emic. And down there on the bottom right, emic signed it and made a doodle. Signed it and made a doodle, and this is Dave Matthews Band. The starting bid is two hundred and seventy-five dollars start. Two hundred seventy-five dollars start. We're gonna see it right here, but yeah, I mean, when you, it's already that's that photograph really captures what it what the rainbow foil. But when you see it in person, oh boy, very very cool. That's an eighteen by twenty-four. There's Emic signature. There's Emic signature. Emic signature and doodle, and there's where it's an artist proof and numbered. That's a $275 start. That's, I like that one almost as much as the Daft Punk. Uh, really, really cool that we sold. That's one of the best fooling 
reflective with artwork. Look at that. She's holding the speaker. It's got all the instruments coming out of her hair. These posters, the more you look at them, it's just like, wow. You start seeing all this extra little stuff. Two seventy-five on that. All right, David Gilmore got a new bid for 43 and then another new bid for 45 and Blondie has a new bid for 45 I'm not going to run through that again. Let's go ahead and go through some new vintage stuff that's over here. Let's go through some new vintage stuff that was marked for tonight. Let's go through this batch right over here. I think it's this stuff right here. It's like a, it's like a half of a crate, and then I'm going to run through some new stuff as well, some more new, new vinyl. Dave Matthews Band is a $275 start. 275 on that. David Gilmore is at 45. Tony Murphy says he's out. James Vasquez, you're out on Blondie. Paul Brothers bid 45. Let me know if you want back in. That is right. JSA sold. JSA sold to uh, Collector's Universe, Tanner. I don't know if I even told you that. So JSA got bought out. They got bought out by CGC, the public and traded company. So JSA is no more. They got, But that's a good thing because Collector's Universe is the pretty much the best, most reputable, you know, company, CGC and all that. So, um, no more JSA. All right, let's go back up to the top here, and we have Cool in the Gang, Love and Understanding. I guess that's good. Some people might have mixed opinions about it. I think it's good, but I really hadn't put that much thought into it. But uh, Collector's Universe, I like CGC stuff. If I'm going to send a comic off, I'm going to send it to CGC. All right, this is Coin the Gang. I don't recall seeing this too often. 1976, I don't recall seeing that Coin the Gang too many times. That's called Love and Understanding, 1999. Coin the Gang, Love and Understanding, 1999, 1999. We have Gladys Knight and the Pips, $9.99. This is $9.99. This is Gladys Knight and the Pips, all of our love, $9.99 for Gladys Knight. Catherine Lutz wants Coin the Gang. That's so to Catherine and Nat King Cole, Ramblin' Rose. $9.99. Blondie is sold to Paul Brothers for $45. Paul, that's sold to you for $45. And let's go ahead and sell the David Gilmore. And let's put up not one, not two, but we might go ahead and put up three new auctions. Let's go ahead and put up three new auctions. So we have Blondie. This is now officially sold to Paul Brothers for $45. And David Gilmore is sold to Thomas Ujar for $45. Thomas Ujar gets this for $45. Nice. I found that in a bin in the back. I was like, what the heck? That's a great album. All right. Pink Floyd, David Gilmore. Let's do a final call to, if you want to lock in a bid. If you don't want to miss out on, if you don't want to miss out on this, go ahead and put DMB 275. If you want to wait and try to grab it for that price, just a few more minutes. Just a few more minutes. Let's put up a couple new auctions. We have a U.S. copy of Duran Duran. Uh, seven and the Ragged Tiger, and I have not got to this yet, but I thought it was very cool. It's actually a Japanese compilation. These are both going to be $25 starts. This is Duran Duran, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Seven and the Ragged Tiger. The vinyl is extremely nice. That's a $25 start. Duran Duran, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. It has the original book that came with it here in the United States and the Japanese pressings. This is a USOG. Duran Duran, $25 star. Very, very nice copy as far as condition. And here is something I don't see too often, a Japanese hits compilation. This is Super Hits of 1985, Super Hits of 1975 for a $25 start. Super Hits of 1985 for a $25 start. Time After Time by Cindy Lopper's on here. Romancing the Stone, Eddie Grant. Neva, uh, Nina's on here, 99 Red Balloons, not Neva, Nina. That's a $25 start as well. Japanese insert. There's the cover. Psychedelic Furs is on here. Uh, face to Face, Men at Work. Uh, Nina, like I said, Cindy Lopper, $25 start on that. Will they change the registration cards? Uh, well, not the ones that have already been sent out. Usually what they'll do probably is to say anything JSA is still honored as reputable. And now it's just going to be under uh, PSA. All right, and we do have a bid on this. We have a bid on this. For 275 with Derek Zarzaro, final call, Dave Matthews Band. So if you were going to bid, now you got to outbid David. If not, he's going to get it for 275, final call. Okay, and then uh, Duran Duran has a bid for $35. The super best hits of 85 is a $25 start. Next is the Statler Brothers, Oh Happy Day. The Statler Brothers is $9.99. Oh Happy Day, the Statler Brothers, $9.99. Canned Heat. Canned Heat is $24.99. This is a springboard recording or a springboard compilation. $24.99 for Canned Heat. 
and Happenings, Hank Jones and Oliver Nelson featuring Clark Terry. And this is a white label promo, a white label promo from Impulse. And that is $39.99. White label promo, George Sheriff first on Canned Heat. Christopher Brusher was second. Also, Steve Hackett, Defector. I don't recall seeing this one too many times. That's This is one that I pulled out of the back. Steve Hackett from Genesis, and it's on the famous Charisma label, $19.99 on Steve Hackett, Charisma label, Defector, $19.99. This is an original copy of I'll Cry If I Want To in mono by Leslie Gore on the Black Mercury label, $26.99. It's My Party, I'll Cry If I Want To, an original 1963 mono, $26.99. All right, let's go ahead and sell Duran Duran, Michael Obrick. You got that uncontested for $35. That's sold to Michael Obrick for $35. Michael, that is sold to you. And let's go ahead and update Super Hits. Super Hits has a high bid of 25 with Terry Gearhart, and then Darren Wartman bid 26. So the Japanese best Super Hits of 85 is at 26, now 30. Leslie Gore is sold to Stacy Metternich. And let's go ahead and sell this to Derek Zarzaro. We can now move the Dave Matthews Band into the sold pile. Dave Matthews Band is sold to Derek Zarzaro, winning bid $275. $275. Now, Tanner, um, that was the last one. Let me show everybody what Hatton sold uh, very quickly. Let me show everybody what Hatton sold that I have here, and then I'll uh, uh, start doing some new stuff. First, very surprisingly, is the Metallica Keyhole Poster, which is this one right here. This is still available. If anybody wants it, $275, the Metallica uh, Brandon Hart. It is a signed numbered foil, number 35 of 40. That's a $275 buy it now. $275 bot now. I'll show another one in just a second, but that's still available. $275 on Metallica. Very surprising. Also, we know what we like, the music of Genesis. I saw this in the back. I thought it was very interesting. It's the London Symphony Orchestra covering Genesis music. The London Symphony Orchestra covering Genesis music. It's near mint minus and pristine. It's on the RCA Red Seal Classical label, $14.99. The Super Hits is at 30 with Terry Gearhart. And we have the four tops at the top. The four tops is $14.99. I don't recall seeing that one too many times. And the Manhattan Transfer, Brazil. And that, or yeah, Brazil. With hop sticker, Soul Food to Go, $12.99. Let's get another Japanese auction going. Oh boy, this thing looks nice. I hope it is. The White Album. A Japanese pressing of the White Album. We have not sold the Weird, Weird Al poster yet. Nope. Got that one on deck. So before I introduce the White Album, Metallica was still available. And the other one that was still available that didn't sell was the Widespread Panic with the Alligators. That's still available, the Widespread Panic. This is a Miles Sang numbered 64 of 450 from Brandon, Mississippi. That was a May 27th, 28th concert of uh, last year. $145 buy it now. So those are still available for, that one's still available for 145 That was the Widespread Panic. So that one's still available. Let's show the White Album here. The Beatles, you may have heard of them. This is their album known as The Beatles. It's actually not called The White Album. It's called The Beatles, self-titled. The vinyl is what you would expect, near mint minus and pristine. Both LPs, they're in new Japanese inner sleeves. We have both original inner sleeves, and this thing is complete. $55 start. $55 start. It has the poster, which also has the lyrics on, no, actually the Japanese, yeah, it does, has the lyrics on the back side of it. Japanese poster, very, kind of a thicker paper than normal uh, based on the U.S. pressings. And then what you would expect, four really high quality photos of the Beatles. And there's Ringo, there's George, there's Mr. McCartney, and there's John Lennon. The cover, very nice. The Beatles is embossed. It is serial numbered. There's just a little bit of discoloration right there. That's it. Nothing really on the back. Very, very nice copy. A Japanese pressing of the White Album. All right, then we have Stephen A. Young. He got the Manhattan Transfer. The Super Hits, we're getting some new bids. The last thing I said on Super Hits was Terry Gearhart at $30. Final call. James Gang, thirds. There is some writing at the bottom. That is $17.99 for James Gang, thirds. And Brooke Benton, Homestyle. Brooke Benton is $9.99. Brooke Benton, Homestyle, $9.99. Keith Jarrett with Charlie Hayden, Paul Mo uh, Mo Mortician, and Dewey Redman. This is called Birth. Keith Jarrett. That's an older Keith Jarrett album. 29, I was about to say, yeah, 1972. $29.99. Birth. 
Keith Jarrett with Charlie Hayden and others, $29.99. And Santana is $19.99. This is Carlos Santana and Buddy Miles live, $19.99. All right, let's go ahead and sell the Super Hits. Super Hits is officially sold to Terry Gearhart for $30. Nobody else bid on that. Terry Gearhart, you get the Super Hits for $30. And let's put that away. Get that in a new sleeve for you, Terry. I'm over here putting in a new sleeve. Sold to Terry Gearhart for $30. And next is the Beatles, which now moves into slot number one. John Dorsey has it for $75. John Dorsey has it for $75. And I don't think I missed any other claims there. Uh, George Sher wants KJ for Keith Jarrett. I knew that would sell. That's so to George Sher. And Seals and Crofts Greatest Hits, $9.99. No condition notes on anything in here. So EX Plus are better on that, Joshua, and the covers in VG Plus condition. Now, so I've showed the Metallica. I've showed that. Uh, here's one I'm surprised didn't sell, which was the, or, or actually, did, do I have the Leon Russell over there? Was that sold when uh, you came in, Tanner? Did I say I was selling the Leon Russell? Oh boy, I forgot. Did I sell this? <laughs> I don't know now. I don't think so. I think I sold the Willie Nelson. Yeah, I don't think anybody bought Leon Russell. Leon Russell's available for $75. Now, if you bought it, you better remind me. I didn't highlight it as sold over here. Oh boy, I've already forgot. I'll have to do the replay. But I don't think anybody bought this. I don't think anybody bought it. So uh, Craig says somebody bought it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Make sure Leon Russell goes in the soap pile. So we sold Leon Russell and Willie Nelson. I think Joe Maynard bought it. Somebody bought it. Craig says it sold. And then Willie Nelson sold. So sorry about that. Joe Maynard. Yes, Joe Maynard bought it. I was about to say. And Willie Nelson sold as well. Okay, I think Willie was selling when Tanner came in. That's what happened. All right. I got it scratched off my list now. It's now highlighted in red, which tells me it's sold. I've also got Willie highlighted in red and Stanley Mouse. So there we go. All right, back up at the top, we had the Beatles, like I said, at $85 and then $90. What was the name of the Four Tops album? The Four Tops was called At the Top, which is one I don't recall seeing before. $14.99. Joshua Cross is first on Santana. Also, Jonathan Berg wants the Seals and Croft. The Beatles has a new bid for $92. Joe Maynard got Leon Russell. Beatles has bids for $95, $97, $100, $100, and $102. You need another monster, I know. At one time earlier, we had four auctions going, so I, my memory is really, really being tested tonight. Uh, four auctions sometimes and posters, trying to remember if I've sold them. The problem is, is they're over here across the room on a table, and uh, if I don't put them right away into the sold pile, I'll forget. So let me go ahead and do that right now, the Leon Russell, because that way I can do a recap. And somebody asked for tool. Tanner's looking up a couple over here. Here's some kind of tool looking uh foil print. And then there's Weird Al. There's some people waiting on Weird Al. There's Pink Floyd. There's the Flying Bear Centipede. 311 didn't sell. There's Leon Russell. I'm putting Leon Russell in the sold pile. Widespread Panic still available. And do we have more than one of these Pink Floyds? Yeah, Is there more than one? Okay, so actually, let me go ahead and bring that up. And there'll be some people definitely interested in this. There's Primus. So I have another Pink Floyd. So Tony Freeman got the first one at 50 there's another one that looks just like this. If anybody wants to go ahead and do a buy it now. I know two other people had bid 45. This is a $50 buy it now. If anybody wants this one, it's a $50 buy it now. So if you missed out the other one, here's another one for $50. And it's signed just like the other one as well. Shakedown says he'll take it, $50. Shakedown says he'll take it for $50. So that got uh, sold earlier for 50. There's another one. So that one sold to Shakedown for 50. Next is Howard Jones. This is Dream Into Action. Howard Jones is a $35 start. Japanese pressing, Dream Into Action. There's the vinyl. There's the original Japanese insert. And there's the cover with Obi. $35 start. Things can only get better. Live your life into one day. No one to blame. This has some major hits on it from Howard Jones. $35 start. We have a high bid on the Beatles at $110. Now $112 with Thomas. Next is the Four Tops Greatest Hits Volume 2. The Four Tops Greatest Hits Volume 2, 1999. Bob Wills plays the greatest string band hits. Bob Wills is $9.99. How about Porter Wagner and Skeeter Davis? Sing duets. Porter is $12.99 with Skeeter. Sweet as Candy, W-F-I-L. W-F-I-L. This must be a compilation. 
It is $9.99. The Sound of Philadelphia, WFIL, $9.99. And Ronnie Millsap's greatest hits, including Smoky Mountain Rain, Hop Sticker, $9.99. The Beatles at $115. Looking for a $35 start on Howard Jones. Looking for a $35 start on Howard Jones. Let me go ahead and put this other Pink Floyd we just sold in the soap pile. Then we have the other Pink Floyd as well. But let me go ahead and move this other Pink Floyd. I saw one here and I was like, uh-oh, wait a minute. There's another Pink Floyd. And I'm about to steal Tanner's cheat sheet so I can put up a new one. And here is another Pink Floyd. So that is sold. Put that right there. All righty. And let's see here. Which one? Is that the Bridgestone? That's the uh, Bridgestone. Uh, that's the... Okay, yeah, this is for... This might appeal to anybody local watching. Check this out. Anybody was at this concert? Metallica, World Wired Tour, January 24th, 2015. This is Bridgestone Arena. The artist is Jeannie Frisson. Metallica, World Wired Tour. That is January 24th, 2018, Bridgestone Arena. That is a $155 start. Metallica is a $155 start. Bridgestone Arena, Nashville, Tennessee. That is up for bid, $155 start. Okay, we left off by saying uh, the Beatles at 115, now 117. Stacy wants WFIL, that's so to Stacy. Howard Jones, 35. James Vasquez on Ronnie Millsap. Then Howard Jones, uh, 36, 37. And the Beatles is at 120. And that's with uh, Heidi Bowman. Roberta Flack, Killing Me Softly. Roberta Flack is 1999. Four Tops, Keeper of the Castle, Four Tops is nine ninety nine. Write down one fifty five there, Tanner, so I can remember what I said for a starting bid on that. Gladys Knight and the Pips, the original soundtrack to uh, Pop Dreams is nine ninety nine, and the Statler Brothers, How Great Thou Art. This is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Nine dollars ninety nine cents. The artist Jimmy, the artist Jeannie Frisson is a big time comic book cover artist. There we go. We're talking about this one right here. One hundred fifty five dollar start. Bridgestone Arena, Metallica. 155. All right, the Beatles is now 125. And Howard Jones, we have two people tied. Joe Maynard's at $38. He was the first one at 38. Uh, here's what's left in this first bin of check condition. I'm just going to read the titles. If anybody wants a price, let me know. We have uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Nat King Cole, the Statler Brothers, Happenings with Hank Jones, Oliver Nelson, Clark Terry. That's a white label promo from Impulse. Steve Hackett, we know what it, we know what we like. That's the London Symphony Orchestra covering Genesis. I thought that would be interesting. James Gang Thirds, Brooke Benton Homestyle, The Four Tops, The Four Tops Greatest Hits Volume Two, Bob Wills, Porter and Skeeter, Roberta Flack, Gladys Knight, Pop Dream Soundtrack, The Four Tops Keeper of the Castle, and The Statler Brothers. How great thou art! How great thou art! I'm going to put these right over here. If anybody decides you want anything in there, just be sure and let me. No, be sure to let me know. Let's get another crate going. Let me step over here and grab this one here. Uh, definitely recapping some stuff tonight, reminding you of some stuff we have in stock and telling you a little bit about it. Some great LPs in here. Always like reminding everybody if we have a new LP. Some people always try to hold out for OGs, but sometimes I'm like, well, this is the OG. This is sometimes the only time it was pressed on vinyl. First thing we have in here is Dreamboat Annie, a prime example of a record that... It's an instant seller every time we get it. And this is a new and sealed copy for $33.99. That's Heart Dreamboat Annie for $33.99. And The Fray. Before they reissued this, it was an expensive album, How to Save a Life. It's a new reissue back from uh, last month, $33.99. I'm down to my last three copies. The Fray, How to Save a Life, and Wasp Dominator. Wasp is a gatefold, new and sealed. Wasp is $29.99. Looks like we have a final call on the Beatles to do now. Thomas Sujar has it for $127. Howard Jones is at $39 with Jonathan Berg. Brock Hanna's out. Just a couple people left on that. Collective Soul, Hints, Allegations, and Things Left Unsaid. That has their hit song Shine on it, $33.99. And Breathe, that's a craft reissue, new and sealed for $33.99. And the Pretty Woman soundtrack, OGs of that, not too easy to get. That's new and sealed for $33.99. If anybody wants to do a buy it now on this, it's $155. That's the Metallica Worldwide Tour. That is from Hardwired, the Self-Destruct Tour. That is a $155 start on that, or $155 buy it now, now. 
if anybody wants that, it is available. All right, moving back. Pretty Woman is sold to Nick Kennel. That's new and sealed. If anybody else wants one, I'll order you one for you. It'll be a waiting list. Lizzie Borden, this is called Visual Lives. It's on silver vinyl. Strictly limited edition reissue master for vinyl. Limited to 1,000 on silver vinyl. $33.99. And Dave Matthews Band, this is their debut album. 2LP remaster. Remember two things. That is $39.99. $39.99. Let's go ahead and sell the Beatles, the Thomas Sue Jar for $127. Great Japanese vinyl still to come. I did not do any kind of preview, so they're all sort of surprises. $127 on the Beatles, the White Album. This is sold to Thomas Sue Jar. And now I think we have Howard Jones also sold to uh, Jonathan Berg for $39. We do. Howard Jones is sold to Jonathan Berg. For $39. It looks like we're ready for two new auctions, Tanner. Including a new poster. 0 for 2 on Metallicus tonight. That's like shocking. Jonathan Berg on 30, at 39 on that. Nick Kennel got Pretty Woman. Dave Matthews Band still available. One more record. That is Rage Against the Machine. The Renegades of Funk. Renegades by Rage is $33.99. i got a good drink of water. My lips are getting chapped. I hadn't drunk anything since I've been live. And I've done a lot of talking. Let's go ahead and do this Wasp. It will definitely get some activity. And I got a Vince Gill that is actually pretty scarce uh, from 2013. It was a very limited edition pressing. This is Wasp, The Last Command. Don't see this too often on Japanese vinyl with Obi. Wasp, The Last Command, W-A-S-P, with Obi. This is a $55 start. This is Wasp, The Last Command. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has the Japanese inner sleeve with it, and it has the Japanese insert. It's a $55 start. Wasp, the last command. Should have usually saved that for Metal Knight. And then also a $55 start is Vince Gill and Paul Franklin, Bakersfield. I had never seen this before. It's not uh, something I don't think of. Yeah, I've never had this before. This is Paul, uh, Vince Gill and Paul Franklin. Bakersfield, also a $55 star. So Vince Gill is from 2013. It's also a $55 start. Matt Shepard. Matt Shepard is uh, first on Rage. That's sold to Matt Shepard. Rage Against the Machine. And Darren Wartman says he's interested in the Wichita Metallica poster. If we can get that one on deck, Tanner. And Weird Al Yankovic. Do you have those ready? Have you done the Weird Al details yet? I'll take your sheet here in a second. No, I've already done that one. Wichita is the... Um, that's the one with the rats on it. Okay. Yeah. yeah I got that right. Okay. I'll take your piece of paper then. This is Metallica, March 4th, 2019, the Interest Bank Arena. And this is from right here. This is the Industrial, Industrial Bank Arena, March 4th, 2019. Artist is Tegan White. And that is a $135 start. Metallica, Wichita, Kansas. Darren Wartman, $135 start. March 4th, 2019. Or anybody else that may be interested in it. $135 on that. Uh, I only think I had two Pink Floyd posters. I think I only had two Pink Floyd posters. Wasp is at $55 and now $60. Next record is Thelonious Monks plays Duke Ellington. Monk plays Ellington is new and sealed, $31.99. Also, Young MC, Stone Cold Rhythm. Young MC is $33.99. Darren's in on the Metallica at $135. The Sound of Music, Craft. This is a remaster, The Sound of Music for $33.99. And this is Ministry, Hopium for the Masses. Limited to $4,500 on green with yellow splatter. Ministry is $29.99. Wasp has a new bid for $65. Final call to get a bid in on Vince Gill for $55. And Queen's Greatest Hits. This is a 2LP remaster. Half speed done at Abbey Road. $39.99. New and sealed. New and sealed. $39.99. Our next auction is going to be a Japanese pressing. Another 80s album. This is Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. This is also up for bid. It is a $35 start. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. It's a 2LP, Japanese pressing. Both LPs are near mint minus and pristine. It has a Japanese book with it and a Japanese insert. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, $35 start. $35 start. Queen, an amazing collection, greatest hits there. We have Wasp now at 70 
And we have Little Shop of Horrors, the original motion picture soundtrack, $29.99. Little Shop of Horrors soundtrack. Fish, Round Room, can't believe I still have these. Two LPs on colored vinyl, mastered by Chris Bellman, Round Room by Fish, $54.99. The Crow soundtrack, two LPs, $44.99. Music by Nine Inch Nails, The Cure, Pantera. Uh, this 2LP, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, Rage Against the Machine, that's $44.99. Frankie Goes to Hollywood is now at $40. And we have Jack White, Lazarato. Jack White is $33.99, new and sealed Lazarato. Also, this poster is now a final call to Darren Wartman. Darren Wartman has this for $135, and it is a final call. $135 on that to Darren Wartman, $135, final call to Darren Wartman. That's the Metallica, Wichita, Kansas. Darren has that for 135. He's about to get it. There's another Jack White. Also, Cradle of Filth, Live at Dynamo Open Air. Cradle of Filth is $33.99. And Atreyu, Lead Sales Paper Anchor. Atreyu is limited to 1000 on smoky colored vinyl. That's Atreyu, and that is $39.99. That's a music on vinyl, limited numbered pressing. And Junior Wells coming at you. 50th anniversary. What a cool cover. Junior Wells coming at you, $34.99. New and sealed from Kraft. Records. Now, we haven't had a bid on Wasp in a while. Kelly Cook was out. We're about to sell this to Sam Squatch 67, a pristine Japanese pressing of Wasp Last Command for $70 to so Sam Squatch 67. Frankie Goes to Hollywood is now at $47. And we have Vince Gill. This is a buy it now for $55, no bid. Uh, less than what we had it stickered for. If anybody wants it, the Vince Gill and Paul Franklin Bakersfield, $55 buy it now. $55 buy it now if anybody wants that. Vince Gill, it's a $55 buy it now. Next is the Misfits Evil Live. The Misfits Evil Live is $33.99. Let's go ahead and sell this to Darren for $135. He gets the Metallica, Wichita, Kansas for $135. That is sold to Darren. Thank you, Darren. Anybody else want me to put up a poster? Actually, this one didn't sell. This can go back over here, Tanner. And we'll put the one, the Wichita poster over here, which I see down here at the bottom. That's so to Darren, putting it in the so pile for $135. Thank you, Darren. And if you have the Weird Al ready, that's several people's ask for Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic. Let's get Weird Al going up. And this is Weird Al Yankovic, Strings Attached. And it's right here at the bottom. And here it is. This is Strings Attached Tour from August 21st, 2019. The artist is Andrew, Andrew Swainson. Andrew Swainson, that's the artist. It's just a print, and that is a $45 start. Weird Al Yankovic, $45 start, strings attached tour. That's now up for bid. Weird Al poster, $45 start. That's now up for bid. Misfits is $33.99. Jack White, Jack White, right here. You was reading my mind. Joshua wants Jack White. I'm assuming that was a claim. Frankie goes to Hollywood is now at $50.49, now $51. And the Weird Al poster is at $45. Weird Al Post is at $45. let us go ahead and sell Wasp. Thank you, Sam Squatch. You get that for $70. Sam Squatch gets that for $70. Lots of activity tonight. Holy moly. Uh, I feel like we're going really fast, uh, and we have been since 7 o'clock. <laughs> Weird Al has a $45 bid with James Cohorn. Thank you, Joan, uh, James. Uh, Darren lives in Wichita. I was at that show. It's my birthday. Great day. Wow, that's an awesome poster to have. That's a really If you were at it. If you were at the concert, that's even greater. And uh, if it was your birthday, that's even greater too. You shouldn't have told me. If you would have told me that beforehand, I would have said a five thousand dollars start. Just joking. Uh, Weird Al poster. That's what we're talking about right here. Forty-five. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Is back here. Fifty-two. And then we have how much was the widespread panic? Eddie McKenna. It was one. 45, the one with the alligators, 145. Boy, these posters are selling. I mean, usually by the end of the night, usually by the end of the night, there's not much left. This is 145 for the widespread panic. 145, 145. That's a buy it now. And I think Tanner officially has them all ready for me. What we try to do is at least get the information, like what the artist is, where it's from. A lot of that's written on the poster, but a lot of people collect stuff just based on the artist. This guy had a lot of different stuff from concerts he never was even at, but he collected the artwork, and you should have seen his house. I went to his house like two years ago and bought his record collection and all this stuff, 
All this stuff was all over his walls, and it was like he was in some kind of art museum. It was incredible. And then he had all this stuff like in binders where he had so many extras. But his house was amazing decorated. I walked in, and I went, I know I'm here for records, but is all this other stuff for sale? And, of course, we eventually bought it later. I was almost bought it that night, but uh, I did talk him out of this. This is the first thing I bought from him was this Metallica poster here, this original Kill 'Em All poster. I had to buy that that night. I said, listen, I'm not leaving here without this poster, and I still have it. I really don't want to sell it, but I've got it out for sale. Okay, back up at the top, we have uh, uh, Weird Al at 47, and then Frank Goes to Hollywood 55, Frank Goes to Hollywood 56. Next is uh, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven, $33.99, $33.99, and this is the Misfits Collection Volume 2. 33. Eddie McKenna says he will take the widespread panic. Tanner, if we can move the one with the alligators over to the sold pile, that would be great. Let me put it up on screen so Rebecca knows what we're talking about. This is sold to Eddie McKenna for $145. Eddie McKenna gets this for $145. Thank you, Eddie. Nice pick up there. Miles Sang, numbered and limited. All right, let's go back to live feed. We have uh, Wish the Weird Al at 58 and Frank Goes to Hollywood 56. I have not run that one yet. Dave Matthews Band. This is before these crowded streets. Before these crowded streets. Before this was reissued, this was like a thousand dollar record. Forty nine ninety nine. If you had one sealed. Dave Matthews Band. Before these crowded streets. Forty nine ninety nine. Now it's in print. It's on black vinyl. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty two Foxes wants Pantera. That is thirty three ninety nine. Uh, Luke, earlier I had said that, that had, we're, we're running that record through the flattening machine. It has a light warp, and it, we have some, uh, we're trying to get it clean through the ultrasonic. It was really beat up, but we're trying to bring it back to life because it's such a rare record. But no, it is not being ran tonight. Bad Company's debut album. When we do get these in, they're always beat up. A great, fantastic, classic rock album. Bad Company, their debut on clear vinyl, $33.99. It sounds incredible, too. The Weird Al poster is now at $52, and the Frankie Goes to Hollywood's at $59. let us get some more auctions going. Let's put another auction up in the back. Let's go ahead and do a Japanese pressing of drum roll. Oh, I forgot about this. This is not Japanese, but it's U.S. Paul got this ready for us. This is an original pressing of Van Halen, OU812, an original retail copy, a 1988 SRC with the original inner sleeve, and it's a $45 start. $45 start. Very, very nice. $45 start. There's the disc. There is the LP. And once again, this album is still not in print unless you get the Van Halen box set. Unless you get the Van Halen box set, which I can't get anymore. I wish I had ordered even more of them. But Van Halen, OU812, it's still never been reissued as a standalone LP. It's now up for bid, $45 start. All right, so uh, we have uh, uh, 59. Let me pull up the Weird Al poster so I can go back and show you that image. Weird Al is the poster in the background being bid on right here. Weird Al, there it is. And the last bit I saw on that was 57 with Autumn Beth. James came back in 55, now 57. So that's what they're bidding on. Just FYI, and then we pulled Pantera. Do you have Dave Matthews Band Crash? Actually, I may have it. Uh, yes, give me one second, I'll try to find it. It's in one of these bins up here. And then Catherine Lutz on Bad Company. Catherine gets Bad Company. Van Halen's at 45, and the last bid on Frankie Goes to Hollywood was Thomas Hudrar at 59, and James Bragg, uh, just so you know, you've been outbid. Thomas has that at 59. Thomas has that at 59. We have... The Rolling Stones Hackney Diamonds. This is the Boston Red Sox cover variant. The Boston Red Sox cover variant, $46.99 for the Stones. Now 80s Dance Force. Now 80s Dance Floor. Soul and Disco. This is a 2LP compilation of soul and disco music of the 80s from Now Yearbook. This is $39.99. $39.99. I got to go over here and get, grab a bottle of water right quick. Let me get a vault of water, and I'm going to walk by the bin, and I'm going to grab something that somebody's going to buy. I'm going to walk by the Led Zeppelin rack, and I'm going to grab two copies of this, and if nobody buys them, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Okay, please don't disappoint me. It's Led Zeppelin, Houses of the Holy, 180 gram, new and sealed, Jimmy Page remaster, $33.99. We're talking about no quarter. We're talking about song remains the same. Crunch, Dancing Days, Over the Hills and Far Away. It's new. It's sealed. 
and it's remastered, $33.99. Oh my goodness, that's some amazing music there, $33.99 on that. Let me set that back to the back, and I think we got a couple new claims. First, we're bidding on three different auctions right now. If you want to bid, just comment in the comments. You don't have to be pre-registered. Just comment in the comments. We have Weird Al at 57 and then 59. Van Halen got a new bid for 50 with Hector Morin. Hector was at 50 on Van Halen. And then we had Frank Yells to Hollywood for 61. Van Halen, 55. Davey Winston wants now 80s. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, 62. The Weird Al poster. You can't see it because it's right here. Weird Al poster. That is at 62 of Autumn Betts. And then we have Matt Shepard on Led Zeppelin. This is sold to Matt Shepard. Led Zeppelin sold. Do you have uh, Depeche Mode Broken Frame Remaster? I do not have that in stock right now. And I'm about to be disappointed because I still have one Led Zeppelin left. Not anymore. Brian C. gets it for $33. Brian C. gets it for $33.99. I almost said $33. I can't leave off that $99. This is sold to Brian C. Excellent. Matthew Copas, I don't have any more unless you want on a waiting list. If you do, if you do, then I will order you one because i got to order more anyway. We never run out of Led Zeppelin. We have Bruce Dickinson, Balls to Picasso. Bruce Dickinson is $33.99. And Genesis, Invisible Touch, a great album, a great 80s classic by Genesis. That's a half-speed master for $33.99. And Widespread Panic, we've been selling a lot of their posters here is one of their very popular albums, Ain't Life Grand, on limited edition colored vinyl. It's the only copy I have for $36.99. $36.99. So Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Frankie Goes to Hollywood is at $67. We have an out on Weird Al and an update on Van Halen. Van Halen, James Vasquez has it for $55. We're talking OG, $19.88. OG Van Halen, OU812. No condition notes on the vinyl. Original under sleeve. Paul's cleaned it. Put in a new anti-static. James Vasquez has that for 55. Final call. Now, the other bidder on the Weird Al poster has set out. So now this is a final call. The top bidder on this now is Autumn Betts at $62 on the Weird Al poster. $62 on that. Hector, thank you for saying you're out. Final call on Weird Al, and they're still bidding on Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Thomas has it for 67. James Bragg was at 66. Thomas has it for 67. Brian Martin, Poets and Oats Oats. I will make a note of that. Danny Thomason, put him on a waiting list for Brian Martin, Poets and Oats Souls. And then John Dorsey wants widespread panic. No, he put WSMFP. Was that a claim, or am I missing something? Widespread Maybe. I'm not for sure. What's that abbreviation stand for? And then we have Chris Robinson Brotherhood, Barefoot in the Head, $29.99, and Bruce Diggison. Oh, no, it's Scream for Me, Sarah Havo. Sarah Javo. That's $34.99 for Bruce Diggison. So we're about to sell two auctions, Van Halen and the Weird Al poster. But let me step back over here to the Led Zeppelin rack, and let me pull out another Stone Cold Classic. Now, if we sell these, this will be even more of a challenge, but I'll try my best. Everybody needs to make sure you got all the Led Zeppelin albums in your collection. Here's the next one. Originals, for some reason, when they come through, they're instant sellers. That's why we sell a lot of these. This is Physical Graffiti. I got three copies, $44.99. We're talking cashmere. That's all you need to know, cashmere. Boom, story's over. Go ahead and buy it. That's the only track you need to know. And then there's four sides of other music that is absolutely incredible but physical graffiti is $44.99 Jimmy Page remaster $44.99 actually a 40th anniversary edition I have three of those just F Y I of course trampled on a foot is on there just the rover I, I I can't name them all because if I named all the good songs I'd have to name the whole album so I would have stopped there all right, and then that was uh, widespread, most of them widespread panic. Okay, so John, John Dorsey did want widespread MFP. So that's so to John Dorsey. Frankie for 70. Matt Shepard, thank you, Matt, on Led Zeppelin. That is so to Matt Shepard. You not going to, just great decision. Pat on the back. And then we have a visual live so to Hector Morin. He wants a Lizzie Borden visual lies, which is right here. I now have one copy left. These are $33.99. Let's end two auctions. First, we have Van Halen. I've also lost my feed. 
I've only connected to X right now. I have no more Facebook or YouTube. Let me, nope, no, okay, one of them's back. YouTube is back. This happened last night. I thought I was going to have to reset, but Facebook eventually came back. But I have lost the Facebook chat, Tanner. But let me go ahead and do this. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. I might, there might have been some other people claim Led Zeppelin, and I can't see it, so I might have to pull it up over here on my laptop right quick. Uh, Brian C. wants a Led Zeppelin. That just came in, so I can go ahead and tag him for that. But if you're commenting on Facebook right now, I can't see it. We're still connected, but I just can't see your comments. Let me go ahead and sell this. Van Halen. Van Halen is sold to James Vasquez for $55. Nice, James. That's sold to you. Now, I can't sell Frankie Goes to Hollywood because they were definitely still bidding on that. Led Zeppelin is sold to Brian C. for $44.99. But I am going to go ahead and sell the Weird Al poster. That was long gone, and Weird Al is sold to uh, Weird Al is sold to Autumn Betts for $62. Autumn, I'm going to go ahead and tag that for you. I'm, I've lost YouTube again, so I've lost YouTube again, and I don't have Facebook either. So uh, just stand by for a second. The other night when this happened, it eventually came back. It took like 60 seconds. So just stand by. I'm going to go ahead and move Weird Al into the soul pile over here. I'm going to sell, uh, put Weird Al into the soul pile over here. It's it's raining here in Lebanon, Tennessee, where we're broadcasting from. So when it rains, it pours. So I'm going to mute my mic for one second and take a drink of water. Let me do that right now and hopefully all of our comments. If not, I got to reset the feed, but give it one more second. I'm going to mute my mic. Okay, I'm probably going to have to reset this feed. Did you say 4 o'clock in the morning? And then you're going to open the store? Okay. Okay. Well, everybody, if you can hear me, sorry, I was chatting with Tanner while I was taking a drink. I'm going to have to reset everything. Well, for those for the, those that's watching, let me go back over here. Let me make sure. Uh-oh, I'm back on one. Man, this is, there's no way around this either. Let me make sure. I was, oh, we're back. All three are back. Okay. T everybody give me a test comment. Everybody give me a test comment. Test, test, test. I got all three back. I got all three back. It was just a... It's just a glitch. There's all three. Connected, connected, connected. All right, now, now if you comment, you should see it pop up on the screen, okay? I'm just seeing YouTube. I'm just seeing YouTube still. Where are you, Facebook? Please pop up. Because I don't know what people saying over there. I, when I clicked on the app, I saw like five people had bought a Led Zeppelin physical graffiti, so... That sucks because I, I can't pull that back up. There they are. Okay. There we go. Wow, look at all the test comments. Okay. Whew. Now, um, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't see my 74 bid on Frankie. Okay, James, we lost connection. So uh, just start bidding again. I'll make sure Thomas is on. I'll make sure you're on. Sorry about that. We lost connection. I don't know what causes that. I've drunk some water. I'm back ready to go. All right, Alexandria Vigil on Led Zeppelin. Now, if anybody else, we sold out of houses, and we're going to have to take a waiting list on this. The first person I see is Alexandria Vigil. I also saw uh, Forrest Appleton when I clicked on the app. Forrest, if you're back on, comment again. I'll put you on a waiting list. Brian Arrigo, if you're okay with a waiting list. I've only just got this one. I don't have to reset. No, we're, we're back connected on all three. We're back connected on all three. The first one I've seen pop up, though, is Alexandra Vigil on this. And now Thomas is at 75 on Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Don't worry, I'll show my other Zeppelin albums in just a second. Uh, sorry if I don't have enough for everybody. i got to order more. Usually we keep big stock of Led Zeppelin albums here. And the last record in this bin, the last two records were Circle Jerks, 
Wild in the Streets for $36.99. And we have Patsy Klein's Greatest Hits. Patsy Klein's Greatest Hits, $28.99. So James Bragg, Thomas is back on, and he's bid $75. let us get some new auctions started, and I'll include in posters. I still got a crate of new uh, vintage stuff to go through, and then we're going to start going through some discount bins. Tanner just left. He said he'll be back at 4 a.m., and he's going to open the store tomorrow. Um, my mom can't be here tomorrow, so Tanner's going to be running the store tomorrow. He's going to have a long day. Wow, 4 a.m. till probably all through tomorrow night. That's like a that's like a 24-hour shift he's going to have to do tomorrow. Um, so Led Zeppelin. Uh, Led Zeppelin went to the, the last copy of Physical I had went to Alexandra Vigil. Uh, Brian Arrigo, I don't have a copy on hand unless he went on a waiting list. And then we have uh, Frankie at 79. And, uh, and then uh, Brian. Uh, and then Forrest Appleton wants on a waiting list. Sorry, my... My feed glitched, so I really don't know who was first on those because of that. All right, I'm going to read what's left in here as soon as I put up some new auctions. Um, and then sorry for the glitch. That happens every once in a while. It, like I said, it is raining here in uh, Tennessee. And when it rains, we have bad internet service for some reason. Here's our next auction. It's a Japanese pressing. It's a Japanese pressing of Journey Frontiers. We'll do a waiting list for Led Zeppelin. They always keep Led Zeppelin albums in stock, so I'll be able to get more of those for Stan Bryan. Uh, this is Journey Frontiers. It's a $35 start. It's a Japanese pressing. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's the LP. There's the Japanese book. There is the Japanese insert. Now check this out. It comes with a 1983 Journey calendar. It comes with a 1983 Journey calendar. 1983 Journey Calendar. Also, we have a Journey, I've never seen this before, a uh, Super Shock Knocks You Out. Journey for Tears, like another insert with the lineup and their discography. That's really cool. That's a $35 start with Obi. $35 start. They're still bidding on Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Let me read some of the new titles that's left in here. If you want a price, let me know. Back here in the back, we had... Um, we had Heart, Dreamboat Annie, The Fray, How to Save a Life, Wasp Babylon, or Wasp Dominator, that is, Wasp Dominator. A couple copies of that. Collect the Soul, Hints and Allegations, Lizzie Borden, Visual Lies, Dave Matthews Band, Remember Two Things, Thelonious Monk Plays, Duke Ellington, Young MC, The Sound of Music, we still got The New Ministry, Queen's Greatest Hits, Little Shop of Horror soundtrack, Fish Round Room is still available, The Crow soundtrack, also Jack White, Lazarato, we have Cradle of Filth, A Trey You. Lead Cell Paper Anchors, Junior Wells coming at you, Misfits Evil Live, Misfits Collection 2, Dave Matthews Band, Before These Crowded Streets, Bad Company, their self-titled debut, Stones Hackney Diamonds, Boston Red Sox, Bruce Dickinson, we have Genesis, Chris Robinson Brotherhood, Bruce Dickinson, Circle Jerks, and Patsy Cline's Greatest Hits. The Led Zeppelin we were selling was Fizzle Graffiti. We are sold out. There's now two people on a waiting list. If anybody else wants on there, I'll have my, more back in next week, $44.99. Frankie Goes to Hollywood's at $82 of Thomas Hujar. James Bragg, you're out. Journey's at $37 with Mike Torres. Journey's at $37 with Mike Torres. That's the new high bid. There's been multiple bidders on there. How much are the Bruce albums? The, uh, the first one, Balls uh, to Picasso, is uh, $33.99. And the Scream for Me, the live album, is uh, $34.99. Uh, $34.99. I don't actually, I don't think it's a, no, it's not a live album, studio album. So $33 and $34. $33 and $34. All right, I still got to create some new vintage stuff over here to go through, and then we're officially going to get into some probably buy now best offer or discount bins. Sean Mankel says he'll take the first one. That was Balls for Picasso. Screen for me is a compilation. Thank you, Luke. I did not realize that. Journey has a high bit of 50. Frankie goes to Hollywood's at 85. It's Circle Jerks, a remaster OG. Everything in that bin are new and sealed copies. Everything in that bin is new and sealed copies. Those are brand new copies. This is Bruce Dickinson, sold to Sean Mankel. Thank you. Journey has a high bit of 50. I still got a whole catalog of posters over here to go through tonight. We just sold the Weird Al. Uh, let's see what we have here. Um, uh, the medium chat. Tanner got a lot of these ready. Pixies, Pink Floyd. Oh yeah, we still got one of these. So for the Pink Floyd people, we still got one of these. We had the Rainbow Sparkle Foil, I think, last week. 
And then here's this one. This is foil. This is Pink Floyd. It's a fantasy poster. It's a fantasy poster. It's uh, Boston, Massachusetts, June 18th, 1975. It's a holographic lava foil. Holographic lava foil. The artist is Frank Kozik. It's number 33 of 35, and that's a $75 start. Very cool. Pink Floyd, wish you're here. It's a fantasy poster. It's a fantasy poster from 1975, meaning it's not actually from 1975, but it's printed to look like that, and that is a $75 start on Pink Floyd. Very, very cool. That's now up for bid. That's now up for bid. All right, Journey is a final call for $50 to Rob Long, and Frank Goes to Hollywood is at 87 Can you do the water bear? I'll put that one on deck, yes. Okay, next, we got new and uh, we got uh, new LPs in here. First, we have, or new vintage stuff, Credence, no check condition on these. Credence Clearwater Revival, Pendulum, blue and gold fantasy label, OG Credence, $34.99. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, that's live, four-way street, $29.99. Thomas Hujar, you're out on Frankie, and we're about to sell Journey. And we're looking for a $75 start on that Pink Floyd poster. Tommy Bolin, we sold one of these last night. Private Eyes, $19.99. Very clean copy. Tommy Bolin is $19.99. And The Best of Bread, $14.99. Gatefold, great music there. Best of Bread, black and red, Electra label, $14.99 for The Best of Bread. And Johnny Winter, second winner, 2LP. Johnny Winter, $22.99 for Johnny Winter. We have Johnny Cash, Rock Island Lined. Johnny Cash is $9.99. Jennifer Schrader first on CCR. That's so to Jennifer Schrader. And Straight Shooter, James Gang. There is some writing on the cover. That is $19.99. James Gang, Straight Shooter. Rob Zimmer first on JC for Johnny Cash. Let's end some auctions. We have Frankie Goes to Hollywood, officially so to James Bragg for $87. James, you get that for $87. That is so to James Bragg. And we have Journey which is now sold to Rob Long for 50. Rob Long gets that for 50. That's Journey Frontiers, Near Mint Minus, and Pristine Vinyl. This is sold to Rob. Now, Rob, you have bought from us before. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm, or unless I'm just absolutely crazy. The other night I was like, I asked somebody, you bought from us before? And they was like, yes, Chad, I've been buying since you've been doing this for the last five years. I was like, whoop, my bad. Just got a couple of names confused there. But this is sold to Rob Long for $50. And he says he has. Thank you and welcome back. And final call to get a bid in on the Pink Floyd poster. Very, very cool. $75 start. $75 start on Pink Floyd. $75 start before I make it a buy now. Susie, you were second on cash. Freddie Dixon, third. George Scherer, first on Johnny Winter. And then 42 Foxes on CSNY. However, Lucas asked the condition. The cover's in about VG condition. Lucas, no condition notes on the vinyl. So VG cover. No condition notes on the vinyl. Lucas, if you want it, it's yours. If not, it's sold to 42 Foxes. The Four Tops, Nature Planned It. That is a sealed copy of the Four Tops, $14.99. Mose Jones, Blackbird. Mose Jones, that's $14.99. Blackbird, $14.99. Let's get some new auctions started. I have more Japanese stuff to get to, such as... Uh, I do have another Journey Frontiers. I'll put that in just a second. But first, let me go to the back here and see what else we have. How about another bootleg? This is a bootleg of cherry pie. An unofficial pressing. An unofficial pressing of cherry pie on red vinyl. Cherry red vinyl. A red vinyl unofficial bootleg of cherry pie. $25 start. $25 start. There is cherry pie, and there is the bootleg. $25 start. I actually used to have some of those in stock. Now the music on vinyl pressings. There's cherry pie. $25 start. That's a bootleg unofficial. Lucas says he passes, so 42 Foxes, that's sold to you. Also, Elton John, Honky Chateau, a uni in the original jacket, $34.99. $34.99 and original artist super hits of the 50s. That is $9.99. Original artist super hits of the 50s. Next auction, let's do a Japanese pressing and let's do Steve Perry. Speaking of Journey, this is Street Talk. This is Steve Perry's solo album known as Street Talk. This has the his song Sherry on it, and or Oh Sherry, and this is a $35 start. It's a hop there. It also has a hop sticker. Uh, now, this is really cool. Check this out. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine, and it has the Steve Perry sticker sheet with it. it has the Steve Perry sticker sheet still with it. $35 start. It has a solicitation form as well. It has the Japanese insert, covers and shrink wrap of OB and hop sticker. $35 start on that. 
Warren has one bid for 25, final call. Susie first on the 50s, Henry was second, and John Howard is in on the Kozik poster for 75. I was just about to make it a buy it now. So, final call on the Kozik poster. That's this right here, the Pink Floyd. That's the artist. John Howard has bid $75. If anybody else wants in, you've got to outbid John. He has it for $75. Final call. This is OG uh, Elton John, by the way. Honkish Toe with Rocket Man. It's on Uni, the first label, and it has the envelope-type packaging. Just FYI. Bobby Gentry and Glenn Campbell, $12.99. Bobby Gentry and Glenn Campbell. That's also the name of the album. We have The Best of Brass Construction. This is $29.99. Wow. It's a 2000 UK. When you see that label right there, usually it's a uh, pretty expensive album. This is only $29.99. 2000 UK Simply Vinyl. High quality records that were being pressed in the late 90s, early 2000s. The Manhattan Transfer, Vocal Lease. The, Man the Manhattan Transfer is $9.99. Elton John is $34.99, George. $34.99. Matthew Copas said CO30 and Steve Perry. So um, uh, Cherry Pie is a red vinyl unofficial. That has a high bid of 30. Steve Perry has a high bid of 42. We have Jeff Mon. Jeff Mann, I may sing Grace. $14.99. $14.99. Jeff Mann, I may sing Grace. That's an 84 UK. George Sherry says he will take the Elton John. That's so to George Sherry. Coriel and Muzen back together again. That's with one of those Roger uh, Houston covers. That's 1999. And we have David Benoit stages. This is a 1982 pressing, 59.99. David Benoit stages, 59.99 for David Benoit. Warren is now at $35, and this is officially sold for $75. $75. This is sold. This is sold to John Howard for $75. $75. I'm going to go ahead and step over here and put it in the soap pile. The Bobby Gentry and Glenn Campbell was $12.99. Very nice Pink Floyd poster there. Anybody else want me to put something up? I know there was some stuff mentioned just a second ago. That thing was numbered. Very cool. $75. I figured that one would do a little bit more than that. I figured that would do a little bit more than that. Still got Primus and uh, the Moe's and uh, I think I got a Cure over here. So very very, very cool. All right. Let me see here. That was, yep. Yeah. All right. And let's see what else we have here. Somebody said the water bearer. Yeah. The water bearer. This right here. All right. And this is an Emic sign print. Let's pull this up. This is the water bearer. This is water. This is water bear. The, the whale. <laughs> it's a signed Emic print. Take a look at that. We have, uh, this is number 99 of 100, Water Bear, the whale. It's a signed Emic print down at the bottom. It's signed by Emic, and it's got a doodle, signed and doodle, numbered 99 of 100 with another doodle, and this is a $95 start. This is a $95 start. This is Water Bear, the whale. That's now up for bid, $95 start on that. Yeah, you got a really do. Uh, uh, I can't even talk. You got such a good deal. Really good deal on that. All right. We left off by saying Steve Perry was at 42 and Cherry Pie was at 35. Freddie Dixon asked how much was Glenn Campbell. Daniel Cody wants the simple vinyl pressing. That was this right here. That's brass construction. That's so to Daniel Cody. Freddie Dixon gets the Gentry and Campbell. That's sold to Freddie Dixon. Uh, Steve Perry's at 45. This is a bootleg, unofficial red vinyl pressing of cherry pie. A bootleg, red vinyl, unofficial pressing of cherry pie. And this is now a final call with Nick Kennel for $35. Nick Kennel for $35. I have not done Funkos. Alex Kane, Mose Jones. Mose Jones is uh, right here. This is sold to Alex Kane. Alex Kane, you get the Mose Jones. Next is A Star is Born, Judy Garland, $9.99. Judy Garland, as in The Wizard of Oz, Judy Garland. That's on a Columbia 6i, $9.99. Stars on Long Play 3. Stars on Long Play 3, that is $9.99. Steel Band Spectacular, The Sound of the Caribbean. Steel Band, I bet that sounds cool with all the steel drums there. $9.99. 
Steel Band Spectacular, The Sound of the Caribbean. Rob Zimmer wants Judy Garland. That's sold to Rob Zimmer. And we have Viva El Marachi, the Marachi Vargas de Tilon. That's my best attempt. That's a 1971 Mexico pressing, $9.99. Nick Kennel gets the Warrant Cherry Pie for $35. And Steve Perry is now moving to a final call. Mike Torres has it for $45. That's got the Steve Perry sticker sheet with it. If anybody wants in, now is the time. Warren is officially sold to Nick Kennel for $35. That was the red vinyl unofficial pressing of that. Sold to Nick Kennel. We have James Vasquez on Viva. That's sold to James Vasquez. And our next Japanese auction is going to be a Stones. Hmm. A Stones Japanese pressing. Some people's, some people's ears might have just perked up. What? Japanese Stones record? What? This is Big Hits, High Tide and Green Grass, the Japanese version. The vinyl is nice, except it has one scuff that completely runs across the vinyl right here. Superficial, and it has a little bit of a scuff right there. Side uh, one here is near mint minus and pristine. So still a $35 start because it is very nice vinyl. It is a Japanese pressing. The stones, a little bit of edge and cover wear on this one. Just a little bit of edge and cover wear on this one. Uh, gatefold with Obi. The Stones is a $35 start. Stones is a $35 start. Now, I am, I've already forgot what I said as a starting bid on this. Um, what did I say as a starting bid on this? I think I said $95. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. This is Water Bear the Whale. This is a $95 start. Signed print. Final call to get a bid in. $95. $95. Final call on that before I do that. What time do you start movie posters? That is at 12 o'clock midnight. 12 o'clock midnight, unless we get done, unless we uh, uh, get to that point before then, but usually around midnight. This is Bacara. Bacara, this is uh, $14.99. $14.99. Bacara is $14.99. Jamaica, Herb Jeffries. Jamaica is $14.99. From 1956, Jamaica, Herb Jeffries, 1956, $14.99. Interesting. And the Alvin Lee Band, Free Fall, Gold Stamp Promo of Pro Pro Promo Strip. Alvin Lee Band is $14.99. Steve Perry's at 42 with Debbie Blair and one bid on the Stones for $35 with Thomas Sujar. One bid with Thomas Sujar for $35. Final call. Alley Cat, Bent Fabric. Alley Cat is $9.99. Bent Fabric, Alley Cat. And we have Jimmy Dean, Big Bad John. Jimmy Dean, $9.99. Big Bad John, $9.99. Little Jimmy Dickens' Greatest Hits is $9.99. And the Hit Sounds of the Everly Brothers from 1967, 1999. The Hit Sounds of the Everly Brothers, that is $19.99. Jimmy Dean's Greatest Hits, $9.99 for Jimmy Dean's Greatest Hits. Columbia 2i. And we have the Osley Brothers, Smooth Sailing. The Osley Brothers is in shrink wrap with the original under sleeve. $14.99 for the Osley Brothers. Also, the Greg Almentor. The Greg Almentor is a 2LP, $29.99. New bid on the Stones for $39. And we have a new bid on Steve Perry for $55. If anybody wants this, it is a $95 buy it now. This is Water Bear the Whale. Water Bear the Whale. That's a $95 buy it now if anybody wants it. Water bell signed by Emic number print. Signed by Emic number print. $95 on there. That is a wild looking. I couldn't even think of something like that. It's like a. If someone's like, draw the most craziest thing you could think of. That wouldn't even come to my head. All right, we have Mac the Knife. That's Ella in Berlin. Ella Fitzgerald. That is nine uh, $19.99. Tracks on Everly Brothers. Tracks on Everly Brothers. This has Blueberry Hill, Moving On, Devil's Child, Trains and Boats and Planes, Sea of the Heartbreak, Oh Boy, I'd Be a Legend My Time, Let's Go Get Stoned, Sticks and Stones, House of the Rising Sun, She Never Smiles Anymore, Good Golly, Miss Molly, 1999. Ma Mountain, they took it sleigh ride. Nan took a sleigh ride by Mountain. That is 1999. Mountain, they took a sleigh ride, 1999. The Motels, Little Robbers. The Motels is $12.99. The Motels, Little Robbers, $12.99. We have an out on the Stones, and we have an out on Steve Perry. Steve Perry has a high bid with Debbie Blair for $57. Rob Long, you're out. Let me know if you want back in. 
We now have a final call on the stones of Mark Lent for 39. Thomas is out. And we have uh, Alvin Lee details. Alvin Lee band, it had a gold stamp promo and a promo strip on the front, but not actually a promo mark copy. No condition notes on the vinyl. Company inner sleeve, $14.99. Also, no condition notes on Mountain. Everything in here is new arrival. Should be EX Plus or better. This is Mountain. They took a sleigh ride. It is a Terra Hope pressing. $19.99, $19.99 on that. Steve Perry's at 60. Does Stone exclude the eight page insert? I don't think that is in here with this one. No eight page insert, not with this one. Okay, Edwin says pass, Steve Perry's at 60. Next is Montrose, jump on it. $19.99 on Montrose and Tony Banks at Curious Feeling. Tony Banks is $14.99 now. I was on a run of Led Zeppelin albums earlier. We sold out of houses. I don't have enough really to be doing this, but maybe I can sell out of what I have. Here's the next one. My favorite, actually you can't pick a favorite, at least I can't, but I probably have listened to this one more than any others. And this is, what have I done? My chat is disabled. Hold on a second, what just happened? I've never seen this before. Give me a second here. But I had a thing pop up that says your chat is disabled. Maybe not anymore. Okay, so uh, Led Zeppelin is, uh, Rob Long is at 60 on Steve Perry. And we have Led Zeppelin 3, or excuse me, Led Zeppelin 2 is what I was showing here. Led Zeppelin 2 is $33.99. What I was saying as I probably have definitely listened to this one more than any other before. Can anybody comment right now? Or is it dead again? What has happened? What has happened? Okay, it's, it's working. Brian Arrigo wants Led Zeppelin. I've only got two. We may have to have a wait list for this one. Forrest Appleson also gets one. Jimmy Page remaster, new and sealed. Thank you. New and sealed remaster. Thank you. Sealed. All right, I have filled up that crate. If anybody else wants a Led Zeppelin too, I'm definitely going to have to order more. Let me know. Those are available if anybody wants them. Let's go ahead and sell some. Uh, Rob Long had the Steve Perry for 60. If anybody else has bid since then, he might want to let me know. Debbie bid 62, and now the Rolling Stones is sold to Mark Lent for $39. Mark Lent, you get this for $39. Let's keep rolling. I don't know what just happened there to my chat. Some funky, funky things have happened to not my to my chat because of odd comments or or uh, or not odd comments. Odd things have happened because of the weather what I'm trying to say. Mark Lent, you get the stones for 39. All right, I'm going to make that the last record in the bin. Have filled up that crate for sure. That's pretty full, even with some inner sleeves in there. Put that right there. Let me grab a new empty one. Now, Rob Long, you're back out on the Steve Perry. You're back out on the Steve Perry. And let me put this right here. And let's see what else we have in here. Up for auction, that is. I got to get a new poster rolling as well. Uh, let me move some of these other records over here, including this Bon Jovi, which I'm pretty sure is a U.S. original. Still got a U.S. original Bon Jovi here to run, which is going to be a $35 start. Bon Jovi is a $35 start. Very nice. Richie Sambora. Debut album. Super clean. U.S. original Bon Jovi. The name of the album is Bon Jovi. $35 star. This is a nice copy. It does have a clip corner, but that is nice. Bon Jovi, $35 star. Steve Perry's up for $63 now of Rob Long. Next is the Osley Brothers. Timeless. The Osley Brothers is $22.99. The Outlaws, Hurry Sundown. The Outlaws is $19.99. Hurry Sundown. Also, BT Express, nonstop. BT Express is $19.99. Johnny Winter, nothing but the blues. Johnny Winter. I don't know if I've seen that one too many times. It's in shrink wrap. Johnny Winter, $19.99. Bon Jovi has bids for $35.40, $41. Steve Perry's at $63. And Sammy Hagar, all night long. Sammy Hagar's $24.99. Yep. No condition notes on Mountain, Mark. It is nice. Yes, no condition notes on Mountain. That is so to Mark Lent, $19.99. Johnny Rivers, Realization. Johnny Rivers is $9.99. Sheena Easton is $9.99. George Scherer wants Johnny Winter. That's so to George Scherer. And we have Humble Pie, Rockin' the Fillmore. Humble Pie is $26.99. Darren Wallace on Sammy Hagar. That's so to Darren Wallace. High bid on Bon Jovi's 41. Rob Long, you're out on Steve Perry. Debbie has it for 64. Debbie has it for 64. That's where we're at on that. 
All right, let's see what we got else over here in our poster collection. How about a, um, how about this uh, Pixies here? Let me see here what Tanner's got here. If this is the one, is this the, let me see, Artist Proof, is this it here? Artist Proof, Pixies, Camden, New Jersey. Yep, okay, this one's really cool looking. This is the Pixies. This is the Pixies, Camden, New Jersey. Uh, it's from the B&T &B Pavilion, July 21st, 2018. The artist is Timothy Petitis. 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 P-I-T-T-I-D-E-S. I've said a couple different things there, but uh, this is an artist proof. This is an artist proof number 20 of 25, and it's a $95 start. The Pixies is a $95 start. The Pixies is a $95 start. That's the BB&T Pavilion. Timothy Petides, I think. Petides. Artist proof number. $95 start. Camden, New Jersey. Foil. Rainbow foil, as you can see. If you want to see it in person or live view, I'll bring it over here. Really cool looking. John Rogacki, first on JR. That's for Johnny Rivers. Bon Jovi had new bids for 45 46 48 Just waiting to hear back from Rob Long on Steve Perry. Debbie has it for 64. I'm going to read the titles that's left in here. We still got 227 people watching. It is officially 1025 Central Time here in Middle Tennessee, where we're streaming from. Um, about to get into some dis discount vintage stuff. We're also going to go through some new, new vinyl as well. We're going to go through some new, new vinyl and some discount vintage stuff. Keep going, and then uh, around midnight tonight, we'll go through some movie posters. We do this every night if you're watching for the first time. We'll be live streaming again tomorrow. At 7 o'clock, we're going to have a big poster night lined up for tomorrow. Tons of new vintage stuff. John's going to be here all day pricing stuff. I'm going to be working on some stuff after the show tonight. And then I may go through what we have in our racks. And I think it's almost time to start working on some discount uh, new vinyl. I've, I've still got, I probably can fill up about a crate. I probably can fill up about a crate of some random, uh, some random new vinyl to discount. But I really don't have much. We've sold off almost everything that was set aside. But... Sorry, I'm stepping over here to grab a energy drink right quick. Debbie, you're out bid on Bon Jovi, and now we have a final call at 48. So here's what's left in here. If you need a price, let me know. Tommy Bolin, The Best of Bread, James Gang, The Four Tops, Manhattan Transfer, Jeff Mann, Coriel Muzan, that's two artists, David Benoit, Stars on Long Play, this is Steel Band Spectacular, this is Bacara, Jamaica, Alley Cat, Jimmy Dean, Little Jimmy Dickens, Jimmy Dean's Greatest Hits, Osley Brothers, Greg Allman Band, Mac the Knife, The Hit Sounds of the Everly Brothers, The Motels, Alvin Lee Band, Montrose, Tony Banks, The Osley Brothers, The Outlaws, BT Express, Sheena Easton, and Humble Pie. If anybody wants a price, let me know. Debbie, let me know if you want back in on Steve Perry. And Bon Jovi, we have an out. Dan Geller is about to get that for 48 all righty, let me do some crate condensing here. We've almost sold in a half a crate of auctions, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put these over here in this other bin. And we had five crates of new vintage to begin the night, and we're down to two. Down to two. Down to two. This is a poster that's currently up for consideration. It's the Pixies. Just one more time. $95 start on that if anybody wants it. Jared McLaughlin wants to Alvin Lee and price on Tony Banks. That's the second Tony Banks we've had tonight. The Curious Feeling album is uh, got the hop sticker. His first solo album. It is $14.99. $14.99 on that. And this just got claimed here. This is sold to Jared McLaughlin. Let's go ahead and sell this Bon Jovi to Dan Geller for $48. Dan Geller gets this for $48. And I'm waiting to hear back from Davey Blair. Davey, let me know if you're still with me. If not, i got to go ahead and sell this to Rob Long for $65. Now, I'm going to move this crate forward and go through this right quick And before we start going some discount because there's some great new vinyl tops in here. Steve Perry out. All my comments are not showing up. Okay, so this is sold to Rob Long for $65. Rob Long, you get that for $65. $65 on that. If somebody's commenting and I'm not seeing it, uh, I apologize. The feed has been very wacky tonight. Things have been in and out. Sometimes it can glitch and you think you're sending a comment, but if you don't actually see it pop up over here on the side, that's the master feed, then I'm not seeing it. But that's sold, and let's pull the Tony Banks for Tony Freeman. Tony gets Tony. Let me pull that Tony Banks album. That's a curious feeling. 
founding and current member of Genesis presents his first solo album. That's what the hop sticker says. Oh, it's a white label promo too. White label promo, Tony Banks. That's so to Tony Freeman. Let's get two new auctions going before I get too deep into this crate. I have a Japanese pressing of ABBA, which is the name of it, and it's like a greatest hits compilation, actually. And then I have another Japanese pressing. Styx has been very popular tonight. So first, here's ABBA, and this is like a greatest hits comp. It's a 2LP. It's pressed in Japan. It's just called ABBA. It's called Welcome, I think. Uh, they bill it on the label as ABBA's Greatest Hits 24, which I think there is 24 tracks on here. 2LP Japanese. It has a book with it. Also, um, a gatefold with Obi, $35 start on ABBA, 24 hits, and then Sticks Cornerstone. Sticks Cornerstone, nice jacket, thick with Obi. This is a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. Near mint minus and pristine on that. This is Cornerstone by Sticks. There's the LP, and then there is the gatefold jacket, and then there's the original inner sleeve, like you probably remember the US pressing coming with. They've just kind of made it into a book here. So there's our next two auctions, Sticks and ABBA, 35 and 35. First LP in here is Pearl Jam, no code. Pearl Jam is $39.99. That's no code. That's a 2LP, new and sealed. It includes a set of nine Polaroid lyrics cards, $9.99 on that. Also, this is Riot Restless Breed, $29.99. Riot Restless Breed is $29.99. Riot Restless Breed, and we also have Riot Born in America. These, everything in here is new and sealed. $36.99, right, Born in America is $36.99, and Husker Du, this is Flip Your Wig, Husker Du is $33.99, Flip Your Wig, everything in here is new and sealed, Husker Du, also Tedeschi Trucks Band, Made Up Mine, Tedeschi Trucks is a 2LP music on vinyl pressing for $46.99, Tedeschi Trucks Band, Made Up Mine, that is $46.99, the first Jimmy Dean, was nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and it was a Columbia Six I OG first label on that. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Just Jimmy Dean, Big Bad John, Jennifer. That's the first label. Chad, can you have John? I think you mean Chad. Can you have Ed? Check my issue. Uh, Ed is tomorrow is Saturday, and then Sunday. Ed will be back in on Monday, but maybe Tanner can check on it tomorrow uh, as well. But there's nobody. Nobody works on messages over the weekend. They work Monday through Friday. Humble Pie, rocking the Fillmore, is $26.99, Jenny. $26.99. $26.99 on that. Tedeschi Trucks is $46.99. But uh, Tanner will be here tomorrow, and I will tell him to look at Dan Davis's messages. Funkadelic Maggot Brain, that's a gatefold, $29.99 for Funkadelic Maggot Brain. And also, we have the very best of Dolly Parton. That's a 2LP, new and sealed, the best of Dolly Parton. $33.99. If anybody wants to do a buy it now on the Pixies, if anybody wants to do a buy it now on the Pixies, it's $95. Pixies at the BB&T Pavilion, Camden, New Jersey. That's a buy it now if anybody wants it for $95. $95. And sorry, I'm going to mute my mic for one second and take a drink of this. All right, thank you. Mark Lentz says he'll give $79 for the Pixies poster. <clears throat> what did I just say? 95, $85. Mark Lent, $85. $85 and I'll sell it to you, Mark Lent. $85. I will gladly sell it to you. Just let me know if that's good with you. Next is we have Jennifer Schrader says she'll take it. Jennifer Schrader, that's Jimmy Dean. This is so to Jimmy Schrader. Excuse me. Jimmy Dean is so to Jennifer Schrader. That's going in there, and we have nobody bid on these. So ABBA's a $35 buy it now, and Styx is a $35 buy it now. No bids, they're buy it nows. ABBA and Styx, $35 and $35. ABBA and Styx, a 24-track greatest hits. If they press this today on new vinyl, ABBA, their, their stuff's always expensive. They would probably charge like $56.99 for it. This is a near mint and original Japanese ABBA compilation for a $35 buy it now. So did Nick Kennel for a $35 buy it now. And Styx is also a buy it now for $35. Styx is also a buy it now for $35. Nick Kennel gets that. And Styx is going in the sleeve. Just going to keep it right back here momentarily. It is available if anybody wants it. Let me put it in new sleeve. Uh, Tony Freeman, if you want Hysteria, I can put you on a waiting list. 
I can put you on a waiting list, Tony Freeman. I don't actually have it in stock, but yes, I can get it if you want on a waiting list. Chuck Egger, it sticks. Thank you. $35 buy it now. We have Tom Petty's Greatest Hits, an amazing compilation, new and sealed, $46.99. Tom Petty's Greatest Hits, $46.99. That's new and sealed. Pearl Jam Riot Act, $39.99. Newly remastered, that is $39.99 by Bob Ludwig. And also Pearl Jam Versus, $33.99 for Pearl Jam Versus. Jeannie Potts says she will take the humble pie. That is so to Jeannie Potts. Tony Freeman wants on the Def Leppard Hysteria waiting list. And I still got three copies left of The Great Cat, Worship Me or Die, limited to $1,000 on silvered color vinyl. That is $38.99. That's the great cat. That's the first time ever on vinyl. From music on vinyl, it's $38.99. $38.99. Can I see the other Jimmy Dean? The other Jimmy Dean is called Jimmy Dean's Greatest Hits. Jimmy Dean's Greatest Hits. It's on a Columbia 2i label, $9.99. Big Bad John, $9.99 on that. Antonio Villanueva wants verses. Great pick up there. That's so to Antonio V. Also, one of my favorites, Neil Young Harvest. $36.99. Old man, take a look at my life. It's a lot like yours. Neil Young, Harvest, $36.99. Heart of Gold is on there. Also, here's a Joan Jett. Now, I know earlier there were some backup people. If somebody wants to go ahead and claim this one live, let me know. And then if you were on a waiting list, let me know so I can take you off. But right here is a Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. We still got one copy of New Order, Low Life. That's new and sealed for $44.99. Let's put up some new auctions. I haven't heard back from Mark Lynn on the Pixies poster, but let me go ahead and uh, he said he'll pass. Well, I got to sell it, Mark. So if you're still good for $79, i will take your $79 offer then. If you're still good for $79, i will take it. I'm here to sell it. We have 10 billion posters, so trying to get these things sold. But let me know if you're still good. I'll go back to your original offer. So if you're still good with that, if not, that's how negotiations work. You can say you pass at 79. If so, that's okay. But if you're still good at 79, I'll take it. Let's put up two new auctions. It's Japanese pressings. This is Jay Giles freeze frame. Jay's got James bleh, Jay Giles freeze frame. $35 start. Jay Giles freeze frame also has the hit song centerfold on it. This is a Japanese pressing. It has the original Japanese insert with it. Jay Giles with Obi. That's a $35 start. And Simon and Garfunkel. I've never understood this. It says Greatest Hits Volume 2, but it has some of their biggest songs on it, like Bridge Over Troubled Water and Cecilia and The Boxer. And it has America on it and Cuckoo Cachoo Mrs. Robinson. And this is a $35 start. It's called New Gold Disc Volume 2, The Best of Simon and Garfunkel. It has some gold foiling up here at the top. It has a Japanese booklet, and I think it's a gatefold. Nope, it's a single pocket, but it does have a book with it, and that's a $35 start. Simon and Garfunkel, that's auction number two. Joan Jett's $29.99. There's actually a waiting list for it, but if you want to go ahead and get it right now, Jason, but earlier I showed one and like three other people wanted it. They must not be watching right now. Mark Lentz says he's good on 79. Okay, give me one second, and I'll pull that. Joan Jett was $29.99. Antonio V wants new order. Antonio V wants new order. There's Jimmy Dean, whoever asked about that. And we have a now, that's what I call country compilation. This is a 3LP fantastic country compilation on colored vinyl, $49.99. Now, that's what I call country. The Black Keys, Thick Freakness, the 20th anniversary edition of the Black Keys. That is $36.99 for the Black Keys. And Jim Croce, one of his classics, I Got a Name. Jim Croce. All right, let's go ahead and officially sell this for $79 to Mark Lent. It was $95. I took his offer of $79 so it, since it didn't get a bid. That is okay. If anything else that's been up tonight uh, hasn't got a bid and you want to make a bid on it, let me know. Let me officially move the Pixies over here into the sold pile. There it is. Let me move this over here to the sold pile. There's the Pixies. And let me take a look in this pile and see what's still left. Still have some stuff that I hadn't put up, but uh, thank you, Mark. That sold to you. And let's go back to the live feed here. We have Jim Croce, $33.99. Matt Shepard says, I'll take Jimmy Dean. Now, who asked about this earlier? Was it Jennifer Schrader? Jennifer, let me know if you do want this. If not, it looks like Nick Kennel wants it. We have Jay Giles at 75, and we have an offer on the Water Bear for 75. Okay, let me think about that. Stranger Things, music from season one and two is $33.99. And Diamond Head. This is Diamond Head, Borrowed Time. 
uh, tough original metal album to find has the song Am I Evil on it that Metallica covered. That's $38.99 for Borrow Time, $38.99. And we have Phantom of the Paradise, a music on vinyl reissue, 50th anniversary edition soundtrack, Phantom of the Paradise, $38.99. Jennifer passes on uh, Jimmy Dean, so that is sold for $9.99 to Matt Shepard. Antonio V wants Diamond Head. That's sold to Antonio Villanueva. That is sold. Matt Shepard on that, not Nick Kennel, Matt Shepard. Matt Shepard. Matt Shepard on Jimmy Dean, sorry. Matt Shepard, not Nick Kennel. Did I say Nick Kennel? Matt Shepard on Jimmy Dean, sorry. Just got some names mixed up there in my head. Weezer, the blue album, $33.99. Weezer, that has Buddy Holly on it and Say It Isn't So. Jelly Roll, Ballads of the Broken, that's on red vinyl. We have sold a bunch of those. That's Ballads of the Broken on Red Vinyl, $29.99. And Ex Hoarder, Defectum Ominium. Ex Hoarder, that's a fairly new release, limited to $3,200, and that is $3,299. All right, let's go ahead and sell these. This is sold to Jason Conklin for $35. Jason Conklin gets that for $35. And if anybody wants the Simon and Garfunkel back there, Greatest Hits Volume 2 has still great songs on it. Mrs. Robinson, America. $35 buy it now. Jason Conklin gets to Jay Giles. And we have, have you put in a Mondo order yet? Uh, yes, Paul's doing that. Um, but I'm pretty sure it is. It should be delivered pretty soon, actually. And uh, Curtis, I'm going to go ahead. Let me put it up on screen so I can show it. Let's sell this to Curtis for $75. Awesome print here. This is sold to Curtis. Let's take one more look at this trippy artwork. This is sold to Curtis for $75. This is sold to Curtis for $75. I'm also going to shift it over here into the soap pile. Taking a dent out of all these for sure tonight. Somebody wants to see the Nashville poster one more time. Let me put up the Nashville poster. And that was a request. Let's take a look at that. This is the World Tour here, Bridgestone Arena. And that was over here. I think I still got that one written down. The Nashville Bridgestone. This is $155. $155 on this. $155. No Billy Joel tonight, Jeff. No Billy Joel tonight. Metallica's $155. Bridgestone Arena, Nashville. Original poster, $155 on that. Check out that artwork. Whew. Pretty scary, in my opinion. All right, we're wrapping up some new vinyl here. About to get into some discount stuff. First discount bin we're going to go through is $6.99. Let's sell this to Jeannie for $30, the Simon and Garfunkel. Jeannie gets Simon and Garfunkel for $30. So to Jeannie Potts, Simon and Garfunkel is sold. And I'm going to go through just a few more things in here. We have Queens Rock. There's another copy of Promised Land for $38.99. Pearl Jam Lightning Bolt is $39.99. Pearl Jam Lightning Bolt is $39.99. Uh, Soundgarden Screaming Life and Fop EP, $33.99. Another Electric Ladyland for $34.99. Motorhead Live, 1986 Monsters of Rock Festival, $29.99. Tom Petty, Free Fallen, Full Moon Fever, $36.99. Danger Danger is $39.99. And Creator, Endless Pain, Creators, $49.99. Autopsy is $33.99. Just got to our hotel for the night. Paul, did we get another collection? Did we get another collection? Drum roll. Paul's down in uh, Houston right now buying more records, or maybe buying more records. I don't know. Uh, so let's see what else I have over here. Let me go to the back. Actually, um, let me see. We might go through a bin of Buy It Now Best Offer. I've got to move a few things around. I've got to move a few things around, though. Let me move this George Harrison box. It's sold earlier. And um, Paul says, got some goodies, maybe more tomorrow. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. How about we go through, uh, how about a random half-off bin? Let's clear out one of these things. A random half-off bin, fairly new stuff. I think it's that time of the night and that time of the week. What was the last record in the bin? It was Autopsy. Autopsy, School, School Grinder, and Creator, Endless Pain, $49.99. So those are sold, or those are still available. Okay, now we can put up some new Japanese and new posters. Next auction is, um, let's do Madonna, Like a Virgin, and Foreigner. 
Let's do these. This is Madonna, Like a Virgin, Japanese pressing in shrink wrap of Obi. This is a $35 start. Madonna, Like a Virgin, $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus, and you guessed it, pristine. Has the Japanese insert with it. Has the Japanese insert with it. Cover in Obi. Madonna is a $35 start. That's up for bid. And also, we have Foreigner Double Vision. Foreigner Double Vision. The other night, we had a bunch of Japanese Foreigner, and it's like I couldn't get enough of them. $35 start for this. $35 start for this. Hadn't seen Toby Keith in a while. No Toby Keith. And there's this. Did you get my comment on Gladys Knight earlier tonight? I did not. Or if I did, I don't remember it. $35 starts on those. Okay. Close attention. Everything in this bin is going to be 50% off sticker, and I think there's some fairly new arrivals in here. I just showed the Metallica poster. I have the other Metallica keyhole poster. And let's put up this Primus. I have not officially showed this Primus poster yet, and this one's cool. And uh, let me find what happened to my cheat sheet. Oh, boy. Oh, I've got it buried underneath some sleeves. Here it is. All right, let's put this thing up. We've had diff different variations of this thing, uh, but this one is quite interesting. This is Primus, Nashville, Tennessee, the Municipal Auditorium, May 15, 2018, numbered 46 of 100, I think here. No, okay. Yeah, this is the War Memorial. This is the War Memorial, October 25th, a one of one. This is a one of one. It has an, it has an inscription at the bottom, okay? It's uh, signed. Or it has an inscription. At, yeah, this is signed by the artist and it's inscribed, You're a bastard, but you're lucky. That's what it's inscribed down there by the one of one. I don't know if y'all can see that at the bottom, but that's what it is inscribed. It's a one of one. A one of one. I repeat, a one of one. Check a look, take a look at this. War Memorial. Look at the artwork. Incredible. That is a $155 start. Promise. $155 start. That's now up for bid. Promise is $155 start. Okay, so um, I left off by, um, let's see here. Uh, Paul says he just sent me some pics. There's the pics from Paul. Thank you, Paul Pics. Uh, do you have 20th anniversary of Nora Jones? Come away with me, Preston Palace. I do not, Daniel. Madonna 35, are you getting more celebration box sets by Madonna? We're waiting for those to arrive, but there's no confirmation. And Foreigner has a bid for 35 and Madonna 36. Working on a bin, a new vinyl sale bag, just bring by store. Yes, a customer just dropped off a bin today. If you're local and you want to sell vinyl, the best way to do it, uh, the best way to do it is to uh, bring it by the store and drop it off. And me and Paul, probably Paul, will look at it. We just had a customer today drop off a full crate of really, really good stuff, his duplicates and where he's thinning out his collection. Paul will look at it. He'll text you or message you an offer. And then you can, we'll pay you in cash, send you PayPal, however you want your money. We don't really do store credit. We would just rather just pay you, but we can give you store credit and put it on a gift card. So if you want store credit, we can put it on a gift card and then you can use it to pay your invoices. And if you're out of town, you can mail us records. You can pack up some records and mail them to us. And same thing, we'll give you credit and apply it to your invoice, however, on that. So both auctions have bids. And then Paul says... He believes that this one was made especially for the guy that we got these posters from. That's pretty cool. This is a one of one. Hope everybody's paying attention. Primus is a $155 start. If not, I would love to put this on eBay and run it for auction. But right now, it's for auction here just for those 227 people watching. $155 start. Everything in this bin, I know I've yapped a lot since then, is half off sticker. We just jumped up 20 more viewers. Somebody heard half off. Let's go. Half off sticker. Jerry Lee Lewis and Linda Gale Lewis, $5. So I'm going to mark everything in here half off the sticker price. So there's going to be some great deals. Jerry Lee Lewis is $5. America is $5. The name of that album is Hearts. Doing some half off stuff. Doing some half off stuff. Gilbert O'Sullivan. I'm a writer, not a fighter. Gilbert O'Sullivan is $5. Also, Orleans, Let There Be Music. That is $5. Lots of $5 records in here. Frank Zappa is $17.50. No condition notes. Zappa, super clean vinyl. Zappa is $17.50. Tommy Flowers, first on America. This is the first record that's half off. I'm going to put a sticker on it so we know that it is discounted. 
and it is half off sticker. This is the first one that's half off sticker. This is Soda Tommy Flowers. That's America. Five dollars. Jeannie was second. Paul Ogley first on Zappa. Paul Ogley first on Zappa at half off. Then Thomas Sujar. Jim Gray next on Hearts. Kelly next on Zappa. Jerry Lee Lewis first on uh, first to Paul Brothers. Sam Squatch next on Zappa. John Rogaki next on Zappa. Juice Newton Old Flame. $5, Juice Newton. The Guess Who, Power in the Music. The Guess Who is $7.50. Paul McCartney, the Russian album, live in the Soviet Socialist Republic. The CCP, that's only 10 bucks. McCartney is $10. Atlanta Rhythm Section, Underdog. ARS is $5. Okay, now Foreigner earlier only got one bid. I'm going to go ahead and officially call it so to Darren Wallace. Darren, you get the Foreigner for $35. A couple weeks ago when we had all those foreigner records, they were getting like 20 bids per auction. That sold to Darren Wallace for $35. We're also still bidding on Madonna. The last bid that came in on Madonna was $43. So Scott Ham has Madonna for $43. Everybody else is out. Scott Ham has it for $43. Next was Pam Murray on Juice Newton. That's JN. That sold to Pam for $5. Scott Jeffcoat gets Paul McCartney for $10. $10, and Jared Inc. gets Atlanta Rhythm Section for $5. Jason Conklin next on Paul McCartney, then Susie was next. Madonna is at $45, and we have Marty Ballin. That is now $6.50. Original on her sleeve, no condition notes. If I don't say anything about condition, then it's very clean and very nice. Kenny Loggins, $5, not watch. The Blues Busters, except no substitute, with a nice saltine cracker cover, $7.50. And On the Road to Freedom, Alvin Lee and Mylon Lefevre, that is now $7.50. Madonna is at $46 with Scott Ham. Scott Ham has that for $46. If anybody wants this poster, it's a $155 buy it now. A promise, one of one, with an inscription. Only one made. And we think this is specially made for the guy we bought all these posters from. If anybody wants it, 155 War Memorial Auditorium here in Nashville, 2017, October 24th. And it's signed by the artist. That's 155 if anybody wants it. Paul Brothers gets to Kenny Loggins. That is so to Paul Brothers. Madonna has a new bid for 48. Bali and the Boys turn the tide. Shrink wrap and hop sticker. That is now $5. And we have free, as in Paul Rogers and free. All right now, picture disc. Now just $12.50. Free picture disc. The Beatles featuring Tony Sheridan. This is now $10. Some of the first original Beatles recordings. Paul Ogley first on the free picture disc. That's sold to Paul Ogley. Madonna is out with Scott Ham. Antonio V has that for $48. Final call. Next auction. This is a 200 gram sealed pressing of Rush, a show of hands. 200 gram. They don't make these anymore. The last time I ordered them, I got disappointed. They're now pressing them only in 180 gram. This is now this is sealed and it's now up for bid for a $15 start. Amazing live rush, big money subdivisions marathon. Turn the page, Manhattan Project. This is from the Hold Your Fire Tour Mission, Distant Early Mystic Rhythms, Witch Hunt, The Rhythm Method. That's a Neil Peart drum solo, Force Ten, Time Stand Still, Closer to the Heart, Red Sector A, 200 gram sealed. David Tate, second on free. Rush sold to, or excuse me, Beetle sold to Mike Torres. Rush is at 15, 15, 20, 15, and 15. We have Homecoming, Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts, $7.50. Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts, $7.50 on that. And we have Glenn Campbell, Gavelston. Sealed Glenn Campbell. It is on the Pickwick label, but it's only $7.50. Let's put up another poster. We have sold several tonight, but there is another... Let's see what we have here. I don't know what this one's called. It's got this like very tool lookish. Let me bring it up on the big screen and figure see if I can figure out what this is from Tanner's Notes. When I see it, I think of tool. That's the first thing I think of. It's numbered. Let me see if I can find it by the number. See if I can figure out what this thing's called. 42 of 100. Is this it here? Yep, this is it here. This is called the medium. I mean, when I seen it, it just, I immediately thought of Tool. But it's called The Medium. It's a limited edition. This is a variant with a red background. It's numbered 42 of 100. You can see that down at the bottom left. It is signed. The artist is Chet Czar, and it's a rainbow holographic foil. This is a pretty desirable poster. $175 start. Really, really cool when you see it in person. Chet Czar, signed. 
42 of 100, red background, limited edition. It's called the medium. It's called the medium, $175 start. Really cool. All these are really cool. This guy had great poster taste, if that's such a thing. <laughs> poster taste. We have uh, Jerry Lee Lewis is sold, yes. Rush, 20, 22, 25, 30. Robert Phillippe on Glenn Campbell, JC. That's sold to Robert Phillippe. Rush, 32, 35, 34. Susie was second. Rush, 36, 37. And let me go ahead and sell Madonna. Madonna is sold to Antonio V. That's Villa Nueva for $48. And before I put up another auction, I'll go ahead and put up some more half-off stuff very quickly. Let's go ahead and sell Madonna, though. Madonna, that's sold. Let me put that in a new sleeve. Thank you, Antonio V. And Rush, we have two people at 40. Forrest Appleton was first. John Dorsey, second. Let's do Tom Jones, $5. He's in shrink wrap, too. $5 on Tom Jones. Joe Jackson, probably one of his more popular albums, Body and Soul, now just $10. Joe Jackson, that's the half-off price. No condition notes on any of these so far. Starship, Jefferson Starship, $7.50 on Jefferson Starship. And the band, Stage Fright, $17.50. Look, Sterling R.L., Bob Ludwig. That is the original green label this album came out on. $17.50 on that. The band and Atlanta Rhythm Section, always like that cover. Real Tape, Atlanta Rhythm Section, $5 on that. $5 on that. All right, did I put up a poster? I did. This is a $175 start, by the way. The medium, $175 start. Let's get a new auction going. They're bidding on Rush. How about we put up a, uh, let's see here. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. How about a Dolly? Her 12 biggest hits. Now, this is one I don't see as often. It does have a little bit of cover damage to the bottom, but Paul handed me this the other day before he left. He said, you might want to put this up for auction. We don't get it very often. It does have some cover damage, but let's start it for $20. 12 of her biggest number one hits. The vinyl is superb, like near mint minus. Reader's Digest, really cool cover. Has a little bit of damage right there. Got a little wet. Nine to five. Here you come again. Joshua's on here. Islands in the Stream with Kenny Rogers. Love is Like a Butterfly. Jolene, Jolene. What a pretty lady. $20 start on Dolly. Back up to the top. We had Reed Gregory. You got the band. Thank you, Reed Gregory. That's so do you. I still got some albums autographed by members of the band that I still have not sold. We got to do that. Well, hold on a second. There was some stuff before that. Tony Freeman first on. Let me do this in order. Tony Freeman first to Jefferson Starship. Regina Tabor first to Tom Jones. That's so to Regina Tabor. Rush was at 51 with John Dorsey. Reed Gregory got the band. Scott Jeffcoat second, Jared Inc. first to Atlanta Rhythm Section, Edwin Blom second, another $51 bid, another Atlanta Rhythm Section, another Atlanta Rhythm Section, Rush 55, 56, and 55. Next is America, now just $10. I think this was on, I thought it was the green label, but it's the Burbank label. This is a great album, America. That is $10, that's their debut album, $10 on that. And we have the BG Spirits Having Flown. The BGs is $6.50. Spirits Having Flown. John Otten first on the America. There's the BGs. And we have Average White Band. Average White Band is $6.50. Also, Tom Jones. Tom is Love. Tom Jones is $5. Tom Jones. Tom is Love. The Blue Max. The Blue Max is a 1978 UK copy on the Charisma label. I'm getting prog rock vibes. I'm getting prog rock vibes. $8.50 on them. We have Jared McLaughlin first on the Guess Who. That was... Guess Who? That was right here. That's so to Jared McLaughlin. And Tony Freeman first on BGs. That's so to Tony Freeman. Looking for a $20 start on Dolly. Let's go ahead and make this poster a buy it now. No bid. $175. That's called the Medium. It's a limited edition red background. 42 of 100, artist is Chet Czar. He signed it and numbered it. It's a holographic rainbow foil. It's 175 if anybody wants that. 175, looks like an alien. Looks like a robot, something. We have none required, average white band. That is so to none required. Regina Tabor put Tom again for another Tom Jones. Regina scooping up the Toms. Nobody bid on Dolly. Let's go ahead and sell this for $20. I bet somebody would grab it for that. Who wants Dolly? 2-0. It's a bot now if anybody wants it. Update on Rush. 
Forrest Appleton has this for $65. After this, I'm going to put some Rush albums on sale. Yes, you heard me correctly. As soon as this concludes, Forrest has it for $65. Dolly is sold to Robert Phillippe for $20. John Otten, second. Antonio, third. Alexander, fourth. Susie Breedlove, fifth. Jason Conklin, sixth. Tony Bennett's all-time greatest hits, $10. Tony Bennett, all-time greatest hits, that's now $10, two LPs. Derek and the Dominoes, that's Clapton. It's live. Eric, Derek, and the, bleh, Derek and the Dominoes, great stuff there. $17.50 on that. $17.50 on that. Derek and the Dominoes in concert. Let me see what else I have over here in posters. I think most of the concert stuff we have put up, uh, we sold Weird Al, we sold one of the Pink Floyds, we sold the Bear, we sold the Stanley Mouse, we still got 311, uh, Willie sold, Leon sold, Widespread Panic, both of the Division Bell sold, we still got two Metallicas, we still got Promise, we sold Dave Matthews Band, we have Mo, uh, and then another Promise, here's another Promise, and this is also local, this is also local, might be some people that was at this concert. Uh, this is Promise at the Municipal Auditorium, May uh, 15th, 2018. I wonder if Michael Harrell was there. This is the Municipal Auditorium Promise. This is a horizontal poster. I like this one. Look at this. It looks like a fish. It looks like a fish submarine with like a sailor in there and he's smoking a pipe. That's a very interesting poster. Uh, landmine or uh, I guess not landmines, water mines down there. That is a $145 start. Promise, Nashville, Tennessee, 2018. $145 start on that. I like that one, $145. And uh, that is uh, Paul Jackson artwork. Paul Jackson artwork, $145. Okay, so I left off by putting Romy Lou's Tony Bennett. That's so to Romy Lou. Rush is at $69 of Forrest Appleton. Average white band cut the cake. Average white band is $5. Average white band is $5. We have ARS. That's Atlanta Rhythm Section. That's $5. Atlanta Rhythm Section is $5. Atlanta Rhythm Section and the animals. I can't believe no one bought this the first time around. This is Animal Tracks. Clean copy, $10. Tommy Flowers on Average White Band. Jared Inc. on Atlanta Rhythm Section. And Tommy was second on that one. The animals is definitely going to sell. Paul Anka's 21 Golden Hits. $5 on Paul Anka, and another ARS, a rock and roll alternative. This has the hit song, I'm So Into You, on it. $5 on that ARS. Ryan Ramsey first on The Animals, then uh, then Philip, then Debbie, then Jared, and it looks like Tommy first on this ARS, and then Reed next on The Animals, and then Jared next on ARS. Okay, now Rush is at $69 of Forrest Appleton. Thomas Hujar, let me know if you want back in, and let's get a new auction started. Our next new auction is, let me see what else I have back here in the back. Uh, yeah, I haven't ran this. This is the Beach Boys. Um, actually, we've put this up before, but I'm severely going to reduce it, okay? So this is the Beach Boys, Pet Sounds. This All this information is from Paul. He says it's a 1974 U.S. mono. Of course, the 67 or 68 monos are... I guess 68 monos are very difficult to get, or 67s. Um, it's sealed. It just has a couple breaches, a couple breaches in the shrink wrap. Nothing to fret over, especially if you're going to open. A near mint copy just sold for $300 when we tagged this a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. A near mint copy had just sold for $300. The last time I put this up was a $165 start, and a near mint open one had sold for $300. No one bid on it. I'm going to put it up tonight for a $95 start. And if no one bids on it for $95, I'm definitely putting it on Discogs or eBay. $95 start, surely. Maybe it will bring more than $165. It should, if you really want it and if you know what it is. The motto of this is very desirable. One of the greatest albums and one of the most important albums in rock history. That is Pet Sounds. We already have a bid. Fantastic. Antonio V wants Paul Anka. That's sold to Antonio V for $5. Rush is out. Let's officially sell this to Forrest Appleton for $69. That's sold to him. Let me get another auction going, and then I'll start putting some Rush albums on sale. There's a couple I've had for a while, and I'm uh, going to discount them, and I kind of hate to see them go, but they have been on the racks for a while. 
I kind of have a thing wanting to keep Rush in stock here, one of my favorite bands, same thing with Led Zeppelin. But we sell out of Led Zeppelin much faster than we do Rush, but I have stocked a lot of Rush for a long time. Our next auction is Michael Shanker Group Live. This is Michael Shanker Group Live, $35 starting. If you just join us, don't go anywhere because we are clearing out a half off bin. Michael Shanker Group is a $35 start. There's the LP. There's the Japanese insert. There's the cover of Obi. Michael Shanker Group is a $35 start. Carla Bonoff, Restless Nights. Carla Bonoff is $5. The Jets, I Do You, $5 on the Jets. Kansas, Drastic Measures is in shrink wrap. Now just $12.50. Also has a hot sticker on there. I'm going to mute my mic for a second. Sorry, I had to take a finish out that V8. I can those V8s work really well. They kick in very quickly. All right, these have been here. What is today? The 22nd. Is today the 22nd, 23rd? What is today? Today is the. I don't know. Today is the 22nd. Yep, that's what I thought when I walked by this earlier. All right, now keep in mind, I never ever ever discount these. Okay. But I'm going to discount because this, this hit one year old. I've had these for one year, but this is all that I have. $5 off, $5 off, Permanent Waves, the spirit of the radio. These were $39. i will make them $34. And I, at one time, I had like 120 of these. I think that's the initial order I put in. So this is my last one, two, three, four, five. It's taken me almost a year, but I'm down to five copies of Permanent Waves. That one was actually marked February. These are marked February or March 22nd. So it's been, uh, it's been one year since I priced these, and I've sold, I think, 120 of these. I've only got five. Somebody's going to get disappointed. I've only got five. And let me make sure. Yep, I've only got five of these. We do this every once in a while. We'll put Rush on sale, and they will get obliterated. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and these go to Forrest Appleton. $34.99. Make sure we put that in for $34.99. Also, John Otten gets one. Mike Torres gets one. Rami Lucy gets one. And Scott Jeffcoat gets one. Scott Jeffcoat. John Dorsey, you were the stray person. Sorry, I only had five. Now, let's go back up to the top. I left off by Thomas Sujar had the Beach Boys for $95. That's a final call. We had John Otten on Jets. That's so to John Otten at half off. So Jets was $5 to John Otten. Next was what labels the pet sounds on. This is on, uh, well, I can't actually show it to you. It says, because it's sealed, but it says made in USA, sent to Warner Brothers Records. And it's on, there's Brother Records, and of course it's sealed. I can't actually show you the label. But it's, it's the 74 US mono. It's the 74 US mono. Forrest Appleton gets Kansas at half off. We have a bid on Michael Shank Group for 35 the Beach Boys is a 1974 mono sealed. Like I said, the last one sold open near Mint for $300. This is now at $96. New bid, Andrew Eisensmith. And we have one bid on Michael Shanker Group with Jared McLaughlin. Jared has that for $35 final call. I'll do some more rush on sale in just a second. Everything in here is half off sticker. Joe Jackson, night and day. Joe Jackson is $10. Half off sticker crate. Tom Jones, darling. I wonder if Regina's still watching. There's another Tom Jones for $5. Leo Kotke, Chewing Pine. Leo Kotke is $7.50. Chewing Pine, $7.50 for Leo Kotke. Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder is sealed. It's a 1985 alternate rock album. That is now $7.50 for Rolling Thunder. Chili Whack, Opus 10 or Opus X, however they want you to read that. That's $5 for Chili Whack. And the best of Eddie Rabbit is also $5. The best of 80 Rabbit, $5 on that. New bids on the Beach Boys, $96.97, and now $100. Scott Ham first on Joe for Joe Jackson. That's so to Scott Ham. Reed Gregory second. Andrew Eisensmith bid $100 on the Beach Boys. John Otten got the Rolling Thunder. That's so to John Otten. Regina Tabor first on uh, Tom Jones. Regina got Tom Jones. Brian Arrigo on RT. RT was for... RT was for Rolling Thunder. So uh, Brian Arrigo, you were second. Christopher Brush, a third. Jason Conklin on Chili Whack. And then Darren Wallace on Eddie Rabbit. Gregory, Gregory Gasky, excuse me. Next on Chili Whack, 
Beach Boys has bids for 101 and 102. So this is sold then for $35 to Jared McLaughlin. Nice pick up there. That thing is mint. I don't think I've ever had that but Michael Shanker before. That is sold to Jared McLaughlin for $35. Now, like I said, the last time I had this Beach Boys up, we were starting it, we thought, less than retail at $165. And we restarted this one at $95. I knew we'd sell it tonight. All right, here is um, my next... Yep, these were all marked on the same day, too. Boy, I hate to see these go. I hate to see these go, but... Uh, oh, boy. These are in the baggies, too. These are QRP pressings. They're 180 gram, but these are QRP pressings. Fly by night, rush. $5 off, $34. they have been here one year, $34. I don't think I've ever discounted them unless somebody came in during an in-store sale and, and, and took advantage of that. $34.99. Rush, fly by night. Rush, fly by night. I only have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Man, what a great album, too. What awesome artwork. All right, I've only got five of those. Okay, now, uh, Beach Boys got up to 120. Forrest Appleton, I forgot I've got Rush if the other guy wants it. Okay, so first of all, let's do that before we get too far. We got a put back on permanent waves, and Scott Jeffcoat is putting this back, and that means this is going to go to John Dorsey, if that's okay with you, John. John Dorsey, you're going to get permanent waves for $34.99. John Dorsey gets permanent waves for $34.99. So John Dorsey, that's going to go to you for $34.99. And now let's officially tag these, also $34.99. Forrest Appleton was first, and then Michelle Miller was second. Brian Arrigo was third. Jeannie Potts was fourth. And John Dorsey gets this one as well. John Dorsey gets this one as well. And then next was Jeff Malwitz, Mike Torres, Paul Ogley, Reed Gregory, and Tony Raymond. I had five people back up and only had five copies to begin with. Now, an update on the Sealed Beach Boys mono. Sealed Beach Boys mono, Thomas Hujar is at $120. $120 on that. We'll do another one of those in just a second. But for right now, I've got Tony Carey, Blue Highway. Tony Carey is only $5 doing a half-off bin. We have the Baroque Connection, the New World Ensemble, conducted by Ettore Strawata. That is now $5. That's a Baroque collection. Walter Carlos by request. Walter Carlos is $7.50. The Sealed Beach Boys is now at $121 with Andrew Eisensmith. Eddie Adcock and the Talk of the Town. That's an interesting looking cover. $5 on that. Let's get a new Japanese auction going. Our next Japanese auction is going to be a soundtrack. Very cool here. This is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Let me go ahead and show this since it just accidentally got shown. I know somebody's going to immediately buy it. It's Genesis Foxtrot. Genesis is now just $10. It's now just $10. And this is a 1972 Sonic Press. There is a small chip on the edge. Just a small chip on the edge. It doesn't, affect, it doesn't affect playback, but just be aware it has a little bit of a chip there. So I know that's going to be an instant seller. But first, here's Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a $35 start. The vinyl is pristine. The original soundtrack, music by the legendary John Williams. Beautiful cover, thick gatefold quality with a Japanese insert. That is a $35 start. That's the Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I left off by saying Beach Boys 121. Jared McLaughlin got the Tony Carey at half off. That's so to Jared McLaughlin. Beach Boys 123. Curtis Marachi gets the Genesis. Then Paul Ogley. Then Dennis Daly. And then Christopher Brusha. That's where we're at on those. Next is Lee Greenwood's Greatest, Heat, Greatest Hits featuring God Bless the USA. $5 on that. Sound effects. I got two different ones. $6.50 and $7.50. One of them's in shrink wrap. <laughs> When I'm in shrink wrap, so two different sound effects records there. Ernest Tubb Record Shop is $7.50. Ernest Tubb, Ernest Tubb Record Shop, a 1960 mono pressing, and we have Leo Kotke Regards from Chuck Pink. Leo Kotke is $7.50. New bid on the Beach Boys for $125. And let's go ahead and show this Primus poster. This is a buy it now for $155 if anybody wants it. Primus, that's a local show here. And that's a really cool looking poster. If anybody wants that, it is up for grabs. Up for grabs on those. Up for grabs on those. So, all righty. Fantastic. Excellent. 
Okay. There we go. Promise is available. You know what else is available for $34.99? You know what else is available for $34.99? Signals by Rush. I got a stack of these. Maybe I have enough for everybody this time. $34.99. $34.99. dollars gram Rush Signals. $34.99. I've just got one word for you. That's subdivisions, okay? Subdivisions. This is, I think they bill these at 2000, yeah, they bill these as 2015 remasters, but they're, this is a uh, fairly recent pressing from last year. New World Man, Chemistry, The Analog Kid, $34.99. That's a classic. Okay, so let me figure out where I left off. Let me set these off to the side because i got to do some other stuff in order first, and then I'll count those out. So we have um, Genesis, Genesis, and then Beach Boys, 125. Larry Smith wanted E.T. for Ernest Tubb. That's so to Larry Smith. Alex Kane wants both FXs, both sound effects. That's so to Alex Kane, sold and sold. Lucas wants uh, Leo Kotke. That's so to Lucas. Beach Boys got a new bid for 127, 128, and then there's the rush. But my crate over here is pretty full. And so before I try packing all these in there, let me just set that there and let me go grab a new empty crate to put these rush albums in to start off the bin for $34.99. So once again, on sale rush, $34.99. And these things are weird. I had them, pro there's like three different batches. Some of them were marked 39. Some of them were marked 38, and then there was a few that were marked 36. But either way, they're all 34.99. I, I hardly ever put them on sale either way. So, uh, Forrest Appleton gets Rush. That's the first one. Next one is so to John Dorsey. John Dorsey was second, and then we have Rami Lou gets a Rush. Rami Lou gets a Rush. 34.99. John Otten, y'all gonna be listening to some good music. John Otten gets a Rush. Next is Mike Torres. Mike Torres gets a subdivisions, uh, signals, I mean. Jeff Malwitz gets a signals. That's so to Jeff Malwitz. Next is Daniel Cody. Daniel Cody gets a rush. And then Brian Arrigo gets a rush. That's so to Brian Arrigo. Now, I actually have leftovers. I've got leftovers. i got four copies left. Paul Ogley gets one. I've got three left. Surely we can sell out of them. 180 gram remaster. Three copies of signals left. Rush, 180 gram. Um, you see what they bring at auction after they go out of stock. If these things go out of stock, the demand is always high for these because OGs just like we, they get obliterated whenever we put them out. They get instantly sold. Thomas has the high bid on the Beach Boys for 130. Now no one bid on Close Encounters, so this is a buy it now for $35. Close Encounters of the Third Kind is a buy it now for $35. John Williams soundtrack. $35. That's a buy now if anybody wants it. $35. Paul Brothers gets a signals. We're down to two copies. We're down to two copies of signals. And Antonio V gets one. That's a $35 buy now. We're down to one copy. $34.99. $34.99. One copy of Rush left. Close Encounters is a buy now for $35. Beach Boys is at $132. Let's go through some more half-off records. The Stones, Emotional Rescue, now just $10. It's in VG Plus condition. The Stones, that's in VG Plus condition, $10 on the Stones. ZZ Top, EX condition, this is now just $11. The Stones, EX condition, $11 on that. And Leo Kotke, Greenhouse, this is $6.50. And EX condition, $6.50 on that. And Black Oak, Arkansas, that's in VG condition. It is on the original yellow Atco label, a Presswell Press. That is a $5 buy now. Now, I left off. We uh, Let's see what happened here. We did Signals and Signals. Beach Boys, 131. Beach Boys, 132. Beach Boys, 135. Dennis Daly was first to the Stones. And then Curtis Marachi. Paul Brothers gets the Close Encounters of the Third Kind. For a $35 buy now, thank you, Paul. Kelly Cook, you were third on the Stones. Tim Kingsley was fourth. Scott Jeffcoat, first on ZZ Top. Dennis Daly, you were uh, you were next on the Stones. Or no, you uh, you got the Stones, Dennis. Dennis Daly, you got the Stones. Then you put SOT for S Stones again, but you got it. And then um, ZZ Top went to Scott Jeffcoat. Tommy Flowers was second, Chris Frazier third, W.E. Mounties fourth, Mike Torres fifth, Rob Long sixth, Dan Thomason seventh, Darren Wallace eighth, John Otten first on Black Oak, Arkansas. That's so to John Otten. We have Muscala, as in Humuscala. 
That's I'm Not Afraid. It's in VG condition. It's now $6. It has a hop sticker on it. It's on the blue thumb label. Update on the Beach Boys. Thomas Hujar just bid $136. let us put up another auction. $136 on that. $136 on that. And our next auction is going to be a Japanese pressing of Duran Duran 7 and the Ragged Tiger. I feel like we had one of these two nights ago when we did these again, or the last time we did these, but here's another one. This is Duran Duran 7 and the Ragged Tiger, a Japanese pressing. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. Near mint minus and pristine on this, Duran Duran 7 and the Ragged Tiger. There's the OP. There's the Japanese booklet. There's the cover and Obi. $35 start on that. All right, Beach Boys, 136, now 137. Christopher Brusha on Hum Hume Muscella. I believe so. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Half off sticker. These are half off sticker. Finishing up the bin here, the Woman in Red soundtrack. That's now just $5. Music by Stevie Wonder. $5 on that. In memoriam, Josh White. Josh White Memorial Album. VG Condition, $5 on Josh White. And we have Kenny Loggins alive. Kenny Loggins is in VG Plus Condition, $5. Kenny Loggins is in VG Plus condition, $5. Danny Thomason on WIR, that was Woman in Red, that's so to Danny Thomason. Tommy Flowers first on Josh White, that's so to Tommy Flowers. We have Beach Boys at $139. We also have a bid on Duran Duran, Scott Olsen bid $35, so that's going once, going twice. Shelly Bedwell, you were third on Woman in Red, and this is Sinatra, VG condition. $5. That's definitely an earlier Sinatra album there. VG condition, $5 on Sinatra. Sinatra. Okay, so um, you can go ahead and comment from across the room. I've, these are just a few dollars off, but I will discount them. I only have five copies, and that's Rush 2112. $34.99. $34.99. Rush 2112. $34.99, just FYI. I'll go ahead and go through everything I have left. These are $34.99. 180 gram, $34.99. Rush is $34.99. If you don't have one already, a few dollars off. I, I actually, I don't think I've had those too long because they were out of stock forever. Um, finally got back in just 180 gram gatefold. First to Sinatra, though, we had a Beach Boys at 140. Michelle Miller on Sinatra. That's so to Michelle Miller. Chris Veronzo was second. Ryan Ramsey third. Andrew Eisensmith fourth. And now 2112. I think I got five of them. They're $34.99. Also $34.99. Forrest Appleton. Mike Torres. John Dorsey. Scott O'Man. That leaves one twenty-one twelve. And I have actually two signals. I've got another copy of signals over here in another crate uh, that I was going to auction tonight. So I actually have two signals left and 121.12. Next is the Romantics in Heat with the hit song, Talking in Your Sleep. Talking in Your Sleep was VG Condition, $5, the Romantics. And we have two more Rush comments. Let me see. I had four, right? Forrest Appleton, Mike Torres, John Dorsey, Scott O'Man. Paul Ogley gets the fifth one. Paul Ogley gets the fifth one here. If that was for 2112, that's so to Paul Ogley for $34.99. John Otten, you were six. I only had five of those. And uh, we have, um, if anybody wants signals, be sure to let me know by just saying signals. I do have two copies of signals left for $34.99. Okay, then we have uh, Chris Frazier first on the Romantics. It says J-P-R-O-M. I don't know about the J-P, but there is a R-O-M in there for Romantics. So I think he was first. Then he put Romantics later. So Chris, uh Gets the Romantics for $5, and then Dennis Daly was second, Michelle Miller third, and Jason Conklin, then Tony Freeman. Next LP is Jackson Brown, Hold Out. Jackson Brown's in VG condition for $5. The Kinks, low budget. VG plus condition, $9. It was $17.99, now $9. And Encore of Golden Hits, The Platters, VG condition, $5. Encore of Golden Hits, The Platters, VG condition, $5. How about... Uh, who is this? Arno Pace. Pace and Hall. The songs of Raymond E. Hall and Arno Pace. VG Plus Condition, $5. Jackie Reynolds first on the Kinks. Kelly Cook was second. Uh, it's been a long time ago, but there was only one bidder, and this is so to Scott Olson for $35. Scott, you get the Duran Duran for $35. I almost forgot about that over there or back there. This is so to Scott Olson for $35. Scott, nice pick up there. 3-5. That's so to you. 
And where did we get to on the Beach Boys? The last bit I see is Thomas Hujar at 142. Andrew Eisensmith, you're out. Thomas Hujar has it for 142. 142. And let's go through a few more records in here. First is Kid Flash. He's in effect. Kid Flash is in VG condition. $5 on Kid Flash. It is in VG condition. Jimmy Reed at Carnegie Hall. That's a 61 mono. One disc is VG Plus. Disc 2 is in VG. Now just $12.50. I repeat, a 61 mono. New bid on the Beach Boys, 143. Shakedown gets Kid Flash. Jason Conklin was second. And we have Catch the Wind by Donovan. EX condition, now $6.50. Donovan, EX, $6.50 on Donovan. Donovan, okay, now this one I never put on sale because when they go out of stock, they're tough to get. But I've got four, I've got five copies. These have been around here since October and September of last year. They were originally $47.99. Now they're $39.99. I'll mark these down $7 off. $39.99, Rush Vapor Trails. That's the remix version. The original mix is not in print. I think everybody prefers this remixed and updated remaster. It is $39.99 for Vapor Trails. $39.99. So I've got five Vapor Trails available. Rush, these are $47 originally. Okay, back up at the top, we pulled Kid Flash for Shakedown. Jason was second. New bit on Beach Boys for $144. Christopher Brush, a first on Jimmy Reed. That is so to Christopher Brusha. Surfo Caster was second. Beach Boys 145. I do not have any new kids on the block. And now the Rush, which makes sure these go in for $39.99. Forrest Appleton gets one. Also, John Dorsey gets one. John Dotton gets a Rush Vapor Trails. Kelly Cook gets a Rush Vapor Trails. And Jason Short gets a Rush Vapor Trails. Guess what? Those are all sold. And now the Beach Boys is at 145. Thomas Hujar, you're out. We have Close to the Edge, one of my favorites. VG Plus Condition, $7.50. Close to the Edge, that's yes. Classic lineup, too. And another Zappa. We had one of these earlier in the bin. This one's EX Condition, just $13.50. The other one was Near Mint, $17.50. This one's EX, $13.50. That's EX, $13.50. Zappa, orchestral favorites. I'll tell you what, this crate's definitely worthy of a recap because it was really, really full. And there's only about a third of it left. And uh, next on the agenda, by the way, is we're going to go through a $6.99 bin. i got to step to the back and get it. First thing I'm going to do is throw away this empty can. And I'm definitely going to Waffle House tonight. I know I'm a long ways away from there. we still got hours of live streaming left. However, I didn't go last night. I forgot we had ordered pizzas. And I had a whole pizza to eat after the sale last night. So just so you all know. We didn't, I didn't go to Waffle House last night, so I got to go tonight. All right, Beach Boys, we had a bid for 146. Christopher Allen, first on yes. Christopher Allen, first on yes. Curtis Marachi, second. Kelly Cook, third. Uh, John Rogaki, first on Zappa. Jason Conklin, second. Then Thomas Sujar, then Jared Inc., then Brian Arrigo, and Paul Brothers said no. And details on Derek again. Christopher Allen wants Jackson Brown. Christopher Allen gets uh, Jackson Brown. And the Beach Boys is at 147. The Beach Boys is at 147. Okay, so I'll go through this bin. I got to show Derek and the Dominoes to Surfocaster. Let me see what I have over here on this rack. Um, boy, it's getting thin now. The the only thing left is something that I've had always had a bunch of, but I'll show them. This I had more of these than any Rush album, uh, but here's what I have left. I've had these. Yep, now over a year. I've discounted these multiple times because I've had so many, but that is one of the best sounding ones I've heard, and that's Power Windows. And I'll do $7 off those, $29.99 for Power Windows. $29.99 if you don't have one already. I feel like I've sold everybody one at this point, but that's all that I have left, Power Windows. What a great album. Boy, when that thing starts off, if you got it cranked up loud, be, be prepared or you'll literally scare yourself like I did. It, it, it's like it explodes or something, you know, when it comes on. But that's $29.99. Let's put up our next uh, Japanese pressing. This is John Lennon Shaved Fish. John Lennon is a hits compilation, like Imagine and Whatever Gets You Through the Night and talking about those mind games and number nine dreams. It also has his Christmas song on here, Give Peace a Chance, uh, Instant Karma's on here, Mother. It's a $35 start. 
It's a $35 start. The vinyl's near mint pristine. There's the Japanese insert. There's also the original inner sleeve with lyrics. Imagine all their people. And there's Shaved Fish, John Lennon. It's a hits compilation, $35 start on that. Before I get too deep, we have, we sold Jackson Brown, right? Yep, that was the last thing I pulled. Beach Boys, 147. Beach Boys, 148. Beach Boys, 150. Rush goes in for $29.99. First, Forrest Appleton. I think he's got one of all of them. John Dorsey gets one. Brian Arrigo also gets a rush. Beach Boys, 152. Scott Ham also gets a rush. John Lennon's at 35. So I've got three copies of Power Windows left. Here's what I've got left on the Discount Rush albums. Three copies of Power Windows left. Make that four copies because I have one over here. Four copies of Power Windows left. And I have two copies of Signals left. So if you want Signals, let me know. If you want Power Windows, let me know. Those are available. All right, two bids on John Lennon and the Beach Boys one more time. Actually, just got a new bid, 153. Let's go through this half-off bin one more time. Wow, I can't believe it's 11.30. 11.30, we got 207 people still watching. Fantastic. So, we have I'm a Rider, Not a Fighter, Gil Gilbert O'Sullivan. Gilbert O'Sullivan is $5. We have Orleans, Let There Be Music. Orleans is $5. This is a half-off bin. This is what's left. Marty Ballin has the original on her sleeve, $6.50 for Marty. We have the Blues Busters, $7.50 for the Blues Busters. Alvin Lee and Mylon Fever, that's also $7.50. If I don't say anything about condition, then it's a nice record. EX Plus are better. Bali and the Boys, Turn the Tide, that was $5. Also, Homecoming, that's Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts, $7.50 for Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts. Joe Jackson, Body and Soul, Joe Jackson's $10. Joe Jackson is $10. Dollars for Joe Jackson. The Blue Max is eight fifty. What's your eBay page? Uh, I really don't know. Maybe just Coletco. I don't think we have anything on there for sale. I, I don't. I haven't listed anything on eBay in months. It may be some old stuff that's on there, but uh, that's the only thing I'm aware of. Jennifer Kelly Cook on JJ for Joe Jackson. That's sold to Kelly Cook. I really don't know it. I guess it's just Coletco or Colette. Maybe collect one of our Twitters, like Coletco Live. That may be what it is. Derek and the Domino. Somebody asked about this earlier. This is a 2LP, $17.50. Derek and the Dominoes in concert, $17.50. Derek and the Dominoes in concert, $17.50. We also have Carla Bonoff, Restless Nights. So this is a VG Plus or better jacket. It does have a saw mark, but there's no condition notes on the vinyl, $17.50. Andrew Eisensmith. You're out on the Beach Boys. Thomas has it for $155. Also, John Lennon, Christopher Onzo bid first. So, Jason Conklin, you've been outbid. Christopher Onzo came in first, and no one else has bid since then. Final call for $35. Leo Kotke, Chew and Pine, $7.50 actually on that one. $7.50 on that one. The Baroque Connection was $5. New bid on the Beach Boys for $156. Walter Carlos by request, $7.50. Eddie Adcock and the Talk of the Town. $5 on that. New bid on John Lennon for $36. Lee, Green, Lee Greenwood's Greatest Hits is $5. That's his greatest hits. Also, Leo Kotke Greenhouse, EX Condition, $6.50. Kenny Loggins Alive. That's a 2LP, Live Kenny Loggins. It is now just $5 for 2LPs of Live Kenny Loggins music. The Platters, Encore of Golden Hits, $5. This is the songs of Raymond E. Hall and Arno Pace. VG Plus, $5. And... Catch the Fire, excuse me, Catch the Wind, Donovan, EX Condition, $6.50. Nice. Very, very nice. I just stepped up to the door to make sure it was still raining, or to see if it was still raining. It is. Not too heavy, though. I think that's why our internet's got a lot better all right, so uh, John Lennon, 36, Beach Boys, 158, John Lennon, 40, Kelly Cook wants Lee Greenwood. That is sold to Kelly Cook. Paul Brothers, second, Danny Thomas, and third. Rob Long gets the Kenny Loggins live. Scott Jeffcoat on D, 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 Derek and the Dominoes. That's sold to Scott Jeffcoat, and J uh, Jared McLaughlin gets Donovan. All right, so uh, Beach Boys is at 158. Andrew Eisensmith, you're out. Never mind, he just bid 159. And now, 
Jason Conklin, you're back out on John Lennon again. Christopher Onzo has it for 40. Does anybody else want anything left in this crate? Last call on anything left in this crate. Last and final call. If not, I'm going to condense it with uh, some of the new stuff from tonight. Beach Boys at 165. That was my original starting bid about a month ago. We have officially hit my original starting bid on that of 165. I have a feeling it's still going to go up from there, but we'll see. We will see what happens. Gene Brown wants uh, Marty Ballin. Uh, signals was $34.99. Signals was $34.99 and Power Windows is twenty. Power Windows is $29.99. Beach Boys 166. Gene Brown wants Marty Ball and both Leo Cock Keys for 11. Sure. All right, so let me pull those out right quick. There's Leo Cock Key. Um, there's Marty Ballin. And where's the other Leo Cock Key? That was Greenhouse. I bet I skipped over it. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. So let's sell these to Preston Rose, uh, however we want to put those in, $5.50 and $5.50, I guess. And this is so to Gene Brown at half off. Uh, did Jason Conklin say in or out on John Lennon? I was waiting for him. Christopher Onzo had it for 40 and I never did hear back from him. I'm reaching for it. I never did hear back from Jason Conklin. Chris Ferranzo had this for 40 Let me make sure. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Chris Ferranzo for $40. All right, that's sold to Christopher for $40. Nice. Imagine all the people. Do we have any Stevie Nicks? Uh, yes and no. I'm sure we do, but I have no idea where they're at. So I actually can't get to them right now is the best way to answer that. Beach Boys is at 171. Beach Boys is at 171. Let me set this over here. And uh, let me step to the back and get that discount bin. Everybody let me know where you're watching from. Late on this Saturday night, thanks for joining us. We still got over 200 viewers and we're approaching midnight. I have a feeling a lot of people's on ready to see some movie posters. I am too, uh, but we still got a little bit of more vinyl to go through and more auctions. Please let me know where you're watching from. I would greatly like to know. I'm always curious. Nice to see that the internet is still working. The internet is still working. Uh, we got viewers that tune in somehow through the power of Facebook. People find our page. So thank you. I'm going to mute my mic and step to the back and grab some discount records and I'll be right back. All right, look what I found. I have found another box set, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show it, because we have sold, I, I've been literally trying to find more box sets. I've been trying to find more box sets, right? We've sold everything. I have found one more because it's on the rush right. I'm going to put it up for sticker price, and we'll see what happens, okay? If anybody wants it. I've sold several, a bunch actually, at this price, $149.99. Let me tell you the price first, $149.99. It is Rush Clockwork Angels Tour, 5 LP box set, $149.99. That's Rush, $149.99, the Clockwork Angels. I have found another box set that's $149.99, sold to Forrest Appleton. Now, if anybody wants this next record, put MP 
for moving pictures. Here's my next trick on sale, a few dollars off, moving pictures, $34.99, 180 gram. Red Barchetta, Tom Sawyer, YYZ, 180 gram remaster. That's for moving pictures. Make sure you put MP or moving pictures or something like that so I know what you're looking for. I've only got three of them. $34.99, I've only got three of them. Now, I left off way up here at the top. I left up at the top and we pulled Marty Ballin, we pulled Leo Kotke. Beach Boys had bids for 166, 170, 171, 175. We have viewers from New York, Ohio. We have Indiana, Georgia, Indiana. We have viewers from Utah. It is Friday night, not Saturday night, Friday night. Canada, California, South Carolina. Andrew Eisensmith is out on the Beach Boys. Thomas Hujar has this for $175. It's a 1974 sealed monocopy. The last one that sold near mint was for $300. Thomas has that for $175, final call. Next was, we have viewers in Kansas City, Oklahoma. More viewers in Canada. Robert's watching out in California, Minnesota, East Tennessee. Paul's watching from his bedroom, Florida, Indiana. Tony Freeman wants a rush signals. Let me tag one of these for Tony Freeman. Rush signals. This is sold to Tony Freeman for $34.99. Tony, you get a rush signals for $34.99. We got viewers in West Virginia. We got viewers from Planet X and Space. Rob's watching over in the Netherlands. We have uh, Rush, that was the box set, that went to Forrest Appleton. Debbie was second, and now moving pictures for $34.99. We have one for Antonio, one for Forrest Appleton, and one for John Dorsey. And that means, Brian Arrigo, you were fourth, and I only had three of those. So moving pictures is sold out. Let me officially go ahead and sell moving, or go ahead and sell Pet Sounds. This is sold for $175 to Thomas Hujar. Thank you, Thomas, that's sold to you. And we're going to start going through some records here. Everything in this bin is $6.99. That is $7 minus one penny or one cent or minus .01. $6.99. That's everything in this crate. Each individual record, not the entire crate. Each record is $6.99. First, we have Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airman live from deep in the heart of Texas. That is now just $6.99. And 99 cents. It was 1999. Jay Giles Bloodshot. Jay Giles, six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Everything in here is six ninety-nine. And the vintage years, Dale Shannon, the vintage years, Dale Shannon, two LP white label promo, two LP white label promo, Dale Shannon compilation, six dollars and ninety-nine cents. And Santana Amigos. Amigos is in VG condition, also six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Santana Amigos, that is six dollars and ninety-nine. Cent six ninety nine on that. Okay. Um. Okay, and let's see what I have left of Rush. Well, what I have left from Rush is all recent restocks, and I've already sold a couple tonight at sticker price, which was Hold Your Fire. So what I'll do here in just a second, I'll show you what I have left in Rush, but I've only got one copy of one album, one copy of another album. And then the other one I literally just priced two weeks ago. And then I've got uh, two of another one, which is now out of stock, and I can't order more. So I'll show you what I have left in Rush. However, there'll be sticker price because some of them I can't replace. And the other, a few of them I can't replace, and the other one I just got in last week. So uh, no reason to discount it because it was out of stock for a while. But I will show them. Let me go ahead and pull the next two Japanese auctions, which is Pat Benatar and let's go ahead and pull this Agent Orange. This is Agent Orange, and I got a sealed, couple sealed records to put up as well, but uh, I'm gonna put these up for auction in just a second. Everything in here is $6.99. First, we have Chris Ferranzo. I'm gonna put a sticky note on these, so these officially start $6.99. Rebecca, or whoever watches this sale, usually Rebecca or Jake's been re-watching these and tagging everything. That's sold to Christopher Onzo for $6.99. And then we have Jason Conklin on Jay Giles Band. That's sold to Jason Conklin for $6.99. Larry Smith on DS for Dell Shannon. Thank you, Larry. That's sold to you for $6.99. Burt second. And then Jason Conklin first on uh, Santana. Jared McLaughlin next on uh, Dell Shannon. Christopher uh, Brusha on AM. Christopher Brusha on AM. And that was, um, uh, what was that? That might have been something I've already sold. Let me swap out crates right quick. We are doing posters tonight, yes. We are doing posters tonight. That is correct. That is correct. 
All right, let me put that crate there and let me get a new one started. That one filled up very quick with all the rush that was on sale. So let me go ahead and do these right here. Chad, I'll take one each of the remaining Rush albums. Christopher Cross. Uh, Jen, whatever we have for sale is right here in this bin, and I have no idea what's in here. Neither does anybody watching. Could there be a Christopher Cross album here? There's a really good chance. We don't know, though. Everything is $6.99. Give me one second on that, Forrest. We have John Denver back home again, VG Plus condition, $6.99 on John Denver back home again. Rick Springfield living in Oz, no condition notes on Rick Springfield. This has the original under sleeve with it. Rick Springfield is $6.99. And we have Glenn Fry, no fun allowed. Glenn Fry is $6.99, no fun allowed. Also, Todd Rundgren Runt, Todd Rundgren's in VG Plus condition, $6.99. And Steven Steele's 2, VG Plus condition, $6.99. But yes, we're doing movie posters as soon as this crate's over. Probably as soon as this crate's over, or maybe we'll do one. I've got another half one in the back I really want to wipe out. But first, let's get some auctions rolling. Agent Orange. Agent Orange, wow. When you least expect it, no condition notes, $35 start. Agent Orange. Agent Orange. Super clean vinyl, no condition notes on the vinyl or cover, $35 start on Agent Orange. And then we have Pat Benatar, Live from Earth, a Japanese pressing of Pat Benatar, Live from Earth, no condition notes, the vinyl, as you would expect from Japan, near mint minus and pristine. It has the Japanese book with it, $35 start, $35 start, Live from Earth. Which band did Glenn Fry play in? That was the Eagles. The Eagles. We have Pat Benatar. That is a $35 start as well. Japanese pressing. And do you have Rush Through Time? I do not have Rush Through Time. I feel like I forgot something in between all that. Yes, I got some Japanese buy now. Before I show the Rush, before I do any of that, I've got a couple records over here that we've already sold tonight and I have duplicate copies of. I've already sold two of these tonight. Here's two more. If anybody wants them, they're both pristine. They're $45, Journey Frontiers. I got two different versions. I've got this one and I got that one. If anybody wants them, they're $45. Buy it now on Journey Frontiers. Buy it now on Journey Frontiers. They're Japanese pressings, first come, first serve. $45 start on those. $45 start on those. Now, back to the half-off stuff, or excuse me, $6.99. These are $6.99. Christopher Brusha gets the Todd Rundgren. That sold to Christopher Brusher. John Dorsey got Stephen Steele's. So those are sold and sold. We still got Glenn Fry, Rick Springfield, and John Denver in there. The Alvin Lee Band, Free Fall, a 1980 pressing, $6.99 for Alvin Lee. And Gonzalez, Haven't Stopped Dancing. Gonzalez is $6.99 for Gonzalez. That is $6.99. And we have Linus Pauling on Fallout and Nuclear War. That's a spoken word record on Fallout and Nuclear War, $6.99. We got a bid on Agent Orange for $35, and we have a bid on Pat Benatar for $35. So those are final call. Jen, Alonzo, new viewer, new bidder, has the bid on Pat Benatar for $35. We do $7 in limited shipping. That's for all week. We do this six nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes we do a Sunday show. Sometimes we do a Sunday show. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring over a stack of Rush albums. These are all sticker price. I got to pull out Forrest Appleton's. He wants a couple, uh, one copy of all these. I think there's four or five different ones. Make sure you comment the name of the album. If you comment Rush, I'll have to skip over your comment. So if you want one of these, make sure you comment the name of the album, okay? Make sure you comment the name of the album. First, Paul Brothers wants John Denver. John Denver is $6.99. That is sold to Paul Brothers. We have new bids on Pat Benatar for $37.40 and now $42 with John Heron. This first record is Hold Your Fire. I have one extra copy. This one here is sold to Forrest Appleton. So if you want this, comment Hold or Hold Your Fire or H-U-F, H-Y-F. This one's sold to Forrest Appleton, $36.99. $36.99. I got one copy of Rush Exit Stage Left. One copy, $49.99. 2 LP Live Rush. If you want this one, comment Exit Stage Left. Make sure you comment the name of the album. This one is sold to Forrest Appleton. That's a copy of Exit Stage Left. That's sold to Forrest Appleton. And then here's the most recent restock I got in, a Farewell to Kings, 180 gram remaster. It looks like I've got four extra copies. This one is sold to Forrest Appleton. Rush, a Farewell to Kings. 
And this is my only copy of Hemispheres, so this is sold to Forrest Appleton. Hemispheres. Now, if you see me sell out of something, some of these I still could get. So if you see me sell out of, like this is my only copy of Hemispheres, let me know and we can put you on a waiting list, okay? Because I may can get some more of these. This is my only copy of Caress of Steel. That's also sold to Forrest Appleton for $34.99. And I've only got one copy of the 2112, Rush 2112. This is the 40th anniversary, the 40th anniversary 3LP, 200 gram, 200 gram version, $64.99. I've got two of those, so now I only have one because that's also sold to Forrest Appleton. So Forrest Appleton got a Hold Your Fire, an Exit Stage Left, a Farewell to Kings, a Hemispheres, a Caress of Steel, and a Rush 2112. And I've only got one extra of those. So let's go through here and get caught up in the comments. Let me set these off to the side for a second. Let me go back up to the top of where I was. Paul Brothers got John Denver. Pat Benatar got 42. When's the next Corn and Knife Currency Show? It should be this Sunday, Jenny. I think for the first time, I finally don't have anything going on on Sunday. It's like my only night uh, that I don't have anything like planned except coins and knives, which I usually try to do. So, uh, but I'm usually here working anyway. Josh Phillips also bid 45 on Pat Benatar. Let's give Hold Your Fire to Tony Freeman. Tony Freeman gets that last copy of Hold Your Fire. Pat Benatar, 38, but we already had a bid of 45. Brian Arrigo got Hemispheres and Kelly Cook got Hemispheres, but we only had one copy of that. So Brian and Kelly, I'll put you on a wait list if you say so. Kelly Cook got a Kings, though. Farewell to Kings. That's so to Kelly Cook. We have John Dorsey getting that last copy of 2112. And Davey Blair, you were next. And we have another person wanting 2112. And so Debbie Blair and John Otten. That's for the deluxe edition, 40th anniversary. So if anybody wants on a waiting list of anything we sold out of, let me know. Because the only thing left is 2112. Make sure you put in the comments what waiting list you want on for any Rush album we sold out of tonight. So Rebecca can write that down. Because there's two different 2112s. There's the standard and then this anniversary edition. And then there's three Farewell to Kings left for $34.99. There's a one exit stage left for $49.99. And then on sale, on sale is Power Windows. Power Windows is $29.99. That's our last four copies. Last four copies of Power Windows, those are on sale. And then Signals, last copy of that, $34.99. $34.99. Okay. And uh, somebody asked, who got the deluxe edition of 2112? Uh, let's see here. Did I not pull it out? Let me figure out who got that. Hold on a second. I never did tag it for somebody. Hold on a second. There it is right there. 2112. This went to John Otten. John Otten was first. Yep, because I said... Oh, hold on a second. No, who was first? Uh, 20, John Dorsey. John Dorsey was first. John Dorsey was first on 2112. That's so to John Dorsey. Then Debbie. I remember saying Debbie's name next. Then Debbie and then John Otten. John Dorsey got that one. Debbie Blair wants a farewell to Kings, and that is sticker price. That's $34.99. That's so to Debbie Blair. They're still bidding on Pat Benatar. Josh Phillips is at $65. And uh, Agent Orange got a new bid. Uh, who was the first bidder? Christopher Onzo bid 38. J John Heron, you're outbid on Agent Orange, by the way. Okay, sorry, that's a lot of activity. But uh, very quickly, the uh, Rush albums I have left, Exit Stage left, Farewell to Kings, Power Windows, and Signals. That's it. No Clockwork Angels, nope. My Rush bin over here is empty, or my Rush rack. My Rush rack is empty. That's sad. Very, very sad. Uh, I got to order stuff ASAP. Those just got obliterated. <laughs> that happens. I probably could have sold them and not even put them on sale, but uh, on sale is better for everybody, right? I usually sell more, and y'all get a deal. Benatar is at $70. Now, Christopher Onzo has got Agent Orange at 38 John Heron, let me know if you want back in. Well, there'll be a spring. Uh, we're we're going to do a $1 sidewalk sale. If not next weekend, then the next. We are running out of room. Uh, usually when we buy a big collection like we just did today and yesterday, we have a spring cleaning for sure. $6.99. Everything in this bin is $6.99. $6.99. Ruth Brown, taking care of business. 
Everything in here is on sale for $6.99. There's Ruth Brown. We'll go ahead and finish up this bin. Brinsley and Schwarz, Golden Greats. Brinsley and Schwarz, Golden Greats. That's a 1974 UK. Now just $6.99. That's a major markdown on that one. Brewer and Shipley, Shake Off the Demon. Brewer and Shipley, Shake Off the Demon. That is $6.99. John Hammond, Footwork. John Hammond is now just $6.99. That's on Vanguard. John Hammond, $6.99. Doug McLeod, Come to Fine, with special guest Charlie Musselwhite. That is now $6.99. Also, we have Pat McDonald and the Essentials Lowdown. Pat McDonald and the Essentials Lowdown, $6.99. Uh, Whirlwind, Blowing Up a Storm. Whirlwind, that's like a 10-inch. It's uh, in Monster Stereo. <laughs> $6.99 on that. And we have Mad Cat. This is Mad Cat, and this is called Gone Solo. I think this is some leftover stuff from Dale's Pittsburgh collection for sure. I can tell lots of bluesy stuff in here from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. $6.99. All right, Agent Orange is officially sold to John Heron. John, you get that for $39. John Heron gets Agent Orange for $39. Pat Benatar is now at $80 with Jen Alonzo, John Phillips, or Josh Phillips, you've been officially outbid on that. I'm gonna mute my mic for one second and take a drink of water. Okay, sorry, I drank a lot of water. Nick Bargeron, first on Mad Cat. Everything in here is $6.99. Jen, looks like you're going to get the Pat Benatar for $80. Final call on that. The new favorites of Brinsley and Schwarz, uh, 1974. I can't believe no one got the other one either. These are not cheap originally. $6.99, Brinsley and Schwarz. There's another one. Brewer and Shipley, Royal Space. Uh, 72 pressing, $6.99. John Hammond, Frogs for Snakes. Another John Hammond, $6.99. The Swingin' Medallion, double shot. The Swingin' Medallion is now just $6.99. That's on Smash Records. Swingin' Medallion, $6.99. Christopher Brusher on BS. Now, was that for Brinsley Schwarz or Brewer and Shipley? Uh, Electra May releases. This is a promotional record. Advertising sampler from Electra Records, White Label Promo, Sailcat Audience, and the best of Judy Collins. Burt Jordan first on Swingin' Medallion. That's sold to Burt Jordan for $6.99. Let's officially go ahead and sell the Pat Benatar to Jen Alonzo. Jen, I think I've already seen where you messaged our page since you're a first-time buyer. This is sold to you for $80. Thank you and welcome, and we will send invoices out on Monday. Now, for the rest of tonight and all tomorrow when we're having our sale, $7 in limited shipping. So this is sold to you. We'll invoice you sometime late on Monday. Invoices go out all day on Monday. We do a one-week billing cycle, and we do a one-day billing thing on Mondays. We do that every week. So $7 in limited shipping. Anything else you buy tonight goes in with that order, as many records as you want to buy. Christopher Brusher wants both BS records. Those are sold and sold to Christopher Brusher, $6.99 and $6.99. Another brewer in Shipley. This is called ST11261, I think. Boy, what an interesting title. It's called, no, it's called ST-11261. That's brewer in Shipley. $6.99 for brewer in Shipley. Penny's Arcade. Penny's Arcade is now $6.99. Also, Melanie, the good book. Melanie is $6.99. Christopher Brusher gets another Brewer and Shipley for $6.99. Steels by Stephen Steels. Gold stamp promo, $6.99. Original on a sleeve. Steels by Stephen Steels. That's $6.99. And this is that uh, Argentina record. Yeah, I remember showing this the last time. Very interesting title. Something I really can't even pronounce. Or, yeah, well, it's called Leon Geico. Leon Geico, but it's an Argentina record, $6.99. Tracy Soinger, first on Melanie. That's sold to Tracy Soinger. Jen Alonzo gets Penny's Arcade. That's sold to Jen Alonzo for $6.99. Daniel Farrow on Steven Steele's. That's sold to Daniel Farrow for $6.99. And Rose Royce, too, 
Rolls Royce 3 strikes again. Has an embossed rose there. Ghost stamp promo, $6.99. Brian Arrigo wants the Argentina record. That is so to Brian Arrigo. And we have John Paul Young. That's now $6.99. Gold stamp promo has a promo strip and a hop sticker. $6.99 on John Paul Young. And Cat Stevens numbers a Pythagorean theory tale. Cat Stevens is $6.99. $6.99 on Cat Stevens. I think we have time to run two more auctions since uh, we're, we got a few more $6.99 records in here, and then we'll do a recap. I've got an ABBA, and then I have a soundtrack, the Bee Gees of Staying Alive. So first, we'll do ABBA. This is ABBA the album. This is our next auction. This is ABBA the album. This is a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine, Japanese pressing. Fantastic copy. There's the OP. There's the original Japanese inner sleeve of lyrics. There's the Japanese insert, and then there's the cover with Obi. That's a $35 start. And then this is Staying Alive. That's the soundtrack in, with the Bee Gees uh, doing most of the music, I believe. The vinyl is immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. There's the Japanese booklet, gatefold, the Staying Alive, glossy jacket. It's amazing that that's an original. I mean, it looks like it was just made. That's how nice it's been preserved. $35 start on that. $35 start on that. Next is Cat Stevens, sold to Jen Alonzo. And then Leslie Holt was second. John Heron was third. We're right in the middle of a $6.99 bin if you're just hopping on. We have New Music Straight Lines. New Music Straight Lines. That's $6.99. Uh, Paul Winter, Common Ground. Paul Winter is a white label promo with the original winter sleeve. $6.99 for Paul Winter. And the spinners, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, the spinners is $6.99. $6.99. And Roger Hodgson, Roger Hodgson, shrink wrap and hop sticker, original winter sleeve in the eye of the storm. $6.99. So staying alive has bids for $35, $35. And 35, Jackie Reynolds on spinners. That's so to Jackie Reynolds. Josh Ragland, you were second. We have Staying Alive at 40. Paul Ogley on RH. That's for Roger H. That's so to Paul Ogley. Tommy Flower second. And Scott Smith third. We still got Paul Winter. Carly Simon, anticipation. Carly Simon is $6.99 for Carly Simon. That's a big album with a big hit. Niels Lofgren, Grin, one plus one. Niels Groffin, Niels Lofgren is now $6.99 for Niels. That's available. And so is Grace Slick. Welcome to the Wrecking Ball. Grace Slick is $6.99. Jenny Potts first on CS for Carly Simon. John Otten was second. Debbie Blair third. Jen Alonzo fourth. Leon and Mary Russell. Make love to the music. Has a gold stamp, or excuse me, has a promo sticker on the front. $6.99. So Jen Alonzo has staying alive for $40. Final call. If anybody wants to outbid her, now's the time. And ABBA has no bids. It's called ABBA the Album. We're looking for a $35 start on that before I make it a buy it now. Johnny Adams, Room of a View of Blues. Johnny Adams is $6.99. We have Johnny Rivers, Outside Help. Johnny Rivers is $6.99. Original inner sleeve with that one. Superb Vinyl, Gold Stamp Promo, Hop Sticker, and Promo uh, Strip. ABBA has a bid with Jason Conklin for $35. Josh, Lag Josh Raglan on Neal's. That's so to Josh Raglan. Tommy Flowers on JA for Jefferson for Johnny for Johnny Adams. That's so to Tommy Flowers. And we have Closet Sale, Maxine Feldman. Closet Sale, Maxine Feldman. That is now $6.99. I guess nobody else wants to bid on staying alive. So that's so to Jen Alonzo for $40. Jason, when I come back, if no one's bumped you on ABBA, after I put her staying alive in a new sleeve, then I'll sell you that for $35. Lots of police sirens going by the store tonight. It's raining. Hopefully there hadn't been too many fender benders. You know how people drive in the rain? Not too well. Leslie does bid on ABBA, so we have a bid for $36 on ABBA. Jason Conklin, you're out. And this is sold to you one more time, Jen. I'm putting in a brand new sleeve for you. That's a pristine copy. That's sold to you for $40 to add to your new order. Everything in here is $6.99. We have Ducks Deluxe. Don't mind rocking tonight. Ducks Deluxe was $24.99. Now it's $6.99. And Mark Bueno Ambush. That's on AM Records. $6.99 on that. We have an out on ABBA. So, Leslie, your $36 bid may be the winning bid. Let's go ahead and put up a new auction. This is another artist that was originally in a band called The Eagles. 
And this is Don Henley, Can't Stand Still, featuring his big hit, Dirty Laundry, $35 start. Don Henley, I Can't Stand Still, great album, has the hit song Dirty Laundry on it. Sounds great. I own this Japanese pressing myself. Has the Japanese insert booklet, cover and obi, 35 on that. This is $6.99 for Mark Bueno. Also, we have the Guess Who, Power and the Music. The Guess Who is $6.99, and this is $6.99. This is Lou Val, Lonely in Paradise. $6.99 for Lou Val. Cowboys International, the original Sin. The Cowboys International, $6.99. And Charles Brown, Legend. That's on Bluesway. That's on ABC Bluesway. No condition notes, $6.99 for that. And Classical Smoke, the Kaz and Kant's Orchestral Circus. The Kaz and Kant's Orchestral Circus, $6.99. Let me get all my speech together. Leslie Holt gets the ABBA album for $36. Leslie, that's so to you. Jap Japanese pressing, very nice. That's so to Leslie. We put that in a new sleeve for Leslie. Thank you. That's so to Leslie for $36. And then we have Jackie Reynolds first on The Who. Jackie Reynolds first on The Who. That's the guess who. $6.99. Christopher Second, William Meadows Third, Christopher Brusher on CB for Charles Brown. And then Leslie Holt first on Classical Smoke. And Christopher Brusher on CS. And that was for also Classical Smoke. Now, Jen, if you want to bet on Don Henley, make sure you put the numerical. So if you're wanting to bet on DH for Don Henley, put DH35. And that lets me know you're betting... $35 on that. Renee R. wants Cowboys International. That's sold to Renee R. for $6.99. All righty. So, awesome. Fantastic. Let's recap that bin one more time. Everything in here is $6.99. $6.99, everything in here. First, we have Rick Springfield, Living in Oz, $6.99. Here's a Glenn Fry, No Fun Allowed, $6.99. Oh, my, my bad. That's Don Henley. There's Glenn Fry. There's Don Henley. They were both in the Eagles. Rick Springfield is still available. Glenn Fry is still available. Alvin Lee Band, 1980, $6.99. Gonzalez, that was Haven't Stopped Dancing, $6.99. We have Linus Pauling on Fallout Nuclear War. That's a sealed spoken word record. Ruth Brown taking care of business, $6.99. Brinsland Shorts is $6.99. And Brewer and Shipley, Shake Off the Demon, that is $6.99. Brewer and Shipley. John Hammond Footwork, also Doug McLeod. Come to find Pat McDonald and the Essentials, low down, $6.99 on that. Also, we have Whirlwind. That was a 10-inch Whirlwind, and it's called Blowing Up a Storm, $6.99. Jen is on Don Henley for $35. Also, we have John Hammond. That's Frogs for Snakes, $6.99. Uh, Electra May release a sampler. Nick Bargeron wants the Glenn Fry for $6.99. Christopher, Christopher Brusha on PM. Pat McDonald, that's so to Christopher Brusha. Also, Rolls Royce 3 strikes again. Rolls Royce 3 is $6.99. John Paul Young is $6.99. Uh, still got the other 10-inch, New Music, Straight Lines, that's $6.99. Christopher Brusha on RS for, uh, RS for, RS for, uh, what was RS? That was uh, possibly Rolls Royce, RR. Uh, I'll let him clarify that. Final call on Don Henley for $35. Paul Winter, Common Ground, that's $6.99. Grace Slick, Wrecking Ball. Uh, Leon and Mary Russell, Make Love to the Music, that was for, oh, that was early on here, Rick Springfield. That's so to Curtis Marachi for $6.99. And we have Johnny Rivers, Outside Help. We have Maxine Feldman, Closet Sale. Ducks Deluxe, Don't Mind Rocking Tonight. We have Mark Bueno, Ambush, and... The Lou Val, that is $6.99. Okay. Debbie Blair wants JR for Johnny Rivers. John Otten did bid on Don Henley. Jen Alonzo, you've been outbid. John Otten is at uh, 36 on that. Lucas wants the Maxine Feldman. This is so to Lucas. Maxine Feldman for $6.99. I'm going to keep these right here behind me. If anybody decides they want anything in there, just please let me know. They'll be right here behind me. And let's take a poll. Um, I think it's time for posters. I got to make sure all of my poster buyers are on before we move into that segment of the show for sure. And, uh, I'll take a quick poll. I don't know if we, uh, are ready for that kind of madness or not. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see here. We have, uh, posters and posters. <laughs> We have Don Henley with a bid for 40. Christopher Onzo said records. Looks like we have a divided crowd already tonight. 
Greg Lapey says he's ready. Let me move some stuff around over here. Almost, I'm all, I know what I'm ready for. I think I'm ready for my second V8 energy. Uh, do you have a Saint Anger available? I actually may have a Saint Anger. Yes, I do. Hold on a second. I do have. I think there's like a little bit of like a half a crate in the back that I want to go through. So uh, Chris Ronzo said Waffle House. Yeah, for sure. Laser disc. We're going to get into those eventually. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and grab that other six ninety nine crate. Uh, uh, I don't think there's much uh, left in there. I don't need too much energy. I'm pretty well rested, although I am. Uh, we've been doing some long stream. I'm used to like five and six hour shows, or really four and five hour shows. Now we're doing six and seven hour shows six days a week. It's uh, really, uh, it's uh, after the sales, I don't have as much to do. Let me step to the back. I think it's literally like a third of a crate or a half of a crate. I'll go ahead and say we did a little bit more records. I'm going to show you what posters are left. But first, let me go and get these so my mic may cut out. I'll keep talking, but I think it's probably going to cut it out. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh. All right, am I still on? Okay, so Don Henley, who was the other bidder? Uh, John Otten. John Otten, let me know if you want back in on Don Henley. Jen Alonzo has that for 40. Jen Alonzo had that for 40. John Otten, did you say in or out? Please let me know. Uh, Jen Alonzo has that for 40. Let's go ahead and very quickly knock out another 699 bin. Pay close attention very quickly. Pete Townsend, White City. It is sealed from 1985. A sealed Pete Townsend. We're still doing some 699 stuff right quick. John Otten's back in on Don Henley at 41. We have the Bellamy Brothers, Plain and Fancy. Bellamy Brothers is 699. Commodore's Natural High. Commodore's is in shrink wrap 699. Also, we have Cindy Bullins. Cindy Bullins is also sealed. Cindy Bullen, $6.99. Alicia Bridges is sealed with hop sticker. Alicia Bridges is $6.99. Energy to Burn, BT Express, $6.99. BT Express, Energy to Burn. Shout, shout it out, BT Express. Back-to-back -back BT Express, those are both $6.99 and $6.99. We also have Expose, What You Don't Know. Expose is a 12-inch single, maxi single, and we have Sunken Cathedral, Jackson Berkey, pianist. Sunken Cathedral, directed disc recording, six ninety nine. So we had a new bid on Don Henley for forty one. Christopher Ronzo first on Pete Townsend for six dollars and ninety nine cents. Zachary P was second. Paul Ogley third. Sophro Caster fifth. Robert Phillippe sixth. Leslie Holt first on A B. Alicia Bridges that sold to Leslie for six ninety nine. Village People, No Condition Notes, their debut album, $6.99 for Village People. Traffic, Welcome to the Canteen, it is in VG condition. Traffic is in VG condition, $6.99 for Traffic, Welcome to the Canteen. Now, Jennifer Alonzo, or Jen Alonzo, you've been outbid on Don Henley. Let me know if you want back in for more than 41 John Otten has the bid. Shelly uh, Shelly Bedwell, first on Village People. That's so to Shelly. Next is Bananarama, Trippin' on Your Love. Bananarama is $6.99. Also, Tubes, The Completion Backwards Principle. The Tubes is $6.99. Tony O.K., Life in the Food Chain. Tony O.K. is on Green Vinyl. Tony O.K. is on Green Vinyl, $6.99. Also, The Outsiders, album number two. The Outsiders is in mono, $6.99. Uh, Shelly got Village People. Tommy Flowers first on The Tubes. That's so to Tommy Flowers. Leslie Holt first on B. B's for Banana Rama. Tony Freeman next on T for Tubes. Jen bid 40. And John Otten had already bid 41. John Otten has it for 41. He had outbid you. And John Otten also gets the Outsiders. Everything in here is $6.99. Sanford and Townsend Band is sealed. Sanford and Townsend is sealed for $6.99. Also, Rusty Weir, Stack Deck. That's a promo copy. Rusty Weir, $6.99. The Kinks, Sleepwalker. 
The Kinks is EX Condition, $6.99. The Kinks, Sleepwalker. The Chambers Brothers, Right Move, that's in Shrink Wrap. Original on her sleeve, $6.99 for the Chambers Brothers. Romulu first on ST for the Sealed Simon and or Sanford, Sanford and Townsend. We have Jackie Reynolds first on the Kinks and Paul Oakley second. So final call on Don Henley. This is with John Otten for $41. I'm about to sell it. That's at $41 of John Otten. Jen Alonzo wants TK. That's for Tony OK. That's sold to Jen Alonzo for $6.99. Also, Tom Rush, Mind Rambling. That's on Prestige Records and Shrink Wrap. Tom Rush is $6.99. Also, Traffic on the Road. A live traffic album, Gatefold. No condition notes. Traffic is $6.99. Also, we have Harlow Wilcox and the Okies. Groovy Grub Worm and other Golden Guitar Greats. That's $6.99 for Harlow Wilcox. Will Powers, Dancing for Mental Health. Will Powers is $6.99. Shakedown first on traffic. That's sold to Shakedown. Debbie Blair was second. And Martin Mull, Sex and Violins. Martin Mull is $6.99. Original winner sleeve. David Hoy, first on Tom Rush. That's sold to David Hoy. We have Jen Alonzo on HW. That's Harlow Wilcox. That's sold to Jen Alonzo for $6.99. And Cock Robin, Worlds Apart. Max is single. Cock Robin is $6.99. Don Henley is sold to John Otten for $41. John, you get the Don Henley for $41. That is sold to you, $41 on Don Henley. That might be one of our last auctions tonight. I think I might do a few Japanese pressings by now that we didn't get to, just FYI. Tommy Flowers first on Cock Robin for $6.99. That's sold to Tommy. $6.99. Also, Brewer and Shipley Weeds. Brewer and Shipley is $6.99. We have FM, Black Norse. FM is now just $6.99. Somebody kept that stored in a poly-lined inner sleeve. Doobie Brothers taking it to the streets. Michael McDonald, $6.99. Doobie Brothers, Gatefold, original label. Major Lance, greatest hits. VG condition for Major Lance, greatest hits on the OK label. Also, the Spinners, here's another copy. Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. VG on this one with Hop Sticker, $6.99 on the Spinners. Rare Bird, somebody's watching. Rare Bird is in EX condition, $6.99 for Rare Bird, somebody's watching. EX condition, $6.99. The Foundations, that's in VG condition, $9.99. Jen Alonzo on MC, MC was for, I'm not for sure. And then Surfo Caster first on the Spinners, that's sold to Surfo Caster. Christopher Onzo first on RB, that's Rare Bird, that's sold to Christopher Onzo. These are all $6.99. Joe Tex, I got a little. I got to do a little bit better. That's VG condition, $6.99. Jen, what was the MC comment for? Also, Carla Thomas, come for me. Carla Thomas is in VG condition. That's on the Stax label. It's a 1966 mono, now just $6.99. Patty LaBelle, winner in you. Patty LaBelle is $6.99. Pangea, verticals currency. Pangea, $6.99. Verticals currency. Surfo Caster first on Carla. Carla Thomas, that was for the Doobie Brothers. Okay, Michael McDonald. Yes, he sings on the Doobie Brothers. That's so to Carla, or excuse me, that's so to Jen Alonzo. That's so to Jen Alonzo, the Doobie Brothers. $6.99. Romy Lou on PL. PL was for uh, Patty LaBelle, I believe. That's so to Romy Lou for $6.99. We have Johnny Rivers, Slim Slow Slider. Johnny Rivers is $6.99. Hubert Laws, say it with silence. Hubert Laws is in shrink wrap, $6.99 on Hubert Laws. We have Eddie Kendricks at his best. Eddie Kendricks is $6.99. Grover Washington Jr., Strawberry Moon. Grover Washington Jr. is $6.99. The Corgis, Dumb Waiters. The Corgis is $6.99. Sun, Live On, Dream On. Sun, Live On, Dream On. $6.99. Rami Lou on GW, Grover Washington. That's so to Rami If you're just hopping on, everything in here is $6.99. Probably one of our last bins of the night. And everything in here is $6.99. Christopher Brusha wants Dumb Waiters by the Corkies. That's so to Christopher Brusha. The Vogue's Five O'Clock World. The Vogue's is in VG condition. $6.99 for The Vogue's. We have Blood, Sweat, and Tears, New City. VG Condition 999, The Battle of Northwest Six, Keith Hartley Band, Keith Hartley Band, VG 999, Metro, Metro is 699, and we have Beatlemania, recorded live at the Winter Garden Theater, Beatlemania 699. So, earlier I showed two Japanese Journeys Frontiers, these are $45, I think this one brought, this one here brought 50 earlier, 
and then there's another one. But they're both very nice. This one's in shrink wrap. If anybody wants a Journey Frontiers Japanese pressing, $45 if anybody wants one. $45. $45. Rami Lou wants Beatlemania. I'm going to read very quickly everything that's left in here for $6.99. But that's our first Japanese buy now. That's really the only thing that didn't sell uh, that I've put up officially, sort of, kind of. But I'm going to show some more $35 buy nows, okay? These are all $35. Please comment the name of the album. I'm going to lay down about five all here at the same time. This is some of the only Japanese stuff we have not put up. These are $35 buy it nows, $35 buy it nows. First, these are all $35. Let me know what you want. Ario Speedwagon, high in fidelity. Wham, make it big. Wham, make it big. I've got two of those. Fame soundtrack, fame soundtrack. Phil Collins, no jacket required. And Earth, Wind and Fire, Electric Universe. Those have never been put up. They're all $35 buy it nows. Jen Alonzo wants a Journey Frontiers. This is sold to Jen Alonzo first. Let's do this one for $45. That's sold for $45 to Jen Alonzo. The rest of these are $35 buy it nows. $35 buy it nows. I don't know if I've got enough room in my crate for as many comments as I'm seeing. We have first Christopher Allen put REP, but he meant REO for REO Spade Wagon. That is sold to Christopher Allen for $35. We have uh, Debbie Blair getting a wham for $35. That's sold to Debbie Blair for $35. Scott O'Man, you were second on REO. Paul Ogley third. Jared Inc. also gets a wham for $35. And Jen Alonzo wants a Phil Collins for $35. That leaves Fame and Electric, or excuse me, Electric University, yep, by Earth, Wind & Fire. Let me actually pull these Japanese pressings out. Let me pull these out, and let me just start a new crate. That was too much to try to put in there on those. Let me just get a new crate going. And we'll put these right there. So Journey was $45 to Jen Alonzo. That was so to Journey uh, to Jen for forty-five. REO was Christopher Allen's for thirty-five. Debbie Blair got a wham for thirty-five. Scott O'Man next on REO. Paul Ogley next on REO. Jared Inc. got a wham. Jen Alonzo got the Phil Collins. Uh, Christopher Allen, you did get the REO. And Jen John Otten wants fame for thirty-five dollars. John Otten gets fame for thirty-five dollars. That means Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Electric Universe is still available. Thirty-five dollar bot now. And then Journey Frontier is $45. i will run those tomorrow unless somebody buys them tonight. So those are available. Uh, that's pretty much it on the Japanese stuff. I got a few more auctions in here I didn't get to, but we'll just wait on those. And before I officially uh, go get posters, I'm going to read what's left in here for $6.99. Everything in here is $6.99. Metro, Battle of Northwest Six, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, The Vogue, Sun, Eddie Kendricks, Hubert Laws, Johnny Rivers, Pangea, Joe Tex, The Foundations, Major Lance, FM, Brewer and Shipley. We have Martin Mull, uh, Will Power, Chambers Brothers, Rusty Weir, Steve Winwood. Uh, we have a Sunken Cathedral, also Expose, Shout, BT Express, another BT Express, Cindy Mullins, Commodores, and Bellamy Brothers. Uh, Jen Alonzo wants the Earth, Wind, and Fire, and we have the other journey sold. Okay, so Earth, Wind, and Fire, Electric Universe. This is so, that was the next comment. This sold to Jen Alonzo for $35. Robert Phillippe gets the last journey for $45. Martin Mull and Brinsley Shorts from the last crate, Gene Brown. So Gene Brown wants Martin Mull out of here. This is sold to Gene Brown for $6.99. Gene Brown gets that for $6.99, and Gene Brown also gets this Brinsley Schwarz album from the last crate. So this is also sold to Gene Brown for $6.99. Next is Jim Hickson. Jim, have I sold to you before? He wants the Keith Hartley band. That is sold to Jim Hickson for $6.99. Christopher Ronzo put C, and Christopher, that was for CB. CB, Christopher Ronzo. CB, 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 CB. Cindy Bullins, perhaps. Christopher Onzo, I'll leave that in pending. Just let me know. And then Shakedown on Traffic. That was Welcome to the Canteen. That's for sure sold to Shakedown for $6.99. Uh, Christopher Russia wants the Sunken Info, Sunken Cathedral. Sunken Cathedral is right here. This is Sunken Cathedral, Jackson Berkey, pianist. It is $6.99. Sunken Cathedral. All right. On the waiting list, uh, how long does it usually take? Depends on your supplier. I know I'm getting more of those, Greg. They'll be in on Monday or they'll probably be in on Tuesday. 
they'll be in on Tuesday. And then you'll get invoice for the week after. Jim Hickson said, many times. Okay, sorry. I just don't recognize your name right now. I, I'm, it's, uh, I need another energy drink, if you know what I mean. Christopher Onzo on Cindy Bolins. At, for some reason, my eyes are hurting tonight. I've, I've been looking at this screen, and uh, which I do every night, but for some, for some reason, uh, eyes are hurting tonight. And uh, this is Sunken Cathedral for six ninety nine. Okay, Jim Hicks says, I'm hurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe you don't buy enough. <laughs> uh, maybe you don't buy enough. Just joking. All right, let me show you all some posters that are still available that did not sell tonight. One of the last things, if you're interested in anything, let me know. Uh, well, I don't know what's left in here or not, actually. Give me one second on that. Anybody else on anything with vinyl? The, the big seller tonight was Rush. I put some Rush albums on sale. Here's what's left. Signals, $34.99. Power Windows, $29.99. Farewell to Kings, $34.99. And Exit Stage Left, last copy, $49.99. St. Anger, yes, I forgot about that. Let me go get a St. Anger for Antonio V. And uh, we might can sell some other Metallica albums. Let me bring over my personal favorite. And see what else we have over here. St. Anger is $44.99. We got to get the posters, movie posters, though, because we'll see how many boxes we have to go through tonight. Probably at least one. Antonio V. St. Anger is $44.99. It's new and sealed. New and sealed. Everything over here is new vinyl. That's new vinyl, new vinyl. Everything except this front crate is new vinyl, yes. Dolly is $64.99. $64.99. I do not have anything by Baron Cross. We have Metallica. And Justice for All. Now, we sold out of pretty much all the Led Zeppelin albums. Let's see if we can move a few Metallicas here late. And Justice for All, 2LP remaster, $44.99. And Justice for All, $44.99. You're talking about Blackened and Justice for All. Eye of the Beholder, one. Oh, my gosh. Short of Straw, Harvest of, Haro, Harvest of Sorrow, and Frayed Ends of Sanity. Incredible. To Live is to Die and Dyer's Eve. That is absolutely incredible stuff there, especially this side right here. Side three, I could wear that out. Shortest Straw, Harvester of Sorrow, and the Frayed Ends of Sanity. Metallica, $44.99. Jen Alonzo, if you want Dolly, just say Dolly sold. It is $64.99. $64.99. Forrest Appleton wants a Metallica. That's sold to Forrest Appleton. There's three copies left if anybody wants one. The Rush are all new sealed remasters. Yes. Yes, for sure. Definitely. For sure. Okay, now the only Led Zeppelin album, uh, one of the Led Zeppelin albums I didn't get to earlier was Led Zeppelin 3. Led Zeppelin 3, this is the only one I didn't show earlier when I went through their discography. And this is Led Zeppelin 3, and it's $33.99. 180 gram remaster. We're talking Tangerine, The Immigrant Song, Since I've Been Loving You, Gallows Pole, a classic. This is Led Zeppelin 3. $33.99. Jen Alonzo does take the Dolly Parton. That is sold to Jen Alonzo. That is sold to Jen Alonzo. Next is Forrest Appleton on a Led Zeppelin 3. Jen Alonzo wants a Led Zeppelin 3. And if anybody else wants a Led Zeppelin 3, that's sold to Debbie Blair. Led Zeppelin 3 is $33.99. Debbie Blair got the last copy. Now, if anybody else gets one, that is it. Yeah, or you'll have to go on a waiting list. You'll have to go on a waiting list. So, uh, and Jim Hickson, if you want on a waiting list, let me know. Nobody else on Metallica? Mm -mm -mm. I'll put that back over here. Let me grab two of their more classic albums. Actually, let me grab their first three albums, and I guarantee we'll sell at least one of one of these. We've got Ride the Lightning, we have Master of Puppets, and we have Kill Em All. I have two copies of each album, and I may have a couple extras, but here's Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, and Master of Puppets. Jim Hickson goes on a waiting list for Led Zeppelin 3 because I will be restocking all these, but man, some classic metal here. Kill them all. 3399, Seek and Destroy, The Four Horsemen, Whiplash, Hit the Lights, Jump in the Fire. That's 3399. And then Ride the Lightning, 3399, Fight Fire of Fire, For Whom the Bell Toes, Ride the Lightning, Fade to Black, Call of the Clutu, and then Master. Obey your remaster, Master of Puppets, $33.99. Forrest Appleton wants a Master of Puppets. There's one extra copy if anybody wants it. He also wants a Kill Em All. Kill Em All is $33.99. That's also sold to Forrest Appleton. There's the trifecta, Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, and Master of Puppets. 
for whom the bell tolls. Incredible. John Otten also wants a mop. That's short for Master of Puppets. That's sold to John Otten. And we have Forrest Appleton picking up the trifecta with Ride the Lightning. That is also sold to Forrest Appleton. That leaves me with one copy of Kill Em All and one copy of Ride the Lightning. I'm going to put them back on the shelf. Thank long, you'll thank wrong. That's my saying. Thank long, you'll thank wrong. Now, we've hit the Floyd. We've hit the Metallica. We've hit the Rush. I got to go over here to my specialty rack and pick out one of my all-time favorites. And if you don't have a copy of this, it's an amazing sounding remaster. This is Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. 180 gram, 180 gram remaster. We're talking Shine On You Crazy Diamond, Have a Cigar, Welcome to the Machine, Wish You Were Here, $34.99. 180 gram remaster, that is $34.99. John Otten wants to kill them all. Uh, do you have Tom Petty? The only Tom Petty record I have is Tom Petty's Greatest Hits. It's a 2LP remaster. That's the only thing I have Tom Petty in stock. And I have, uh, I have Full Moon Fever for $36.99. Pink Floyd, though, $34.99. We've hit the Rush. We've hit the, uh, we've hit the Zeppelins. Metallica, $34.99. I don't have anything by Good Blood. I've never had anything by Gangster Grass. I've never heard of these bands, Nick. I think you're making up titles. Jen Alonzo gets a Pink Floyd. Debbie Blair gets a Pink Floyd. Those are sold and sold. If anybody else wants a Pink Floyd, there they are. Pink Floyd, wish you were here. Let me see what else. I think I can fill up a whole nother crate over here. Uh, okay, now I've only got one each of these, so you'll have to comment the name of the album if you actually want these. And Except for one other record, this is the last of my Zeppelins. You have to comment the name of the album. I have In Through the Outdoor and Presence. $33.99. In Through the Outdoor and Presence, $33.99. John Otten wants a Pink Floyd. Wish you were here. That's so to John Otten. Pink Floyd, wish you were here. In Through the Outdoor and Presence. I've only got one of each in stock. Forrest Appleton gets In Through the Outdoor. How did I know that was coming? And then there's Presence. It's also $33.99. We're talking about Achilles' last stand here. That's also sold to Forrest Appleton. In Through the Outdoor. I only got one copy. I still got Wish You Were Here. I got Tom Petty's Greatest Hits. Now, we haven't went through all of the Metallicas over here. Um, I will bring over the other parts of their... Did I pull John Heron's Kill Em All? I don't think I've done that yet because there's still one on the rack. So let me pull John Heron's Kill Em All and then let me bring some other Metallicas over here. And just in case you don't know that I have these, I'm going to show you that I have them. And here's pretty much what I have left in their... Uh, catalog, maybe one or two more over there. So, uh, Jen Alonso, I'll put you on the In Through the Outdoor. When is the Dark Side of the Moon coming out? I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure. So, Black Album, $36.99, 2 LP remaster, the Black Album, Enter Sandman, 72 Seasons, Lux Eterna, that's their newest album, $39.99 for 72 Seasons, $39.99. We have uh, Hardwired to Self Destruct. Hardwired to self-destruct. Those are $34.99. There's John Heron's Kill Em All. I didn't pull that earlier. John Heron wanted to kill them all. There's John Heron's Kill Em All. And then I've got Load and I've got Reload. Load and I've got Reload. This is Reload and Load. Load and Reload. Load, Reload. Reload, Load. That's Metallica. This has King Nothing on it, Hero of the Day, Fuel, Give Me Fire, Memory Remains. That's some great stuff there. Uh, we have Jen Alonzo wants Tom Petty. I'm assuming that's for Greatest Hits. Sell that to Jen Alonzo. We have Forrest Appleton picking up the Black Album. That is sold to Forrest Appleton. Scott O'Man wants a copy of Load. That is sold to Scott O'Man and Jim Alonzo, or Jen Alonzo put MKA. MKA was for I don't know. I'm not for sure what that stands for. MKA, Reload, uh, Metallica, Kill Em All perhaps. Maybe the another uh, maybe Metallica kill them all, possibly. If so, that's my last copy. It's I still got one on the rack. So, all right, everybody's waiting on posters. I know, I know, but I I'm uh I'm still still in vinyl here at like a record pace for 12:30 a.m. I think I've went through just about everything over here though. I mean, I've got we've got ten different more other Pink Floyd albums. So, um. 
just FYI. <laughs> I know I just sold several Wish You Were Here, but I still got several. And here is the last Led Zeppelin record in the store. It's the, it's the deluxe version. It's $59.99 of Led Zeppelin 1. That's the album remastered and then two additional LPs, which is an unreleased concert from 1969. So that's Led Zeppelin 1. That's my only copy. It's, it's uh, $59.99. It's a triple LP. It's a triple LP. Okay, um, and Jen did want to kill them all. Okay, this sold to Forrest, and then Jen got the last. I think that's my last copy of Kill Them All. Is anybody looking for a certain Pink Floyd album? If so, I can't, I'm not going to go through them all, but if you're looking for a certain one, I probably can hook you up, except Animals. I think Animals is the only thing I do not have. Animals is the only thing I do not have. And then there's Jen's Alonzo's Kill Them All. Okay. I'm going to put Pink Floyd back on the shelf. I do have Dark Side of the Moon. I got one Dark Side of the Moon, I think, in stock. Yep, one Dark Side of the Moon. Boy, these shelves look empty over here. I'm going to have to order the heck out of stuff this week. And, of course, lots of ACDC albums. Lots, but... Uh, what else do we have here? I uh, feel like we've covered all those. Okay, are all of my poster buyers still with me? If so, I'm going to mute my mic, step to the back, and grab a box, and uh, we'll start going through some movie posters. And thank you, everybody that's tuned in late, buying all these fantastic albums. I can definitely tell me and Forrest have very similar uh, record taste. So uh, when are you going to do Celine Dion? I will, I'll work on that over the weekend, Brian. Celine pre already know when it comes out. I don't know when it comes out, but I will... I will uh, I will get to that, yes. All right. Okay, I'm going to put these I'm gonna put these in here, actually, just in case somebody sees this right here. They might be, hey, wait a second. What letter are you going to grab? I don't know. Let's go back there and see what's back there. I'm going to step to the back. Hope everybody hadn't left or fell asleep on me. We'll go through one box. I'll see how it goes, and then we may go through another one. Uh, and then... We might go through three boxes. We might be here all night. We'll find out. I'll be right back. I got step to the box back, and this is where we're going to do some. Uh, we're going to do some uh, movie posters. Okay, this is going to be some movie posters. Where's the ACDC at? Uh, give me one second. When I come back, and I'll I'll show a few. Okay, I got to go to the back and get a box of posters. I'll be right back. All right, let's see if everybody's awake. I see Curtis and Michael. That's that's enough. Uh, that's enough for me to start going because they're they're heavy poster buyers. I have grabbed box F. If you're new to our page, we bought a collection years ago. Well, not years. We'll say two or three years ago of original movie posters. We've had them in storage. I've been trying to get them out for since then, and there's always so much other stuff to do. But we've been going through these posters, and we're about to go through the F box. The only person I hadn't seen is Brent. Maybe Brent's watching. We'll find out, though. I don't know. Uh, a couple people who usually buy a lot that miss, they've been going through and re-watching the replays, and then they've been messaging to me, hey, can you find this, this, this? 
and I've been having to go through all these posters and find them, and some I still hadn't been able to find. I don't know. So I, I like to get everybody on watching at the same time so I don't have to go back through these because sometimes if they, don't have the, if they don't have the title on the outside, I can't find them. This is the Flim Flam Man. The Flim Flam Man. I hadn't seen George Somers in a few nights either. He's been absent. This is the Flim Flam Man. So here's how this works. If you're interested in one, comment like Flim Flam, and then I'll tell you a price, and then you can buy it. And if you don't want to buy it, you can say pass, and I'll move it on to the next person. If everybody passes, I'll move on to another one. So there is Flim Flam Man. Wham, bam, the Flim Flam Man. That's poster number one. I think I muted my mic before y'all could hear me sneeze. That was loud. You probably heard me take a deep breath. Paul Brothers is still here, too. All righty. We have uh, Fear is the Key. And also, for those that, you know, I still got some other stuff like Pink Floyd, and I didn't go through every Metallica album. Uh, I, I'm going to, uh, we'll be back again tomorrow, and we usually go late again. We've been going late every night, but um, we've been going late every night. What do we have here? Oh, boy. This is called uh, Fear is the Key. Take a look at this. Fear is the Key. Also, I found, I was around Paul's desk, and uh, I think at one time, right after we brought back some other stuff from uh, Fred Goodwin's collection, Paul had went uh, and found, like, not this stuff that I'm pulling these out of, but he had went through a box, like a huge miscellaneous box from Fred Goodwin's, and he had had a box of posters stored on this metal rack behind his desk that he was going to eventually tag for me, and I found it, and I think he forgot about it, and I forgot about it. So we found, we found a whole stack. We found a whole stack of posters like this big of really, really good titles, like uh, in the back from Fred Goodwin's. And we're talking about like stuff that's already been like filtered through. So really good titles. And uh, I'm going to uh, get those ready very soon. But let me go ahead and be pulling up my price charting here. Let me do a few things. Let me close out, close out all these tabs. I was already, <laughs> I was already looking up posters before the show. I was looking up stuff from my personal collection. I'm like, well, hopefully I find it in Fred's. If not, I'll have to buy it. But man, some of these are, uh, some of these are hard to find what I'm exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for foreign James Bond stuff, which doesn't come through very often, uh, even with these major auction houses. I'm looking for foreign James Bond posters, which are not easy to get. All right, let me start pricing. Let me get all signed in and stuff here. So you're going to be seeing some interesting movie posters, interesting stuff here. This first one here is Fear is the Key, and it is a $30 buy now if anybody wants it. $30 buy now. When are you hitting the row posters? Uh, as soon as we get through with all these boxes, as soon as I get done of this first run of boxes, the first run of boxes, and then we'll start doing rolls. So I missed a Metallica Cave and Double Possum poster. Uh, po yeah, it sold. The Metallica Possum poster sold. Yep. The Fortune Cookie. The Fortune Cookie. This is Jack Lemon, Jack Lennon, the fortune cookie. I just knocked that fear poster off in the back. Let me grab that because I thought that was a pretty good looking one. Let me grab that so before it uh, falls in between the crevices in eternity. I might photograph that one, put it up for all. What we're going to do is a lot of these good ones, or what I think are good, that don't sell, we're eventually going to photograph them, then put them up for auction. Uh, that is a legitimate email, Debbie. That is, that is how we're sending tracking numbers now. There's been so many people get those emails, and then we have to tell everybody that's actually us. Tracking numbers going through email now. So that is right. I know it looks odd, but we're still trying to figure out how to format it. Whatever happened to Daft Punk? Daft Punk is going to be re-auctioned tomorrow, Zachary. Daft Punk's going to be re-auctioned tomorrow. Uh, the winning bidder didn't pay, and the backup bidder just said re-auction it, and he would tune in and just re-bid since that other buyer uh, kind of ran it up. So uh, Next is Frogs, 1972. So Daft Punk and some other incredible stuff. I, I actually, here in a minute, after this poster, let me show you all what's still available. This is called Frogs. Interesting. Today, the pond. Tomorrow, the world. Frogs. That looks interesting. Frogs. 
Um, and I'll show you all some of the concert posts tonight that still are available if you missed earlier or, or just want to see a recap. Odd looking movie this is. What year is this? 1972? 1972? So a lot of people have been like, uh, I haven't got a tracking number. And uh, um, I've been seeing all kinds of this. I haven't got a tracking number. This order hadn't shipped. And then some people, uh, there was one person sent that. And then about an hour later, they was like, never mind, it showed up today. It's weird. I didn't get a tracking number. And what's happened is um, people's getting these emails and they don't think they're legitimate. So this is a good poster. $55, Michelle. $55 on this. $55 on this. $55. That's a good poster. $55. Fitz Willie. Leslie Frogs is $55. Fitz Willie. Dick Van Dyke and Fitz Willie. Fitz Willie. Leslie Holt said sold. She gets the Frogs poster for $55. Uh, that's sold to Leslie for $55. Skeletor still available. And uh, Paul, it's, I think it's a great price. Of course, that's coming from me. But uh, if you're interested, we can do some kind of deal on it. Would a poster from the Frozen Dead be in this pile? I have no idea. I'm looking at all these for the first time. But there could be. Flare up. Flare up. Flare up. Raquel Welch and flare up. Most men want to love her. One man wants to kill her. Was there another question too? Metallica don't pay. No, he'll pay. He was at the concert. It was his. Uh, he was at the concert. It was his birthday, and he's a regular. He'll definitely pay for Metallica. Fire sale. Fire sale. This has got some writing on the back of it that's bled through. That's not good. Let's set that aside. You see what I got over here, and uh, this Metallica is still available. Sorry, I got a cramp going through my back. Uh, this one's still available. It's three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Three hundred and seventy-five dollars. It's uh, signed by the artist and numbered. That's one of the Metallicas that's left. Now, I have a guy who wasn't watching tonight, and he's bought every Metallica poster so far, even the ones that hadn't sold. I've sent him pictures and prices, and he just replies, sold. And then I'll send him another one, and he'll say, sold. And I'll send him another one, and he says, sold. And that's usually how it works. And he usually watches and buys these things live, so... Regina, let me look up the price for this for you right quick. You're interested in the Raquel Welch flare-up poster, Regina Tabor. Regina, I'll say that for $30. $30, Regina. $30. That's a nice one with Raquel Welch. All right, we have French con Conviction. French Connection, excuse me. French Connection, the 7-Ups. The 7-Ups, the French Connection, that's a two-in-one. The French Connection, that's a two-in-one double feature. French Connection and the 7-Ups. It's a two-in-one double feature poster.
Um, uh, Felix says, I'm a bit late. Can I please purchase the Eddie Kendrick sound from the 699 bin? You're talking about this right here. This is so, uh, Felix Solace for $6.99. $6.99. All right. We have a pass and pass. I'm a local Baxter. Uh, yes, Jeff, I saw we're using Baxter. Yeah, me and Tanner was a We knew he's a new buyer, and actually, protocol, actually, protocol with new buyers, uh, you've bought a lot. We'll go ahead and send you an invoice early. I have a feeling you're good for it. I hope you are because you've bought a lot. But we'll probably go ahead and send you an invoice with everything we've keyed in for tomorrow so you can go ahead and pay for it. We won't charge you shipping, and we won't ship it, but you can go ahead and pay for it, and then you can come here and pick it up. So um, just uh, just so you know. All right, everybody pass on the French Connection. Flare up. I hadn't heard back from Regina. I'm going to lay it right there. All right, we have another fortune cookie. I've already shown that one. That's a fortune cookie. And we have the female bunch. The female bunch. Uh, we have another first-time buyer who has bought a lot. And we're going to go ahead and uh, invoice two or three people. We're going to do it in the morning. They, we have some new buyers this week that's bought a lot, which is perfectly okay of me as long as you uh, pay. Wow, is, is she nude up here? That's, she's, I think she's nude. This is rated R, the female bunch, women who live by their own rules. She's uh, exposed up there. That is the female bunch, the female bunch. Interesting poster, 1971. This is $35. $35. Women who live by their own rules. $35. Curtis, Paul, and Michelle. Uh, let's see here. How much uh, for Flare Up? Regina, I said that was uh, $30 on Flare Up. $30 on Flare Up. Curtis said sold on this for $35. That sold to Curtis for $35. I'd like to pay for some. If anything else, I have three boxes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll send you an invoice for everything you've bought through tonight, probably sometime tomorrow, and then you can pay it. And then uh, if you have some stuff you want to sell when you come pick it up, you got to make sure Paul's here if you want to do it the same day, and he'll look at whatever you have. I think this says Fatso. I'm pretty sure this says Fatso. Fatso, do not eat apple pie, baked beans, bologna, bread, candy, cannoli, cheesecake, chocolate, cupcakes, Danish, donuts, dumplings, eclairs, fatso. Regina says she'll take flare up for $30. Let me look up fatso. That's everything. That's my daily diet. Whew. I'm about 260. I need to get back down to about 225 or 220. I, I probably weigh close to 270, actually. Uh, Christopher Brusha. This is uh, $15 if you want it. $15, Christopher Brush, if you want it. Fatso. Uh, open it full. Okay. I can do that. It, it was folded weird. It was folded weird. So I didn't want to... Uh, it's folded. It's nothing wrong with it. It's still got the same creases, but you see it's got... They folded it this wrong way, but... Pretty nice looking. Spaghetti 
scrap, sauces, salami, ribs, ravioli. What what the heck are you supposed to eat? What does that leave? Oh boy. Yeah, now this is gonna be like a let's see here. I think this was tucked in like this. Yeah. It's tucked in like that. And then this was tucked in here, which is unusual. Like that. All right, that's Soda Crisp from Russia for $15. This next one was called The Final Conflict. The Final Conflict. The last chapter of the Omen Trilogy. I work as a chef. That's a great find. That is a great shot. That is a great find. The Final Conflict. Omen. This is $25. Mitch Sories and Paul Brothers. Mitch Sories and Paul Brothers. $25. Mitch Sories has dibs. There's another The Fortune. We've already shown one of those. The Fortune. Hey. Nope, that's a different movie. The Fifth Musketeer. Mitch Torrey said so, $25. The Fifth Musketeer. The Fifth Musketeer. Not the Fourth, the Fifth. Michelle, $20 on that one. $20 on that one. 40 pounds of trouble. 40 pounds of trouble. Michelle said sold. Fifth Musketeer, $20. Wait. You'll see their hilarious event. Well, it has a, a Disneyland mentioned down here. 40 pounds of trouble. Wow. It's a good poster. I'll do uh, I'll do forty five dollars on this one, Brent, and then Michelle. Forty dollars on that one. Forty five dollars, I mean, forty five. Forty five on forty. Sorry, forty five on forty. Brent and then Michelle. Brent said so. Forty five dollars. This is funeral in Berlin. Funeral in Berlin. Funeral in Berlin. Michael Caine. <laughs> of course. Funeral in Berlin. $25, Brent. $25, original one sheet. Father Jack Leg. Father Jack Leg. Father Jack Leg. A good shepherd always fleeces his lambs.
uh, funeral in Berlin. So uh, Brent passed, so that sold to uh, Curtis Marachi for $25. Thank you, Curtis. I think we had this earlier. Fire sale. Yeah, we showed that earlier. Let me show it one more time, I think. Oh, no, the other one had uh, writing on the back that bled through. So here's one that's nice. Fire sale. The other one had uh, bleed through on it. There's another 40 pounds of trouble. So, yeah, that's the one uh, Brent got, right? 40 pounds of trouble. So, uh, Michelle, here's another one. I knew you were back up on the other one. This one looks like it has some damage, though. This one has some damage. Um, it's got writing. It's got tape. They've repaired it here. It's got writing up here. You may just want to wait and see if we have a better one, but if you want this one, I'll price it. And then if you want fire sale, I'll do it for $20. So fire sales $20, and I'll see if you want that one. She passes. I'll leave that one out just in case that's the only one I have uh, left, and the fire sales 20 Here's another funeral in Berlin. Brent passed earlier, but Curtis got one. Michael Caine movie. There's another funeral in Berlin. First to fight. First to fight. She said fire sold. Michelle gets fire for $20. Oh, cool. World War II themed. First to fight. The blockbuster story of a fighting Marine that comes mortar screaming out of green hills and jungles. First to fight. I think, well, yeah, that's probably Pacific Theater. At first I was like Vietnam, but it's 67, so just a little bit too early for, I guess, a Vietnam movie. Definitely Pacific Theater, World War II. That's called First to Fight. 1967. There it is. $25. $25, Brent. First to fight. Pretty cool. War scenes down here. Love scenes. War scenes. Guy screaming. Thank you to our veterans. Any veterans watching? Thank you. I don't want to be in a jungle unless I absolutely have to be. Let's see here. Fortune. I guess I didn't show this one, did we? Did I? The Fortune. Sexier than the Marx Brothers. Handsomer than Laurel and Hardy, but not as smart as the Three Stooges. The Fortune. Uh, did the Division Bell sell? Yes, we actually had two of them. We actually had two of those. Michelle's interested. Did I have one earlier too? Hold on a second. Did I have one earlier? No, that was the fortune cookie. The fortune cookie, okay. Yep, there's another one, the fortune cookie. I served active duty in Coast Guard for more than 31 years. Awesome, thank you. Oh, that's, that is another fortune. Okay, so I got two fortune cookies. That's the fortune. Let me get a year on this. The fortune's 1975. Uh, well, interesting.
Ah, there we go. 2020. Okay. It's $25. $25. Was this Jack Nicholson? Yeah, Jack Nicholson. They just sold the suit from this movie today. <laughs> Michelle gets this. They just sold the... Uh, Michelle was first to ask about this. They just sold the suit to that movie today that was actually worn in the movie for a thousand... $1,625 Oscar Sullivan suit. That sold today at auction. The suit that he wore in that movie for $1,625. Okay, so uh, Michelle asked about that first, and so Brent, you're second, so you'll be back up on the other one, $25. Okay, here's another first to fight. Was there somebody back up on the other one, first to fight? Paul Brothers. Paul Brothers, here's another uh, first to fight. Any other veterans watching? We got one forced. There's another first to fight. Paul, if you want one, $35. And guess what? We have another. He said sold. $35. Here's another one. First to fight. There's another first to fight. If anybody else wants one. There's another one with some damage. So the military or the World War II theme poster. This is the fixer. The fixer. Uh, it has a weird crease right here in it, Brent. It's got a bad wrinkle and a crease going across it. can't make that out. I think it says from Seasons 81. From Seasons 81. No, it's the Four Seasons. <laughs> the Four Seasons. I don't think that has anything to do with Frankie Valley, though. The Four Seasons. Foxes. Hmm. Foxes. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a very popular. Does it mention Giorgio Moroder? Yeah, Giorgio Moroder. That's a very popular soundtrack. I was an army chef. For what army, though, Rob? Not for the United States of America. Rob was an army chef. What's your What's your military called? Should we should we thank the the Netherlands Army? What's your army called? The Netherlands. Nineteen eighty. <laughs> uh, uh, we're talking about the USA, the United States of America. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Jody Foster. Well, this is gonna be tough to find. Why is this pulling up Star Wars posters? <laughs> Let's see here. The Dutch Liger. Okay. Well, thank you for your service, too, to, in the Dutch Liger. There we go. I didn't have a, I had it filter too narrow. Okay, there it is. It's $35. Well, this isn't quite, yeah. This is style B. $35. Uh, Curtis Michelle Brent. 
Curtis Michelle Brent, that's $35. Curtis Pass, Michelle and Brent. Foxes is $35. Okay, this is 40 carats. Michelle also passed. Brent's yours for $35 if you want it. 40 carats. It's got a tear up here at the fold. It's got a tear up there at the fold. 40 carats. Freebie and the Bean, James Kahn. Freebie and the Bean. Brent, did you want the uh, did you want the Foxes poster, Brent? It's it's up to you. This is twenty. I, I don't know. I guess you're passing on the uh, interest free. Okay, twenty dollars on this. I've got several of them. I've got several of them. Twenty dollars on that one. All right, I'm gonna put foxes. I'm gonna put foxes over here in the better pile though, and that one. Twenty dollars on freebie. That one's like new, and I have more. If anybody else, twenty dollars sold on that one. I've got another one that's pretty much new, and I've got two more there that are new. So if anybody else wants one of those. There's another final conflict. Change the mic. Okay. Let me change this. Okay, I'm back. Final conflict. We've already sold two for 25. Here's another one. $25 Brent. We've already sold two for 25. There's another one. I think Brent will want one, and then there's another. Nope, this is a different movie. This is First Moment, First Moment in October. First Moment in October. In the Supreme Court, there are only eight of them against all of her. Some kind of Supreme Court law movie. Never heard about that. Brent gets final contact for $25. Finders Keepers. Raw Fair recommended for the only most mature, Russ Meyer. Of course, Russ Meyer. Finders Keepers. Two thousand fifteen. Wow, that's that's a good bit. That's approaching two thousand fifteen, a long time ago. This is thirty five dollars. $35, uh, Craig, Curtis, Michelle, Brent. We already have a pass, so it's actually Curtis and then Brent. Curtis and then Brent. $35. Flare up. There's another flare up. That thing's really, it's got a... It's ripped in half. There's another Raquel Welch flare up, but it's in really bad shape. Brent, uh, Finders Keepers is yours for 35 if you want it. There's another Funeral in Berlin. Funeral in Berlin. We sold one and we had several more already, but there's another one if anybody wants it. 
Brent takes finders keepers for $35. I think this is first family. First family. Remember when comedy was king, now he's president. That one has writing on it that's bled through it. But I have some more here that are nice. And Michelle, they're $20. That one's like new. That one's like new. $20 on those. Regina wants to see the flare up. I don't know if you want to see it or not. It's pretty sad. It's like an entire section of it missing. That could almost just be tossed, but I'm going to hang on to it. Michelle said sold on First Family for $20. I've got one left if anybody wants it. Forty grays for forty guns. It's got some damage to it though. I think it's actually called, what is it built? Is it built as the machismo? Machismo, hold on a second. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, sold in the bin. I'll take a first family. Okay, so this one's got a little bit of damage. It's ripped right up here. There's no parts of it really missing, but it does have a tear, and it's kind of ripped there. It's not in the best condition, so it is a pretty good-looking poster. $20, whoever wants it. Uh, $20, and that's Michelle and Debbie. It was still paying pretty well. Paul Brothers also gets a first family, a nice one for $20. That's sold to Paul Brothers for $20. Here is another fortune cookie, though. Fortune cookie, no fortune. We're still looking for another fortune. That's a fortune cookie. This is Fanny Hill. Fanny Hill. Here's the next one. Fanny Hill. So Michelle passes. Debbie, let me know if you want the 40 guns. Fanny Hill, rated X, naturally. In there with sex and love all the way. From the country that gave you I, a woman, I-N-G-A, and I am curious, yellow. Okay. Fanny Hill. There's another fortune cookie. Yeah, I think that poster, if it's framed, it you know it won't look. I mean, when it's under glass, it will still be okay. There's another fortune cookie.
there's another 40 pounds of trouble. So uh, we've been waiting for another nicer ones of those. Michelle, $55. That's a nice one, just like the other one. We sold for $55. Paul, I'll get you a price on Fanny Hill. And the price on Fanny Hill is the exploitation movies and the black exploitation movies are always a little bit pricier. They're collectible just because of what they are. So Fanny Hill, I'll do for $30, Paul. This is sold to Michelle for $55. That's 40 pounds of trouble. That's sold to Michelle for $55. We have the 40 guns for 40 graves sold to Debbie for 20 And Paul, 30 on that Fanny Hill. It, they do build that one as a sexploitation movie, which are that, like I said, that and the black exploitations are. Oh, here's flare up a three sheet. There's a three sheet flare up. That's a huge poster. That's going to be the Raquel Welch. He said sold. Okay, so that was the Fanny Hill. That's sold to Paul Brothers for $30. And then we have the Flim. There's another Flim Flam Man. We had that one earlier. Flim Flam Man. Here's another Flim Flam Man. There's another Flim Flam Man. This is called... I can't read Fred's handwriting. Fred pinned on the back of these what some of them's called. It looks very colorful. Wow. For Pete's sake. For the producers of The Restless One, a motion picture to set your heart singing. Worldwide Pictures, Robert Sampson. For Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. Whoa. That's a very colorful poster. Brent, $20 on that one. Look at the colors on that. $20 on that. Well, Gina, if you want the flare-up three-sheet, I'll sell that one for $35. The gigantic Raquel Welch poster, $35 on that. $30 on, or uh, what did I say on this? $20, Brent. $20 on this poster here. The For Pete's Sake. This one sold to Brent for $20. Make sure I clarify that for whoever re-watches this sale. Uh, fools, a three sheet of fools. Three sheet of fools. For love or money, that's a three sheet. I don't like these three sheets. They're hard to show. <laughs> There's a three sheet of a fine pair. Actually, let me... Let me go back and let me see if there's a one sheet tucked in here. Sometimes there's a one sheet tucked in here. No, that's a three sheet. Fools is a three sheet. That's a three sheet. Funeral in Berlin is a three sheet. Oh boy. I'm reading what's next. Regina gets the flare up for $35. That's the Raquel Welch. If anybody's interested in those, Funeral in Berlin three sheet. A fine pair of three sheet for the love of money. I'm assuming three sheet or fools. I don't mind to open them. They're just hard to show. This next poster, I'm going to tell you what it says, and I know somebody's going to be interested, even though it's a six sheet. This next poster is a six sheet. It sounds like it could be really incredible, though, as far as the artwork. The Fall of the Roman Empire, a six sheet. Look at that. That is probably, I, I, let me see if I can pull up the dimension. I may can pull up an image of it on Heritage and then get the dimensions and everything. Because we had a one sheet that we sold at auction and it got some activity, I'm pretty sure. So, uh,
I bet that's this right here. Yeah. I bet it's this one right here. That's gigantic. So that would be, I think that measures an 80 by 79. An 80 by 79. This is probably it. Let me see if I can take a peek at it. And then if this is it, I'll just show you the Empire. Oh, there's a three sheet. There's a three sheet. Maybe there's a one sheet tucked in here. There's a three sheet. There's a three sheet. Oh, there's a one sheet. That's good. So, let's, I'm curious. Let's start with a six sheet first. And then whoever's in order, we'll figure out. But this is quite incredible. Let me see if it's this, what this looks like. Yep, that's it. All right, let me show you the image over here. We'll do this one first. Um, and let me just bring my laptop over here. Here's what it looks like. Of course, you know the colors of this is going to be incredible. And that measures 80 by 80, uh, pretty much. 79 by 80. And that would just look, I don't know if anybody's got a whole wall to display that, but that's pretty incredible. That's $135, the six sheet. $135. Mitch, Michelle, Michael, Kyle, and Curtis. We'll price that one first just by itself, and then we'll, we'll redo the comments for the other ones because I'm going to show something else in the meantime. But that's one, uh, one uh, thirty-five if anybody wants it. Because I kind of messed up there. I didn't know we had three sheets and one sheet. So I'll set those to the side. Boy, I don't know what all this other stuff is. There's this big packets of stuff left down here in the bottom. I see Bridget Bardot. Is that how they spell it? Temptations of the world. With a climax, every woman will remember as a new emotional experience. This is sensational Bridget Bardot, female and the flesh. Is this part of a poster? Let me see what this is. Nope, that's another one. Okay, so these are all one sheets. Kyle and Brent are both interested. Let me get a price. These look, these are pretty cool, especially if her on it. And there's a couple that turned out really nice, and this is called Female in the Flesh. Bridget Bardot. The light across the street? I think it's actually called the light across the street. 1956? Wow. I think it's actually called the light across the street.
uh, it's a pretty, I'm not going to say rare, but pretty pricey poster from what I'm seeing. I, I still haven't found a one sheet, though. I have found a half sheet that sold seven years ago. I saw, I see a press book. The press book sold for 120 I see an alternate poster, a foreign one, uh, and they'll sell two, three hundred dollars. Uh, let me check a different place. Wow, it's amazing. I have three and four of them. That's pretty incredible. That look like this. I still haven't found this exact style. So. Just give me a sec, because this could be quite a, a significant poster. Sure. Um. Watch chat on flu medicine. I, I just I stepped back over and saw the comments, and Brent said something about flu. He's on flu medicine. I still haven't found a one sheet though. That looks like this. B R I G I T T E. Hmm. Hmm. There's the half sheet. There's still no one sheet, so. Wow. All right, let me go see what that sold for one more time. Let me see what the most recent was. The most recent foreign one was 162. There's that one, which is one. It's 174. So I have kind of an idea, but still, I, there is no one sheet, so. Uh, that's a pretty rare poster. So, okay, here's, this one's nice. It just has one dog-eared corner. I'm going to put the nice ones kind of in and see who's first on these. So that one's obviously nice. Let me lay it right there. And then this one I think was pretty nice as far as folds and creases. Um, yeah, there's another nice one. All right, let me put those there. Okay, then there's this one that has kind of this odd wrinkle to it, which is not that bad of a deal. But there's another one. And then there is this one, which also had kind of an odd wrinkle. All right, let me set those back there for right now. So that's the two better ones. Hmm. Yeah, if you find one, it's not going to be... I mean, that's amazing. It, usually something like this you can find a lot faster. That tells me it's rare. I mean, that's just by definition. So, Okay, so let me figure out where we were. I had the six-sheet fall of the Roman Empire, which was Mitch, Michelle, Michael, Kyle, and I think everybody passed. And what I said is here in a minute I'm going to do... I'm going to do another one. Uh, I'm going to do the other the other one, and then I'm going to reset the comments, and then whoever's first. Now, Kyle and Brent and Paul was interested on this. Kyle, Brent, and Paul on this one. And now, obviously, these two nice ones are the ones that don't have creases. I'm, I don't really know. I, I, I have a feeling it's a very rare poster, obviously very desirable. So my price is $295. $295. And that's the Kyle, Brent, and Paul. And then these that have a wrinkle in them, I'll do them for two seventy-five. So I've actually got four of them, two ninety-five and two ninety-five. And then I got these that have kind of a wrinkle in them for two seventy-five. So uh, that's the price. Sorry that one took so long, but that is that's a good one. Might be one of the best ones we found in a while. So, and then I'm gonna try to do a little bit more research. I'll remember y'all's name. 
And if I decide to reduce them, I will. But if anybody wants a good one right now for $2.95, let me know. Okay, so let me, uh, let me put this up. So nobody wants the six-sheet Fall of Roman Empire. Next is uh, another fortune cookie, three-sheet. Fortune cookie, three-sheet. Let me put that right over there. And let's see what's down here. This is uh, the Flim Flam Man. Flim Flam Man. That's a three sheet on the Flim Flam Man. And let's go ahead and do this. I think it has some damage though. Here's the other fall of the Roman Empire. I think I've already sold one of these, but it didn't, nope, it didn't look like this. Here's the fall of the Roman Empire. It looks like it has some damage up at the top. That's a cool looking poster though. Fall of the Roman Empire. Has kind of an odd wrinkle right there in the center. And then up here at the top where it says chariot, way up at the top of the screen, has kind of a hole right there. And I don't remember seeing that one though when I first looked these up. What year is this one? This is 1964, Fall of the Roman Empire. Fall of the Roman Empire. Okay, now it does have that hope at the top. Kyle and then Michelle. <coughs> Excuse me. So because of the damage on this one, $45. Because of the damage up there at the top, $45. That's Kyle and then Michelle. Still pretty nice. And that, that actually uh, kind of unfolded when I folded it out. It has stains there on the back, but it doesn't really bleed through. It doesn't really bleed through, so... That's sold to Kyle for $45. Now, uh, comment three, three if you're interested in the three sheet, because I have another three sheet, and there's a three sheet. Now, this is going to be a big poster, too, but that's pretty cool, three sheet. <clears throat> so there's two three sheets. That's a big one. And remember, I still have the six sheet. All right. And actually, the last thing in this box was... A Fitzwilly three sheet. A Fitzwilly three sheet, which we had a Fitzwilly earlier, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna keep these out, that's good. Fall of Rome Empire three sheet and six sheet. I'm gonna put those right there. So we got the Bridget Bardot posters, definitely gonna leave those out. We'll take some pictures of those. I might run those at auction tomorrow during the actual record sale. If not, we'll get to them. And then that was the other big three sheets nobody was interested in. Um, let me officially show you the empty box like I've been doing. There's the empty box. I'm going to put these back up. So we still had a first to fight World War II uh, theme poster. Uh, that was uh, one we sold a few of. We still got another one. We had the Foxes poster. And then we had the Fixer, which that was just a pass. And then we had the 40 Pounds of Trouble. That was the Disney poster that had some damage. I'm just going to put that back over there. And then this was... Uh, Fear is the key. I think that was the very first one we showed. Fear of the key. And the fall three-sheet poster, Brent. The three-sheet, I just saw it over here. The three-sheet, uh, the three-sheet I will do. So uh, there it is right there. Uh, it will be 55. It will be 55. 55 on that. 55. And then there's these other ones. That's that sheet. I, I wish I could unfold or frame that six sheet. That's that would be amazing looking. Brent said sold on that, so he's interested in a fall of Roman Empire. Let me get one out over here. That was all the Bridget ones. All right. Marion, these papers to be used week beginning December 20th. Oh boy, that's amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Brent, there's the other piece, so it's all tucked in there. 
It looks very, very nice. Extremely nice, beautiful. It's never hit sunlight or anything. That's still bold yellow colors from 1964. Probably a great deal on that one. That's Soda Brent 55 and Michelle. Let me take a look at this one too. There's the piece on that. Yes, same thing. This one may have some pinholes in it. That one may have some pinholes, but it's still very nice. They had to hang it up somewhere. Looks like there's got some staple holes in this one. But I don't think there's any rips. I don't have it completely out, but let's get it. Let's fold it open one more time. Yeah, it, it looks okay. Yeah, that part there looks really good. Just some light stapling holes. So I still got the sh uh, six sheet. If anybody wants to make an offer on it, I mean, I'm here to sell it. I don't have really any other way to sell it unless I end up listing it online or sending it to an auction house. So, oh, I put that in the wrong box. There's Brent's for $55. There's Michelle's for $55. All right, I'll stop there. Uh, but I do have, um, let me put these over here. So uh, there's, a pretty cool, there's a pretty cool memorabilia auction. Uh, I'm sure y'all know the film Misery. I clicked on this memorabilia auction today and they sold some interesting stuff. Y'all, I'm sure y'all are familiar with the James Caan movie Misery. And here's some stuff that sold today at auction. So uh, they sold this typewriter today at auction. Today, like I was literally watching the auction and it was uh, that the, the typewriter from the Misery movie sold for $47,500. And then uh, the sledgehammer in that scene where she uh, breaks his legs, <laughs> uh, there's the sledgehammer that was used in that uh, film. That was uh, sold today at auction for 33750 The sledgehammer that was uh, used uh, by Kathy Bates in that film, they sold they, uh, the sledgehammer sold for 33750 Pretty incredible stuff. That's... Uh, those are pretty incredible stuff, uh, absolutely, for sure. Just, uh, those are definitely ones of a kind. One of a kind there, so. The book is, the book is even more, but I don't know, I, I remember, I remember uh, watching, I remember, like, as a kid, watching that scene just in passing, and it horrified me that I never did want to see it again. But here's uh, something else incredible they sold today. This is the original. They sold this uh, actually yesterday at auction. That's the original Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom bullwhip. That's the original Indiana Jones Temple of the Doom bullwhip sold yesterday at auction. Used in the film, $525,000. $525,000. That sold... Uh, here's the axe using the Shining movie. There's the axe using the Shining movie. One hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. That sold uh, two days ago at auction. One hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Here's uh, this sold today at auction. No, this sold yesterday at auction. That's a blaster used in the by stormtrooper on the original Star Wars film. That sold for $112,500. So, uh, pretty incredible stuff. Uh, pretty incredible stuff. There's the uh, Rocky IV uh, outfit, Carl Weathers wore Apollo Creed on Rocky IV. That is 65, that sold for 65000 Yeah, I mean, but there's a page after page. There's the there's one of the uh, the Grail Cup from uh, Indiana Jones, fifty two thousand. Uh, Pulp Fiction motorcycle, fifty thousand. <laughs> this is all stuff sold in the last forty eight hours. These prices are crazy. Uh, just what all this stuff brings. Twenty seven thousand, twenty seven thousand, twenty seven thousand, twenty seven thousand, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty two thousand. 
35,000, 35,000, 35,000, 37,000, 37,000, 37,000. There's a, a Buffalo Bill outfit from Silence of the Lambs, one in the film, 37,000. Uh, Gremlins, uh, Fifth Dimension. There's actually like three different auction houses having uh, sales this week on Hollywood memorabilia. Uh, Christie's, I think, is having one. Sotheby's and Heritage, there's, it's just so much to keep up with. You can sit there and watch them sell. They'll sell a million dollars in about 20 million. About 20 minutes, they'll sell a million dollars worth of stuff. And just every, just, I was watching the meter. They keep, they have a meter of how much they sell throughout the auction. And like just 100,000, million, 100,000, it'll go up about every, how many millions of dollars they're selling every just a few minutes, just as fast. You'll be watching these auctions, and it'll be items for fifty and sixty thousand dollars, and it will uh, just incredible prices. So, Josh Phillips asked if he can get a flim flam one sheet. Josh, did I price that earlier? A flim flam one sheet, a flim flam one sheet. Did I price that earlier, Josh? Sorry if I I got distracted there looking at all that stuff. That's how I burned my time sometimes. Flim flam. Did I price one of these earlier, Josh? How about uh, $20? How about $20, Josh? I'm not sure. How about $20? I saw an iron on that page. What was the price? The iron. The iron. There's a Blues Brothers hat and sunglasses. Uh, I was going to screenshot some of this stuff and post it in the group because I thought some of our customers would... Get a kick out of this. An iron. You saw the iron. The iron was from. Uh, I don't know what you saw. Hold on a second. The iron. That was the Home Alone iron. That was the that was the iron used in Home Alone. That was uh, that's the one that burned him in the face. That was used in the film. Uh, original highly detailed cast polyfoam stun iron. So it's made of polyfoam stun iron used uh, in that film, $30,000. $30,000. They sold a Bond gadget. They sold a, uh, let me go back, they sold a, a Goldfinger. They sold one of the blank machine guns that was in the Aston Martin. Uh, I've got this sorted by highs first, so this is some of the, mo the incredible stuff. Um, let's see here. What happened to that? There's a gun from Goodfellas. Uh, what happened to that? It was the machine gun out of the tip of the uh, Aston Martin. There it is. Yeah. So this is the... Uh, uh, Goldfinger Aston Martin DB5 machine gun. So yeah, that was like used as a... You know, it like goes in and out like actually in the movie it's and it, you know with the electric motor that was the actual gun that hid behind the tail light in the Aston Martin they used in the movie $47,500 $47,500 only $47,500 let's go to the bottom the cheap stuff the cheap stuff's like $10,000 Beetlejuice snake puppet this stuff's like ten, fifteen thousand dollars. That's a, a Rocky pinball machine owned by St Stallone. Lots of miniatures, like stuff that looks full size in the movie. So there's like that's a miniature that was used in the film. They like that. That's how it looked in the the shot, and that's the actual ship. <laughs> it's uh, it's still pretty big though. How big is it? Uh, yeah, 310 inches, 310 inches long, so uh, used in the Bounty, Mel Gibson movie. So it's like a miniature ship they used detailed for that scene. You think that's an actual shot, right? Well, it's just a miniature boat, but it's big, 310 inches, fully detailed. That's pretty big, 310 inches, $12,500. So I, what, I, what amazes me is how they obtain all this stuff. But it's Hollywood collectors, people out in Beverly Hills, and, um, you know. 
Uh, just incredible stuff. Yeah. Adam's family hand. All right. Good night. Film Man is sold for $20 to Josh Phillips. We're done. I'll be back tomorrow at 7. Yeah, a lot of those these miniatures. Yeah, I, I saw a uh, the train from the... I love the film The Fugitive of Harrison Ford. That's one of my favorites. And the train wreck scene. They had the train, which is fully motorized and stuff. Uh, it was uh, that. The ACDC records he said he was going to show before the posters. They're all new and sealed. Are you interested in new and sealed ones? They're not original. They're new pressings. But if you're interested in new ones, I will show them very, very quickly. I'll show them very, very quickly. Stanley, it looks like you've stayed around for two hours to ask about those. So I'll, I'll show them to you. But they're all new and sealed. I don't have any originals. All the originals sell. We either sell them at auction, etc. on that. Nope, I accidentally reset my comments. That's okay. But if you want to see them, I'll show them. No problem. I've also lost my chat. Tanner said he'd be back at 4 a.m. Okay, I'll show him. Stanley Bedwell. Let's let's go, let's go into some ACDC records. I'm not I'm not signing off yet. I'm not signing off yet. I'll grab one of each of them. I'll grab one of each of them, and then you can comment the name of the album. And they're all pretty much the same price. So let me grab one of each of them. Except one. One's a little bit more money, but you'll see why, because it's a 2LP import. So let me grab these. And if you want one of these, just comment the name of the album. I've pretty much got most of the discography. I've got most of the discography. And if you want any of them, just comment the name of the album. They're new and sealed for $33.99, Stanley Bedwell. $33.99. They're new and sealed. If anybody else wants one, let me know. This is the ACDC discography. We have the Razor's Edge. We have Stiff Upper Lip. Blow Up Your Video. Highway to Hell. Ball Breaker. Fly on the Wall. Let There Be Rock. Back in Black. Their first album, High Voltage. Rock or bust, and it has a lenticular cover that explodes, or at least it looks like it explodes. It don't actually explode. Flick of the switch. Powerage. If you want blood, for those about the rock, those are all $33.99. Now, this one's $46.99. This is called the Iron Man 2 soundtrack. It has a foil cover. It's a 2LP greatest hits. It's like a, it's pretty much a greatest hits. It's the soundtrack to the movie, but it's the closest thing to ACDC greatest hits you're going to get. So that's $46.99. If you want any of these, just comment the name of the album. There's for those about the rock. If you want blood, powerage, flick of the switch, rock or bust, high voltage, back in black, hit the sack. We have fly on the wall. Stanley Bedwell says he'll take fly on the wall. Fantastic. There's ball breaker. There's Highway to Hell, there's Blow Up Your Video, there's Stiff Upper Lip, and there's You've Been Thunderstruck, and that's the Razor's Edge. Anybody else? Oh, sorry, I'm stretching, doing some squat stretching. I'm going to start wrapping up. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we've sold a lot. Rebecca's going to have a lot to rewatch. Debbie Blair wants a Thunderstruck. That's Razor's Edge. That's so to Debbie Blair. Um, tomorrow at 7, John's going to be here pricing new vintage stuff. I'm going to start pricing some stuff tonight. I'm actually going to go eat and probably take a quick nap. <laughs> Try to be back right around when Tanner comes back here in the morning uh, at 5, 4 or 5, and then probably work till about 10 or so, 9 or 10. Then I go home and crash again, take another nap. I take like little naps all day. I don't actually ever go to bed. So it's just a constant nap taking and then uh, waking back up. I don't really have like a bedtime. It's 8 a.m. in uh, the Netherlands where Rob is. Well, good morning, Rob. Boy, you have to get up real early to watch these shows. Are you, are you like about to go to bed or do you wake up and watch them? 
Because when we get started, you're on sometimes at 7 p.m. here, so that's uh, like 3 a.m. out there, right? Or 2 a.m. or 6 a.m. or 3 a.m. All right, I'm in, in the feed. I don't see any new comments. Thanks, everybody. Had fun as always. We'll do it again all tomorrow. 1 a.m. All right. We'll do it all again tomorrow. Thanks again. See ya. Good